Is that your new tape? Star Lord? Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm -hmm. Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and. You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, he'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Annie to buy it with his paper out money. This will be worth hundreds of dollars someday. I gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Three natural ones in a row last game. Some barn I turned out to be. It's pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. Keep hitting those dingers, George, and you'll make it in the Hall of Fame for sure. The movie was okay. The soundtrack really kicked butt. Might as well just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot.
love to be able to ride one of those light cycles. <sighs> Can't believe I caught this. That maiden show was awesome. Need to build up my calluses. Stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. It ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. Ah, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confident. <laughs> <laughs> arrested? For what? <laughs> Our ship just... Accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops, our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. <sighs> How would we accidentally cross into the Nova Corps force field? <sighs> Details. <laughs> Drax. <laughs> About Gamora. And this not wait, Peter Quill. I am readying my body for battle. Uh, <laughs> you know we're supposed to capture this monster, right? Not kill it? Of course. But I suspect it will not go down without a fight. Cool it, muscles. Lady Hellbender ain't gonna buy damaged goods. I will aim to preserve the integrity of the beast as best I can. Good. Groot really needs to get these plants under control. Yep, I use these for smuggling. Hopefully I won't ever have to smuggle myself in there. All good, buddy? I'm Groot. You know, I don't understand you, Groot, but I'm gonna assume you just said something super kind and thoughtful. <laughs> I am Groot. What did the tree say? No idea. Good old Milano. Engine parts from at least five different black markets. Rocket! Did you bring back the docking chips you took from the alignment console? I'll do it as soon as I reconfigure them! You better not try to sell them off! Not like I'd make any money! Things are so cheap they couldn't align two magnetized connectors. What is it? Dude, take five. We gotta talk about that Gamora thing. 
She's waiting for you in the cockpit. I know, I know, I just meant... Are you gonna be okay? You two are gonna be alone on the ship for a while. Rest assured, Peter Quill. I will keep a watchful eye and thwart any attempt at treachery. Or... You could try trusting her. <laughs> you are naive, Peter Quill. She is a mistress of deceit. Peter Quill, we must soon... Almost 20 years, and those tracks are still fire. Tracks! Once again, there is no official badge. <laughs> Obviously, you would not have one, Assassin. The small one indicated the procedure is a well-guarded secret. Rocket, stop messing with him. Wish you were here, Mom. Morgoth, be with you. Hey, Morgoth yourself. Morgoth is a politeness thing? Catathian customs don't make no sense to me, bud. Rocket! Why are the array cables everywhere on the floor? I'm working on it! <sighs> Nice! Not so sure about tooth cleaning tablets. Manual brushing is where it's at. Wonder if Drax was allowed to decorate his cell in the kiln. Probably not. She's only been here a few months, but her room's already decked out. Nice gizmos, Rocket! I'm calling them thumpers, on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. How's that even gonna work? The thumper goes beep, 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 and the monsters come running? Eh, it goes more like, uh, wah, wah, wah! Hey, holla, rocket! Stop this ruckus at once! <laughs> and then the monster comes a running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey, all my intel came from your source. My sources are very reliable. Those coordinates are 100% pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. With no physical description to go by. What do you think elusive means? It don't matter what the monster looks like. As long as it's got ears, you can be sure my thumpers are gonna drive it right into our arms. Gamora? Up here, Peter. Hey. That's my chair. Oh. Then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. Ah. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Once we've reached that force field, there's no going back. Your black market codes are gonna crack that Nova net, right? Yep. As soon as you enter them in your console. 
Okay, here we go. Rocket crew tracks, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova net still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate temporal coordinates and our ship's hard-coded serial into a local number generator. Info gets in, digits come out. Four of them. Yeah. Are you there? Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Roland. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overhaul. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoff Nile than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <clears throat> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group Quell Soda! Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop site. Ground's too unstable to land a ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, group. <laughs> Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. Care of my baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Oh, oh. Can you imagine? Hey, starboard. Uh, okay, guess you're taking a long way. Oh, huh. you okay, Quill? Yeah, I think so. This uh, big resin stuff's definitely strong enough to hold this place together. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, probably strong enough. Take that, brittle stuff. You find something we could sell? Nah, just some old correspondence. You know how I like to brush up on galactic war history. Um, no? That's ah, totally safe. He is not a better shot than me. I am Groot. 
Don't worry. It's safe to walk on. Mostly. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by... pink goo. Ebrium-based nanoresin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. Whoa! Look! Yellow and blue! Looks like an old Novacore frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy! Why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? You think it's to impress Gamora? Like... Don't know if you noticed, Rocket, but people aren't exactly falling over themselves to hire us. Oh, I have noticed. This job pans out. Sure, we'll get money, but also a rich new client. We need to impress Lady Hellbender with a monster she's interested in, not just any old critter. Whoa! Okay. I'm okay! Ha! <laughs> Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny! You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us, hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you-know-who joined us. I am cool. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a swell guy. I hope you get that promotion, Rocket. Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the team. Careful on that thing, Quill. You spot something out there? Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Pass this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group. You think we can find pieces of the Tryon shard in here? Oh, you happy, Quill? That's it. Walk of shame. <sighs> of course he could know. I told him. Just imagine what kind of blasters the Jadari had to use to wreck some of these triggers. You done gloating? Oh, I am never done gloating. I am Groot. Yep, classic me. I'm okay! Uh, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm sure it's safe bit. Safer than flying with Kimura anyway. I heard that. How many of these ships did you personally destroy, Assassin? In this massive junkyard, filled with debris from both sides of the war. How do you expect me to answer that? Dishonestly. Yeah. It is strange. I have not encountered any corpses in the wreckage. Hmm. Probably got disintegrated when the ships went kaboom. Oh, the nano resin absorbed. Oh, uh. Watch it, Quill. Uh. Someone's been practicing. Nice splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the Flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. <laughs> I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well... Ah! Ah! Oh! Amazing! I should have been recording! Bridge over! I want to see if he's alive. I don't know, but he's twitching. Larkin, Scott Stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. 
Yeah, just, uh... Thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a crapped out Nova Corps missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. I shot a thing. I get it. First tool in the old toolbox. Yeah. Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Aw, oh, you little guy. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? You dead, Quill? We can hear your woodsy squeal. Little busy! Crap! That's cheating! You guys should have seen that. It was this weird blobby thing. <laughs> Not falling for this again. Sorry to burst he your bubble! To He'll be fine! Duck one more up for Star Lord! Funny. Well, we got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. Like you could even tell if she had an honest face. Yeah, she did smell like flowers. Trust in the plan, guys. Everything is checked out so far, right down to the mining ship. We put our thumpers in the right places and we'll bag that monster. Will knows all about putting thumpers in the right place. Mother of Scott! Move! Uh, are you kidding me? Son of a smash! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. All right, Groot. Let's see that cool vibe. Oh, yeah. That's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross. More chip eaters. All right. Boom. Right under your nose, Quill. This place really makes you wonder. About what? What Novacor hoped to do by sweeping all this up and forgetting about it. Maybe they just wanted to move on. We gotta go that way, across the gap. Somehow. Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? <laughs> hey, Greenies. See any blue and gold ships out there? You let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do if we run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we will restrain them until we are done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here, even if it means leaving us behind. Uh, flark that! Trust me. I've dealt with Nova Corps before. Even helped them catch real criminals. I can talk my way out. You think that Milano can outrun a fully powered Nova Centurion? She's done it before. Okay, here we go. Alright, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Clark! No! No! Clark and Skaggy! Attack and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. 
Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay. We're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things. There's gotta be things that power ship things around here, right? Yeah. Maybe you're gonna want to use your visor for this. You find a replacement. Huh. Where the shot? Found something with a charge. Kinda looks like a spacey car battery. Okay. This thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is... minuscule. At best. You'll be fine. What are you waiting for, Quill? Grab it! Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So, uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Just grab the battery and give it a yank. Keep him away from that missile, Groot! That thing is gonna blow! It happened already! If I don't fix this thing, they'll keep coming! Good! Use that fear! Kill them all! to see you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. I don't see any way out of the missile bay except that passage, bud. Well, we found a way out. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? If the two of us gotta lug that monster- Guys, this job is a huge deal. It's for the freaking monster queen of Seknarf 9. She just doesn't know it yet. We pull this off and we're- Lady Hellbender's intergalactic monster anglers? Man, that thing is ridiculous. I think it was a ship or a robot. That's a Cree Sentry, a robot, but it would have been space worth. <laughs> That ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. How do you know all this? Because they were my fellow experiments back on Halfworld. Most of my parts came from the cybernetics hangar next to the door, so uh, I got a sneak peek at all the new killbots. I can see the parts come and go from my, uh, uh, my cage. I didn't mean to open old wounds. Eh. Most of them are just scars now, anyways. I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. The entire facility was the problem. Is that... Yes! I'm about to win this bat quilt! Here goes nothing. <laughs> We're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. 
have robot parts inside your head. Inside a giant robot head! <laughs> you guys are so... Hey, group, what do you think I should do when I win this back? I mean with the unit still over once I win. Found a nest! Maybe this is the Parasite Clubhouse! Don't congratulate him! Well, I know what I'll be doing with my winnings. I'm saving up for our next stop on Contraxia to get one of those Zeronian massages. Ugh, you're so predictable. You know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating. All right, bumper goes there, Quill. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Rocket! I only flip the switch on and off to see if it's gotta love that kill radius! I never get like balloons! Rocket! About to be one less! Turn it! I thought we were safe! Don't gawk at it! Shoot it! Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off to see if it started! Yeah, tell them that! Oh, Flark! Those buggers really pop! points like that. I look worried. The resin will hold. I am Groot. You ain't that heavy. I seen this goop anchor a Shatari dreadnought. We'll be fine. All right, mining rig is right there. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke down Shatari shipwreck's ever gonna be. Totally safe. See? I'll even prove it. Huh? Look at this. Rocket? Oh, 
Mark. Guys, jump! No! No! no. Says I'll meet us at the mining ship. I don't want to make him wait. That's it? We're not going after him? He says it's fine. We'll meet him later. Team Rocket, is everything okay? Bruce signals are quite dark. Radio must have broke when he fell. What happened to your timber companion? Uh, group just took a different path. He must have fell and broke his radio. Uh, yeah, that's it. Why take a different path? Team Rocket over. <laughs> Hope that got rid of him. Uh, sounds like green team's off our backs. Now we can stop worrying about that uh, dumb accident. Fruit's fine anyways. There's nothing to worry about. Whatever, right? Like you said, fruit's fine. Everything is fine. Exactly. We're all fine. Sure, sure, fine. Man, if that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't, because we have to find a way through this thing. Ah, this turbine's right in the way. Gotta get through it. These things open up to let gas through, right? Yep. You saying we're the gas? Today we are, if we can get it open. I can hear your visor working. Better not be cheating on our bet, Quill. There's a drone access tunnel over here. Too bad we don't got a drone. <sighs> Can you squeeze in there? Knew it. Rocket, fix the thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. See anything? Yeah, a manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our center points was covered in resin, so we're gonna fly around and scout another spot. Just make sure the new spot as close as possible to the original one. Because of maps and... Angles. Great. Another turbine. Yeah, that is how these things are usually built. And... Someone's been practicing. Come on, let's get out of here. We're back on track. The mining ship ain't too far. Think Groot's already ahead of us? Maybe. Hope he didn't get to that. Cap, 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 cap! It wasn't me this time, I swear! I don't like this! <laughs> point for me! That point don't count if we're dead! Oh, crap! Uh, <laughs> I told you I saw them. Great timing! How did you guys... It's good to see you two. We're gonna walk across the ship as fast as you can. We're seeing a lot of movements. Yeah, Scott's getting real violent out here. Uh, just try to hold her still for us. That's not gonna be an option soon. This position is untenable. Track incoming! Watch out! What? Peace. Got it. Meet you in a tip. No rush. 
It's uh, nice and cozy in here. Not so much when you can't see in the dark. Ah, I think I felt the panel. Yeah, there's wiring in there. See if I can get the systems back on. How long is this gonna take? Oh, come on! Clark and tensor joint, just neat. Uh, wiggle the... Uh. Okay, so life support's booting back up. What's it look like out there? Oh, mother of space ball. It's just... Man. Uh... Well, that's concerning. of old cleaner bots. Maybe. Old cleaner bots? I don't know. Sorry about the shoot. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots, <laughs> accidentally, at a distance. <laughs> we're totally all right. They just ran away when it saw us, right, Quill? <laughs> Rocket, I'm not so sure that swarm thing was inoffensive. I feel kind of bad about releasing it. <laughs> Quill took a pot shot at this massive worm nest. A chunk of something fell off and the big floaty creature came out of it. That's all. Rago job. Well's dumb enough to lead us into a trap, but don't sweat it. Ain't nobody knows we're here. It would suck to get busted in here. You know, with just one exit. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Here you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. Look at this old beauty. A table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear. Hey, hand me that part. And it's done.
It's all yours. Small marvel crafted. I am Groot. Yeah, there's a way through, if we can clear out that crud. One stubborn bunch of lore. Try that quick cooldown I saw, so you can keep helping. Oh yeah, nailed it. <clears throat> and uh, thanks for the upgrade. All right, let's squeeze our way out of here. So that thing we set. Free... Uh, what thing? I didn't see a thing. Uh, definitely don't want to talk about no thing. Perfectly safe, right? I don't trust your definition of safe. System. He is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just old. Noted. Rocket knows what this is. What a weird bunch of stuff to mine. What was it? I don't know. Weird QB hunks of rock or metal.
Cabrini's found Quill yet? Found and saved. Hey. Go on ahead, then. We'll catch up. Just making a, uh, pit stop. I parked the Milano near the last thumper spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. How's my baby? You can see for yourself if you can get back up there. I could make it up there, but we're gonna need something for you two to climb up on. It is a wonder the nimble assassin has not abandoned us already. Drax! He called me nimble. It was not intended as a compliment. All right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It's a possibility. Maybe try something else. Anyone got any bright ideas? If you're not gonna use that visor, give it to me. She covets the forbidden knowledge of your magic glasses, Peter Quill. If we can get this thing down, it should give us the extra height we need. Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this! That is physically impossible. Drax, think you can heft that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! Can you move it over there? Shall be done. Well, that's helpful. I did as our leader bid. Not all of us are so quick to disobey. Make up your mind. Are you mad I served Thanos, or that I betrayed him? Neither inspire confidence. Can you move it over there? Done. Heave-ho, Drax! Where shall I relocate? Right about there. I am on my way. Hey, big guy, lift that thing up. Tell me where to place it. Need some help moving, Drax. Certainly. You can put it down here. Understood. Remember this moment should you ever think of crossing the assassin. All right, Rocket. We're back on track. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, good for you. I am good. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We... Oh, fuck. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague. It was... rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Maybe Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. My little Camaria and her mother, Hovat, were two of the strongest people who ever lived. With a name like Hellbender, Gamora's probably right. It's gotta be something scary. Nightmarish. A proper apex predator. Snarling and nasty. More teeth than all of us combined. Bat-like wings with razor tips. Probably spits poison or acid. Or acidic poison. I hope all these are true. I yearn for a worthy challenge. You guys notice anything? Weird about this place. You mean the size of the comp going there for no reason? There was a reason. You collided with that column of scrap. What? I was dodging a hailstorm of flaming debris. And the comms went out before that.
You know, I've seen these big mining ships before, but I don't remember ever seeing a Katathian starfighter in a war. Bro! Careful! Hey. Well, you got some timing. We got company. Get from the last dumper! We haven't even placed it yet! This place is closed! Say, it's barking scary out there, Quill. Parknard's on the field. Danger on all sides. Then it's time we stand and face it and make sure they're nullified. Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead. Who's with me? Wise words, Peter. Bring Quill. it on! Time to bl They started it! Like a hot knife! What's next, Peter? Stretch his legs! That's really getting the blood pumping! This is my kind of workout! Ruth, snag them! Bust out the spark bombs! Want some? I'm Get running. some! Take the whole clip! Get ready! He's off his day! Let's knock him down! Now's our chance! Wrap him up, bud! Glorious! Bring on our monster! I am engorged with the thrum of battle. Didn't need to hear that. Come on, last thumper spot is this way. How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. The Milano should be right on the other side of this door. It was open when I came through here. Who says I tripped on something? Murder Mom probably closed the door behind her. Excuse me? It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. What a genius network! You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. I can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, Sunshine. <laughs> Ow! Is it, uh, doing it? What?! It appears to be broken! Ain't nothing broke! That's the sound it's supposed to make! What sound? You can't hear that! Hear what? Catch our monster. Hey, that thing's fast! Don't let it get behind you! That's one less.
nice thing to hide behind. Good thinking, well. Carve him a new one! Never see it coming! Holla! That thing stinks! It must possess a defensive center. Bombs away, Rocket! It's okay, buddy. Brute don't like things that move fast. There's nowhere left to hide. But it can still run. Gotta be some way to slow it down. I think it's playing with us. Not cool. Abomination. Perhaps you speak its language. Ugly, smelly. It has more fun than we're together. What the flark is that? Definitely not a monster. Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektorf 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. You guys seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Now that is a monster. Alright. Enough with the warm-up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. Whose name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! The whole place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here now. Curse these volatile ruins! Let's go! Hold on to your butts, people! Rocket, hit the music! On it! Focus on flying, Peter! Someone play this man a song! <laughs> now we're talking! Off the ship! I'm watching, I'm watching! You ain't! Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks as Peter Quill instructed. Watch it! Someone give me a hand! <laughs> am I right? How about one upside the head? We have debris incoming! Blow it away, well! Time to thread the needle! Don't even think about it! The quickest way through is through! Peter! Do you fear dying with a guilty conscience, assassin? Don't you get go on my ship! My ship! Look, that's it. Let me drive. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Maybe we are in this hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of Sardu. Your hell is frozen? The Tathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt. See? He's so Brute says watch out! Yeah, thanks for the heads up! Get us killed, Quill. There's still so much stuff I want to steal. We ain't gonna make it. Hit the blue button! What blue button? The one for the secret boosters I added! Can you please stop adding things while I'm asleep? Punch it, Peter! Now is not the time for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Definitely a fan of the blue button! We're scott on all sides! We ain't gonna make it! We'll make it! Maybe! There's the exit! See? Hope stretch! Our last breath! Yeah! 
<laughs> and that's what I call a win, people. How's that a win? Our monster just got eaten. Whatever you can fly away from means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Uh, please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. Hope. Uh, did you say Hal is Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Uh, not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Nice to see you too. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill? Of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide the llama. What? What about my stuff? Rocket, I know Corell. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech, but a potential biohazard? Man, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. I am Groot. And that would be your boarding party. has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it, we're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket! So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of... Most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero? Often grumpy. 
Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? There was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? If I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Hey, watch the jacket. Get that gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. Illegal. Everyone just do what they say. When I see Corral, I'll explain... The you. captain isn't going to see you. According to protocol, you're to be taken straight to the brig. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. The Flark is a Grand Unifier. Grand Unifier grand Raker. Unifier? Leader of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God, right, Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is, I know the Captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the Captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Just to be no. super clear you on the mom. Give me a sec. 
Come on, come on! You know, I could probably help if my jet boots worked. Regulation 3C. Never reactivate foot gear. Come on! If I can fly up No! To... You're my prisoner! And I got this! Obviously. Oh! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. A senior officer- Whoa! Ah! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay, this way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast door down here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay. I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost there. Can you please stop squirming? I'm trying to focus. Okay, okay. Yes! Got it! Through here! Whew! <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star-Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet butt saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. One of them actually seems really active. Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Easy does it. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. Are you seriously trying to sneak away on me right now? You literally just said I was doing great. You are doing great. Top five best arresting officers I've ever had. Cool. So can you please just show me the same respect you would any other arresting officer? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, I get that a lot. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I um I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. You gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Personality. Very cool. Come on. This way. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the... Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Ready? Okay! You'd think this would get... easier! Yeah. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was... Uh, is... A real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy. And judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. Here, you know? Of course you are. This way. 
Any day now. Right, right, just... Quick reminder that only one of us. It's a dead end. Trust me. Get back here, pirate. Wow, wow, okay. This is another one of your bots? Yeah, her name's Jocasto. Uh, she keeps an eye out for stuff. Ugh, are you kidding me? Please try to keep up. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know, because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort... differently. Pirating? Raiding. Which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. Is this... Krilar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kit stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You... want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Need a hand? Nope. But thanks. I'm almost done. I can't leave him like this. Just... make yourself at home, I guess. Limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Because the truth is, I wasn't exactly supposed to... Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I... never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me! Never saw my passkey! You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. <sighs> Almost at the elevator. We're home free. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hala's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and <clears throat> recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar's secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. 
So I suggest you worry less about what he said and more about what I'm saying now. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well. You have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> what, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah. I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. You know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in an elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she was... Ew! What is wrong with you? She was a lovely person. Someone, please give of you. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? Like, she really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You hacked them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I, I hack stuff. You know, beep bop boop, boop boop beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is, I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. Day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. You have no idea. Chewie. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same- I've changed! Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're gonna finish that sentence with. You're gonna pay 7,000 units? In three cycles? Wow, uh, um... Okay, that is a lot of money. Here, I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. 
My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship. Well, that's all they found, right? Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? Oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it. I promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 7,000 units is a small 7, price. 7,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that Rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. Peter Quill! Tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for units, check your own room. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar with the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? Yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid Humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Paramitar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scott wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a Guardian of the Galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. Eh, looks broke. Groot! 
Hey, buddy. I was just, uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was feeling Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I am Groot. Man, those first few years. Do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm cooked. Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean... I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you, how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and... and us. I am... I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows? If this thing does have your language in it, and Rocket can download it somehow, or hack it, or... I don't know. I am Groot. It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What?! Can you come here for a sec?! What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. That Groot has a rich, velvety voice. Woo! Smells like llama breath. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. I will ask you one last time! Open! This! Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door! 
I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. He must have asked his well-meaning accomplice to retrieve the sum and hide it from us. All right. I'll check on him and tell you if he's doing anything weird. Acceptable. Groot. You okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? Is that my toothbrush? Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. Any units I uncover will go directly to you, but I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It... it it's... an Earth thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Real mature. Guys! Maybe Rocket has something. There's a lot of crazies out there, Quill. Willing to pay for this kind of... weird... No! Let's say my collection is actually worth something. There's no way we find a buyer in time. And even if we do, there's no way it gets us what we need. And most importantly, any attempt to sell anything of mine will result in me chopping off something valuable of yours. Perhaps we should reconsider another course of action. Yep. Such as capturing the infamous- No! I am Groot. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant! Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster! He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. 
Really? How great. How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf-9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. A cake. <sighs> he can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. You get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Uh, why don't we ever get missions on nice... Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think that... Gamora, I... Who's Blue are you talking to? What's a bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird and I was the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Spire, a scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yandu ended up on Shatari Prime. With you. Mm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base. But he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged. If that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. 
Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes, exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. Yandu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yandu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. Not sure about that, but... I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu? He actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> Let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. That's what I want to do after this mission. Why does this thing look so sinister? Hey, who said you could touch that? I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a Torg. I don't... snore... that loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? It kinda looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course, a, a spinal control thingy. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists used these to keep us... super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half-World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or... not... a raccoon? You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. Well, we didn't know. What I didn't know was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die quill. Ah, oh, rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... 
Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay, then let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? Eh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. I'm sorry you had to go through all that rocket. For real. We could have made some money if we'd stopped by nowhere first. Will you please stop? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but how about some positivity for a change? Positivity? How? We're on some crazy hurricane planet, about to be soaked to the bone, on our way to squeeze our last chance at freedom out of some mythical warlord. Lady. War lady. Additionally, Nova Corps confiscated your crate of weaponry. <gasps> yeah, that too. I'd forgotten about that. Do you need a hug? No. Small marvel crafted. Now that that's done, can we get a move on, Jelly Legs? You're way too soft to be a monster, big girl. Yes, you are. I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Of course. It had to be raining. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle, it is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Helmet. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. <laughs> Ow. Ouch! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. We must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like I want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender's a gnome warrior. And a queen. And stinky friend. Exactly. 
She's a stinking rich warrior queen businesswoman, and she won't be able to resist a good deal. Same as us. Perhaps some of us. If Lady Aiden is... That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this? Yes! What happened to staying topside so we can keep tabs on the fortress? Still seems perfectly reasonable. This storm really ain't doing it for me, Quill. It is no storm. It is her monstrous breath. Yeah? Well, her breath ain't doing it for me either. She doesn't even know we're here. Do we at least agree this was the worst landing in history? Okay. So maybe this wasn't my most perfect landing. Happy? Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off. Gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. It ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rodin. Eh, uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. But ah! It's not alone. Get ready. So that's 
That's what a monster around here looks like. We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. You sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it and all. Clearly not a husk! It is the hollowed husk of a bygone time, when the turmoil of war raged stronger than the storms of this world. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Now I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. I'm going to scout ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. There they are. Wing controls. Hey, Groot, can you come up with something? Yeah, yeah, just let me do it. Clark, that don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the platform. That don't sound like no lady either. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done! Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us it will jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. Assassin. Huh? You never learned to track? Tathians do not chase our prey. Ooh, mysterious. Found something, Quill? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Uh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave... What flavor do you think that one was? I took care of it. Fudge, Scott! I knew I should have come down earlier. Wait, so where are you? <laughs> nice! Hidden passage! I ain't far, Quill. Scream really loud if you find another blob creature. Hey, um, listen, while it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. Well, cause, uh, I really need to talk to you. There's something, um, personal I need to get off my chest. All right, man, what's up? Look, there's no easy way to say this, so I'll just say it. I think I'm dying, Quill. Even with all these frickin' augmentations and shut knows what else, I, I just... 
I need to know that you'll take care of Groot for me. I, uh... I, I, I just, uh... You... I had no idea, man. Does Groot know? No. No, no, no. And, uh... You can't tell him. It'll destroy him. If the day comes that I... Just promise me you'll take care of Groot. I promise. And, uh... Are you... And that, uh... Are you messing with me? <laughs> um, you know, say you'll bury me... <laughs> in the... In the Milano! <laughs> oh, I can't believe your face! <laughs> it was like... I, I can't even describe your freaking face! Come on, the sooner we get the Lady Hellbender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. Peter Quill, I have found the way forward. You sure, Drax? No. Good enough. There's further proof that we're not welcome here. If we turn back every time we ain't wanted, we never go in. Good point. Good thing we have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. And if we want an audience with her, we'll have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn had first. And what about her sister, Nebula? I forgot about the blue harlot spawn. Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a harlot. Right, right. That, too. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Maze. All those trees look like... Like giant strings of saltwater taffy! What? What's taffy? It's sweet and delicious and it melts in your mouth! And it looks like a tree, And it is made of salted water. Huh. Now where'd he go? Hey, Quill! You out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our Quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs. Hmm. Looks more alien than the other one. They are all alien. I know they're... Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what are you? do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of fucking chogs! How will we cross? Don't face Look the around, we'll find another way. us. Wow! It is dark in here! If you bump into any monsters, let us know! Monster Planet! 
Right. and, you know, heroism. What's Chitauri Tech doing on a backwater mud ball like this? Perhaps Lady Hellbender repelled an invading swarm, and it was among the spoils. Maybe. Or maybe she was real cozy with the bugs. Ridiculous. Maybe there's something else here. Drax, think you can topple this? I may have angered them. All right, let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait, wait. hear that? <laughs> I prefer a new challenge! We can fly these things straight to Lady Hellbender! Max! I'm not calling you bad, but... Branch out, crew! somewhere why are we so sure this is the way the statues here didn't walk into place they were carrying them. all right Gamora pretty sure it's this way like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. She possesses flying creatures. Drax, some of your Lady Hellbender tidbits are questionable. You could say that again. More or less questionable than your flying skills. More am I cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Old Nova Bomber. 
I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships, or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Now what's the hold up? Here. No! Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Being brood of the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and plan B, okay? Anyone else feeling ready to move on? Brood says no. Just go. No, you just go. go! Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Running away. But that its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. It is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. No giant monster. All good. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. No, the core weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Alright, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. Ew. 
is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. First a down resistance ship, now a Novacore one. Looks like a few cables are all that's standing between the wing and a makeshift bridge. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. What next, Peter Quill? Are we sure we want to go back up? I'm getting used to not being completely soaked. Groot. Is there any way you could bring down that wing? Groot ain't that strong. He says you want something sharp. Can you get up there now? Should only take a second. This brings back memories! Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind pummel treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire this commitment to safety. Chuck, we are not committed to safety. What? We're safe-ish? Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Maybe someone was trying to fix up the old bomber. Okay, Rocket, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. And voila! So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Seknarf was such a hot spot for the war. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's got bigger, that's for sure. Ha! <laughs> it is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Looks like there's a way down here. Well, you gotta see this ship. Behold, Lady Hellbender's wrath. What's Captain distracted up to now? If he calls us over, I'm done. Whoa, 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 guys! There's this totally sweet pile of crap on the ground. It's so interesting. Let's all stick our fingers in it. Okay, here we go. Oh, slimy. Uh, guys? You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam, boys? <clears throat> you think? Some smack reach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! It's like what? Well, What did you just do? 
Somebody get him out of there! Glasses, they I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, you pull Scud like this. Just could you just please let me, alone. Let me, I, I, well, I just want to see how they tick, otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys, DNA cord in the box comes some kind of morphing now or sorcery. Here we go again. Remember? Whereas me, I don't need to take sides to mow anybody down. I just love making scumbusters go boom! I think we should let these flark bags close in. That way it'll be their due, not ours. Are you questioning our tactics, people? Think about it. No one fights dirtier than us. So if they get too close, fake a fall and take their heads off. Who's with me? We are Seriously, supposed to Peter? have no wise! Beware! Yeah, I guess I don't quill one! One! We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. I'm thinking we can climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star! Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Barely any power. Maybe we can muscle those cannons out. There's a little hole there. Might be able to work something loose from the inside. Wonder if we can get anything to pop out of the side of that wreck. Rocket, you could fit through that hole. Maybe hack something from the inside to make us steps. How am I supposed to even get up there? Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Impossible. It will not stay in place. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. I'm I cannot hold it forever! I did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Drax, can you drag out that higher cannon? Impossible. It is too far from the ground. Gamora, can you reach that cannon? I can, but I won't be able to get it out if that's what you want. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. 
Hello? Shatari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms? But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That. Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat that Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and. Nothing. You know what? Flark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and. Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump started the thing! Rock, you okay? <laughs> yeah! And dry now, too! Another one of these ships again, it'll be too soon. Gamora, can you clear the path through that junk? Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends whose head. Ever met a regalian? Oh, man. Whoa! That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother, Lady Hellbender. Oh. Yeah, I doubt it, Drax. Shouldn't we at least have a leash for our monster? The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is the wrong way, but it's too stubborn to admit it. In that case, the world's the greatest explorer I ever met. Yeah, just, you know, carrying water and ice. Go off. I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we, uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. We'll take your word for it, bud. Take his word for what? He says the soil here. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! You... How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You're holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Let's be a lesson to end. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like! Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Chitauri and Skillish stop our progress is unprofessional. Then stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. Uh, that is disturbingly fragrant. Uh, uh, I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as stud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter! Why would it taste like that? I can use this. 
you know, we really got to work on your taste. But the cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. Draw the line. We do smell exceptionally foul. Yeah, way worse than usual. I swear, Quill, that's the last time I follow you through rock poop. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. Fruit. Fruit says we should check things out over here. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. So who's next in line for the throne if Lady Hellbender has an accident? Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even Death herself. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth it. For you, maybe. I love easy. Wow. Our mate never heard of roads? You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Good. They deserve it. Seknoff 9 is a sanctuary. They say that if you leave behind a single piece of refuse, Lady Hellbender will personally return it to you in the most unpleasant way. That can't be true. <laughs> Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, 
How much are we asking for our monster? 395 million units, give or take two. One for every precious hair follicle on this flawless body. You have counted them. It was bizarre. Hey, at least I have some to count. Definitely in my top ten fortresses. What the flark? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. All because of one lousy source. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that... Let's just get this done. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flarkin' infinity bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? The bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you blue? Oh! Right! Cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him! You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Remind me again. How many missions have we been on so far? Thirteen. Fourteen, if you count Contraxia. Contraxia was not a mission. It was a mistake. All right. Point is, is I was able to sell you. Gamora, daughter of Thanos, intergalactic assassin. As a hero. Fourteen times! <laughs> Fine. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Drac. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. Will you stop worrying so much? You're gonna start growing knots again. Okay, here we go. while I'm stuck in a flarkin' cage, please. <sighs> Does anybody have, like, a campfire song or something we can sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called... Please Stop. Right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is Please Stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 
13 whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. are still crap from trying to bookmark pages. I know it's not how you're supposed to play, but I'm tired of dying everywhere. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Andy says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that, something growing inside of you. Slowly taking over. A man on the run, he's a ghost, he is no one. The thunder, when it comes, will bring with it many guns. Gypsy woman said, she said, boy, you time grows deep. You can't run forever, gotta stand and face your fear. It will be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so... Full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. I think you got them all, and I got a healthy dose of your spit. <laughs> what did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight? Come on, it's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it, tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. 
But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No, of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. Shoot. Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's honor. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. Boring. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. Hansel stings from catching Mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Promise me you'll be safe tonight, Peter. We're just going to the movies. What could happen? Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna miss Knight Rider. Guess I'll just have to wait for the rerun. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. Sky's clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Dance as every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it.
I know it sounds crazy, but mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? At last! Huh? We have arrived at the Monster Queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. So, as I was saying, I can handle a little solo extraction. No offense, but you ain't exactly invested in my safe return. My skin, my plan. Your call, Peter. The flark it is. I'm the one in the box, lady. Peter Quill is our leader. The burden of your possible death falls on his shoulders. Fully on board with Rocket's plan that I was totally paying attention to. See? Even Captain Space Cadet don't trust your gymnastics. Wait, what about gymnastics? I just think we shouldn't be relying on a piece of tech you won't even be around to use. Are you serious? It ain't Guess we're going to it's find out. Even you mouth breathers can figure it out. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. I am Groot. Bonafide monster sellers. Today, anyway. What's in the box? A monstrous abomination from Half-World and the meanest SOB in the Quadrant. Pass. Pass? Rocket! I mean... Things puny. It is a hell beast, the namesake of your mistress. You would be wise to reconsider. Alright. Get going. Before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Hellbeast? It is an accurate moniker. The little beast has a hellish demeanor. I like it. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. I would show more caution, Peter Quill. If Lady Hellbender realizes our deceit, her vengeance will be swift. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. The Monster Queen has a monster army. Any chance they're the zookeepers? With guns? I have never seen one of those tamed. But I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Your genius plan is run away? Backup plan? Which we're not gonna need, but yeah. It's not like she can chase after us with her old monster mash. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planets in hospital surface? Because the will flies like a one-eyed badoon. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Wow! Look at this place! I'm in the wrong line of work! It is appropriately impressive for a warrior of Lady Hellbender's statue. Someday, that's gonna be ours. Ha! <laughs> Not yours. Come over near the cave and say that again. Good, Hellbeast! Let them hear your bestial howls! Focus, guys. Time to get those game faces on. I am cooked. He means you gotta sell the illusion to Exactly. Galeran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy of gold. Explain the vault. Priceless? Vault? Screw the sneaking around. Let's pull off a good, honest heist. No! Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humble, and my king's confidence is very empty. Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not claim me, queen. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. You, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I said, milady. release it. We 
got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of them. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. She is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Seknarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. reach its big size. If you think that's adorable, you should see him drink milk from a saucer. What? I don't even drink milk. Tell her, guys. Isn't Rocket super cute? Oh, yeah. Sometimes we even tie little ribbons with bells with jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you've never seen a raccoon try to open a refrigerator, you really need to. I ain't a freaking raccoon. The raccoon's temper is quite endearing. That's it. I told you. I ain't a freaking raccoon. And I sure as hell ain't freaking cute! Huh. Ah! 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 What are you doing? Plan B, Quill! Guys, less talking, more escaping! Now! 
effect. Whoa! That was lucky! Nothing about this is lucky! We can lucky. bicker later. We need to keep moving. Where are my drones? I want the Guardians incinerated! What is that? She's cheating! Die floating, that pod! It ain't dying, Quill. Try something else. Yeah. It ain't slowing down. Peter, tell me you've got an idea here. That's bad. That's very bad. We need an exit. Let's try and get out of here in one piece. We ain't done yet. Excuse me? I came here for units, and I ain't leaving without them. I am Yup, we're gonna clean out that vault we saw on the way up. You can't be serious. Even Peter's not that suicidal. You wanna cut and run, or do you wanna get paid? I want to make it out of here alive. We don't have time to argue. Hellbender's goons are gonna be here any second. Quill's right. Shut your traps and follow me. Not what I'm saying. Let's just find the big elevator we came in on and get the hell out. No wonder we're always poor. You saps don't know how to take what's yours. We should keep moving. We are moving. But we should be doing it faster. still come out on top of this thing. We'll be lucky if we don't end up on top of a spike. We got company! About time! Gora, slice him up! Feel this? I will enjoy this! The rodent was a poor choice for a ploy! It always count on you to stake the obvious tracks! Forgive this rebuke! There's not much weight to pull. Joke all you want, but without me, you wouldn't be able to get through this door. Without you, we wouldn't be in front of this door. Right there. We smash and grab, then, like Quill said, out the way we came. Five 
thousand units to the Hellraiser who kills these so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, people, let's do this. One catastrophe at a time. Run up the road! Any hope of the crew to have to go here? He don't know a good deal when shooting her in the face! gonna be worth it when we empty that vault. It is unknown if we will even be able to access its contents. Clark! Way too close! Follow them! Ah! Fight, cowards! Uh, guys! I think we walked right into a trap! Trap? No, she said trap. Everyone look for a way out! Quickly! Murder is I has returned. Try to! When they collide, they'll blow a nice hole in the wall. The floor's weaker here, and it looks like there's a tunnel or something below us. We're about to get minced. This has got Destroyer written all over it. We shall reduce it to drop. You expect us to crawl through a sewer? I ain't getting wet again! I don't want to hear one word out of you! You all got a real funny way saying thanks. Gratitude is not my current sentiment. It's more like murderous rage. Keep talking, you ingrates. I'm happy to cut you out of your take from the vault. Just admit it, Rocket. We had a plan and you blew it. The plan was blown the minute it crawled out of your brain. I saved the plan. You do not get credit for salvaging your own blunder. The blunder was putting our lives in his grubby little hands. I knew we should have gone with Groot. Groot ain't some piece of lumber you can hawk. Though I'm sure you got plenty of experience trafficking lies. Watch your tongue or I'll cut it out. Oh, I'm shaking, lady. You bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> Groot says you can all go sit on a hot poker. <laughs> fine, fine. You're all against me. But by the end, you'll be lining up to kiss my hairy paws. Everybody, quiet! Come on, we'll cut them off at the vault. Perfect. It does not seem perfect. It means we're headed the right way. Straight into an ambush. Just another by the numbers plan for the Guardians of the Galaxy. What we should have done is sold Drax. Hellbender was practically begging to buy a night with the big balloon. My gift is not for sale. The house pest still owes us 12,000 units. Well, take a deep breath, cuz we're here. One vault as promised. And a giant locked door. Leave that to me. We're ambushing them! Maybe we can salvage this mission after all! That door's still real close! Prepare yourself, Steve! Getting out of here is gonna be a nightmare! It is not a nightmare! We are clearly awake! I can't wait to see the look! It's a 
me the grand throne's face! Count yourself lucky if you don't! These Hellboys are really putting up a fight! Nothing a scuttload of units won't fix. Reminds me of the Saharan battle arena. Whatever you gotta tell yourself. Crash! Shut up there! Perish! This is exactly why we should have gone with Cruz! Not my best choice, I get it! I can't believe we actually made it! Getting here is the easy part! Okay, coast is clear. You're up, Rocket. Make it fast. Of course! There ain't a lock this side of Xandar I can't pop. I am adding to your debt for every extra minute this takes. Keep your manis on. You can't run genius. All Hellraisers to the main vault! Or I could try rushing and hope for the best. Let's go to Sounds like it's going great over there! Get the point! Lady Help me this horse is there, Rocket! Oh, Thanks, Will. How are you? I'm trying to freak you out! I just booked it for an ETA! However long it takes, plus whatever class you wait for distracting me! Guys, huddle up! Long have I craved to win a battle like this, Peter Quill. Order the others to stand down so that I may finish it alone. Uh, no. If anyone's gonna win this alone, it'll be me and my blade. I am Groot. Come on, guys. They're not the first ones to try us, and they won't be the last. There's been a thousand before them, and they've all found out fast. Guardians don't break. But we do seem to be taking a break. Because, uh... Who's with me? That's that was... Makes more sense. You mean... Chuck, Chuck! They just keep coming! Then just keep putting your back! Wanted woman in the galaxy. Most deadly. Same thing. How about a thank you, Rock? For nearly getting us killed? <sighs> for getting us into 
The crappiest vault in the greater Magellanic Cloud? You said there'd be treasure! A Galeran skull is priceless. Worthless is not the same. Guys! We need a plan! Agreed! My arms are growing moderately fatigued. Dig deep, Drax. Gamora, cover them. Rock and I will try to find something of value. Groot! Don't break anything! It's gotta be more than just junk in a skag heap. Well, this is not nothing, but nowhere near what we owe. Here we go. Not quite enough, but we're getting there. That's what I'm talking about. Not such a bad plan, after all. Not exactly good, either. All right, this will cover our fine, at least. Why stop there? After all she put us through, I say we clean her out. What she put us through? Enough! Quill. It's grown quiet. Quiet like peace and quiet, or like the grave sort of quiet? Definitely the grave one. Drax, please tell me you didn't just lock us in. I did not do anything. I'm almost impressed. The woodland creature has more bite than I originally perceived. <laughs> Enjoy the contents of my vault, Guardians. They will be the last thing Peter. you ever see. Shame to waste my Clintarian gas on such unworthy invaders. Do try not to melt all over my Kalaran skull. We need to find a way out. Now! It is both priceless and hard to clean. Deep breath! We've got to jam those vents, or the gas will keep pouring in. Freeze the lethal gas vents, Peter Quill! Root's right. One of them lights has got to be plenty heavy. Cut loose one of those lights. Heads up! Ah, now that was priceless. What are you waiting for, Quill? Hey, I found some more units. Are you seriously looking for money right now? Assassin's ring. Gamora would get a kick out of this. <laughs> Drax, hurl it right through that wall. With all my might. That'll do her. Let's move, people. I hope you know what you're doing. That makes two of us. Okay. Gamora, Drax. I'll live. My epithelial layer is intact. Rocky, Groot, where are you? Oh, fuck. Does anyone see a way out? I see a bright light. Well, don't go towards it. Guardians of the galaxy. How many times do I have to kill you? Stall her, Peter. The audacity that you thought you could rob me! For the record, we weren't all on board with the plan. Thanks, Quill. Why not sell the clothes right off my back? Do you know what I did to the last people who thought I was easy prey? You let them go? I got nothing. We're trapped. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably. Your offer 
is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller! Feast upon them! Destroy! 
Escaping Lady Hellbender's wrath. We'll see about that. What the? us to the end of the universe. Who gives us, Scott? We got off that mud ball with the money, didn't we? Money that you forced us into stealing. Yeah, well, what about that smash and grab on Satopia? I didn't hear you complaining then. Lady Hellbender is not a bank. Yeah, that's right. Because if she was, we'd have way more loot. Whoa, 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 whoa. One problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge. Mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. 
The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. That's weird. Is money all that you think of, Rodent? No, I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze. Nikki! Is it true? Really? There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thingy? Yeah, no dice. Nikki's your mom around. I really need to talk to her. She's with me. Inside me. After you left, we went to the quarantine zone. I sunk aboard and there was dark fog. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? I knew you were my dad. I didn't know the Riker said it was a miracle. I think something has happened to the girl. Yeah, it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, right. keep your star pants on. Right. I'll go check the array. I can bring her back. I can bring them all back. I just have to... Just an array. Just an array? Look at it, Quill. Where am I gonna get the parts to fix that? It's flarked! I told you it was a mistake to keep that thing. But did you listen to me? Oh, no, no, no! We don't listen to Rocket! He just has to fix the freaking ship! I promise we'll get it fixed soon. Yeah, just like you promised to get your girlfriend to go easy on us? Yeah, okay. Hey, that's not fair. You know what isn't fair, Quill? being the only one who actually seems to give a scud about the Milano. Look, guys, we need the dock to fix the array. Luckily, I know a guy on Nowhere has got the parts we need, and he can get rid of that Nova track cheap. No, we cannot abandon the child. The behavior was erratic. The llama thing you chewed the wires, Drax, it was probably just a bad connection. And if we remove the tracker, Corel will make sure the entire Nova Corps fleet is on alert for us. Gamora's right, we made a promise. I made a promise. See if you can pinpoint where Corell is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way, we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. If there is a next job. <sighs> Sounds like Groot's got that toothy bastard under control. Better not come back here and try to finish chewing through my ship! Or else! What's up, Muscles? Pissed about the Array, too? I am pondering our latest mission. I get you. Finally get a win, but no! Make it fast, Quill. I still got that Array to repair. Can we talk for a second? <sighs> yeah, sure. 
Let's talk. What you said before Seknarf about me giving a lot to the team and you making it up to me. You mean it? Every word. Then how come when I tell you how to get out of this easy, you ditch my advice and you roll over for Novacore? Rocket, please. Just because I don't always take your advice doesn't mean I don't listen to you. We're a team. Everybody's got an opinion. So you'd rather listen to Gamora? Gamora? Gamora knows her stuff, man. She's the navigator. She navigates the stars and, and planets and, uh, uh, comets. She navigates comets. Sometimes. And Groot is our, uh, special vegetation specialist. His opinion's valid, too. And Drax? What makes him so great? He's, uh, uh, tactical. Tactics. The man is such a tactician. And then there's me. The guy who gets mad and starts shooting up the place instead of following the plan. Come on. You're a valued member of this team. We started this together. Now we need to make something profitable of it. Something lasting. We could go to nowhere like you suggested. But if we don't pay that fine, Novacore will come for us. How do we make money then? Maybe paying our fine makes some sense. Exactly. So let's just get it over with and move on. Right? We'll see. There. Happy now? We done? Let's make this quick. What do you want, Quill? And it's done! Alright, this work is worth more than you're worth, Quill. Gamora, did you find... <gasps> Are those dolls? Yes! No. It doesn't matter. The Halosobes in the Teo system. Coordinates are in your console. So, why'd you close the view screen? None of your business. Isn't it, though? Sounds like you're trying to hide something from us. Yes, I am. Hate to disappoint, but I saw everything. Didn't really peg you as a doll collector. And yes, I value my life. Peter, I'm not gonna kill you for asking about my collection. That's good, because last time... So what if I collect them? A lot of people have hobbies. Groot collects plants. Rocket's obsessed with bombs. Yeah, yeah, and Drax has a lot of... really scary-looking knives. See? Nothing out of the ordinary. I guess. You know, as a kid, I collected stuff, too. Baseball cards, action figures... You think collections are childish? No, 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 uh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Peter. I don't care what you think, I'd just rather keep my hobbies to myself. Time's ticking away, Peter. Weren't we gonna pay that fine? Oh, looks like someone changed their mind. We're paying that fine, Rocket, whether you like it or not. Uh, Penny for your thoughts? What is a penny? Uh, it's money. Like units? The saying means I pay to know what you're thinking. We must use our currency to pay the Nova Corps fine, or we risk... Drax. Just tell me what's up. I am realizing that I do not know as much as I thought I did. Our visit to Seknarf 9 was not what I expected. Because Lady Hellbender isn't a giant? She is definitely not. That is only part of it, Peter Quill. On our way to her fortress, I realized that many of my assumptions about this team have been incorrect as well. Really? The Assassin and the Rodent. Without them and the tree fighting nobly beside us, we would not be alive right now. I told you, they're not bad people just because they have a bad past. Life is... complicated, Drax. Things are never simple. On Katath, it was. I had a family that I cherished and a 
certainty about life that I no longer possess. I'm sure you'll find it again. Just give it some time. Hey, Groot! Is the Chew Devil trying to chew on anything down there? I am Groot. Good. Keep it that way. Starting to think maybe it's just what it eats, you know? I am Groot. Yeah, the QZ would have been an open buffet for something that eats wires. Can I help you? Hey, hey, Gamora! I was just admiring this super cool assassin ring I got for my favorite super cool assassin. As a token of my, you know... Token of what? Of my everlasting commitment to not being murdered by you. It's gonna take more than a ring. <laughs> it is really nice, though. How do you know what kind of ring it is? Oh, let's just say you're not the first assassin to cross my path. Though, I guess I should be glad no one ever sent the deadliest woman in the galaxy after me. You know, that name is actually a misnomer. Everyone thinks I got it doing Thanos' dirty work. Before, you know, I betrayed him. In truth, I got it after I joined the Resistance, on a mission where nobody died. You have to tell me about this Resistance mission, especially if no one died. I don't think it's a story you're gonna like. Why not? Because it doesn't make Corel look very good. Okay. The thing you have to understand is that it was the end of the war. The Resistance was losing. Bad. The Shatari knew it, Thanos knew it, we all knew it. But then... Thanos died. At first, people thought it was a false report. Misinformation spread to lure the Resistance out into the open. But when it became clear that it might be true, Corel saw an opportunity. An all-or-nothing mission that could win the war once and for all. The final attack on Shatari Prime. You're talking about the Resistance stealth mission that kidnapped their infant queen. Except kidnapping the queen wasn't part of Corel's original plan. The only reason she had me tag along was so that I would kill the Queen. What? There's no way. Is it so hard to believe? She was grieving. You know that. The Shatari had killed her husband. Her little boy. She wanted revenge, and I was her chance to finally get it. Brel would never put out a hit on a, a, a baby. She would never kill a kid. Believe what you want. But she's not who she was back then. None of us are. Something changed. Maybe it was having Nikki. Either way, I refused and we won the war without killing anyone else. And for reasons I don't fully understand, I became known as the deadliest woman in the galaxy afterward. What did cause you to betray Thanos? I mean, he adopted you when you were like... Five. He basically raised us, taught us everything we know. So what finally did it? What snapped you out of it? I... found the Resistance. What? Thanos was obsessed. He had me and Nebula combing the galaxy for their location for cycles. Each of us determined to be the first to find them and report back. So when I found them first, I was so excited to tell him. I got home, and I found him talking to an empty room, to someone called Lady Death. That's not ominous. I truly thought he loved us, in his own twisted way, but... Thanos didn't want to restore balance to the galaxy. He was just in love with death, literally in love. And he would kill all of us, including me, including Nebula, to prove it. But you couldn't let him. No. 
So instead of telling him where to find the Resistance, I joined them. I, uh... kind of don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. After the Galactic War ended, I moved on. And now I'm here, doing all this fun stuff with you guys. And I wouldn't have it any other way. But seriously, thank you for sharing that with me. Sure. You truly believe the llama creature consumes wiring as its diet? I don't know, maybe? Wouldn't be the strangest thing I've heard. There are numerous Katathian legends about metal-eating beasts, although they usually prefer to consume a warrior's blade, and usually right before an important battle. Convenient. Get out of my tail, Quill. I'm busy. Oh, nice! You made a cute little pen. You didn't mean to chew up the comms, did you? I wonder what the future has in store for us. More fighting! Perhaps next time we should get a contract with no fighting involved. What would you be good for, then? Dispatching enemies is not my only skill. Okay, Corel, get ready to be impressed. Corel is probably monitoring this ship, waiting to see if we make the right choice. <laughs> Looks like your girlfriend held up her end of the bargain, Quill. We know for sure it's her. Checking. Same designation as before. It's definitely Hallis Hope. Well, he's the one who keeps crashing. All right, let's pay that fine. So, after we get out of here... You mean, if we get out of here? I know someone who could set us up with a relatively lucrative contract. I will not assassinate anyone. Yeah, I ain't sneaking around no rich Flarker's mansion to poison his dinner or something. I was going to explain how we could land a cattle herding contract with our llama experience. Absolutely not! You ever been to the Rock before? Yeah, looks like every other Novacore station. This reminds me of when I surrendered to the authorities. What was it like? Liberating. Something tells me we'll be out of here faster than your prison sentence. Depends if you still plan on mating with Centurion Corel. Rocket'll come around, just try not to eat anything else, okay? Ready to pay our fine? Hi. Even Groot can see you're here for some blueberry pie. I'm Groot. It ain't a station shaped like a rock, it's a rock shaped like a station. I know there's some reason we're doing this, but I still want to go on record that I don't want to be here, and that being here is a mistake. Want to bet on who can flip off the most officers before they catch us? Not in the mood. Okay. 
I thought you'd like that. Any chance you know how to get around this place? You don't get around. You're either brought in or you stick to the reception desk. Okay, here we go. If they so much as scratched her paints, we get Novacor to reduce our fine. Good luck with that. It's gross negligence. Negligence. That's what I said. Where is everybody? Most Nova stations are heavily automated, all synchronized by the world mind. It is unsettling. Not like they had M ship. Designation Milano. Move whoa, to holding whoa, space R seven three L. Present validated ticket to kiosk prior to departure. Ticket? Relax, Rocket. It's standard procedure. You keep saying that. This isn't exactly my first Nova Corps find. Yours either. First time I'm paying one. Flarkin knew I should have stayed on board. Come on. I won't let anything happen to my ship. My ship. And you just did. I mean anything bad. Trust me. That's what you said about your cop girlfriend. What kind of name is The Rock, anyway? It is factually accurate. Would you believe the name's got nothing to do with it being on a giant rock? I would not. So why is it called that? No idea. That's just what I heard. Okay, it's not supposed to be this empty. Is it a holiday? Space cops don't take holidays. Hello? We're here to pay a fine? Looking for Centurion Corral? Door's locked. Well, we tried. Come on, let's go. We're not leaving. We'll go to them if we have to. Look, the door controls are on the other side if we can get you there. So what, now I'm supposed to hack Novacore security? I mean, if you don't think you can... Cheap shot, Quill. We are discussing breaking into a Novacore facility. It ain't breaking in if no one's here. That is precisely when one would break in. Thirsty big guy? This machine appears to be inoperable. Maybe they're just all out of your flavor. Yep, it's locked. Thanks for taking my work. Odd. What is? I mean, besides all of this. There's nothing. Not even a welcome screen. It is on, right? They're always on. Constant connection to the world mind, that's the point. This one's been severed. Huh. Any chance they're all just on break? I am Groot. Groot says the kiosk still says open. I say it ain't our problem. Yeah, Nova's tech ain't that fancy. Don't expect me to hijack the world mind or anything. I don't like this. We really do need to get that door open. Hey, I can crack it. All right, there's an air duct in here. Could be a way in, Rocket. Think you can squeeze through this vent? If you can get it open, I ain't that flexible. Perhaps this is a test to see if we will respect the bureaucratic process. Well, newsflash, I don't. And if they want their money, they better hurry up and come and take it. You gold domes hear me? I got much better things to do with these units than forking them over to you! Shut your mouth! We're supposed to be leaving! 
What? Bruce says there's an air duct in the room with the controls. All right, Rocket. See if this vent leads into that other room. And be careful. Huh. There's something screwy with the power grid. It's like they're on backup only. I'm sinking the schematic to your visor. You could do this the whole time? Follow the circuits and let me know which junctions to switch. We'll have to pick and choose where we reroute power. This thing's got false positives all over the place. I'll have to do a relay. Is that supposed to mean anything to us? No. That's a door. The wrong door. Hey, hey! It's a bathroom! Anybody gotta go? The only place I wanna go is out of here. Watch and learn. Oops. Oops, what? Nothing. It's fine. Maybe, uh, just don't touch. There you go, buddy. Free soda. I will not add theft to our list of charges. We'll find out. Sort of worked. The blast door is going to need some extra scoop. See if there's another power button. What the fuck, Peter? You said the connection was down. I thought it might help. <coughs> no, didn't help. Presto! It is conspicuously silent. What are they doing? Scanning each other. Clark, if I know why, though. They're acting bonkers. You hear that? Oh, poor little guy. It is a thing. Your sympathies are redundant. Hey, I'm half thing, remember? I did not. Out there. there it is again. Uh, hey there. You are not. What gave it away? Whoever y'all are, come here a minute. Hey, jumpsuit. You gotta get me out of here. I don't belong in a cage. Novacore begs to differ. Well, no one asked you, scary eyes. We should not be aiding and abetting a criminal. Weren't you a Novacore prisoner? Indeed, and I served my time. What do you know about whatever's going on here? Not much. There was a commotion. People were talking about some mother, and then they just left. Corel? Did you see a Centurion or a little Cree girl? That's all I know. Come on, I helped you. Time to help me. Look for a door release or something. Congrats, Quill. You just executed your first prisoner. That seems improbable. Maybe we just sent him back to his cell. Like, that was the visitor's area. In my experience, Nova Corps do not permit visitations. You were in the kiln. Of course you weren't allowed visitors. This isn't a supermax. Hey, buddy. Well, ah, hey, what now? I got rice! Now this place brings back memories. Did you once serve with the Nova Corps, Peter Quill? What? No! But I had to stand in a lineup once, maybe twice. <clears throat> anyway, good to be on this side of the glass. One, two, three, four. Nope. What are you doing? I figured as long as we're here, I may as well try and dig up some juicy Nova secrets. Maybe they even got a bead on Gamora's blue or half. Not likely. What's that? Nothing. What's wrong with it? That's stuck in a loop. This behavioral procedure won't update. So the robot version of you two. <laughs> ah, Nova Scott. Lucky it ain't leaking coolant all over the floor. Perhaps a deadly assassin infiltrated the facility. Don't look at me. Whoa, that guy was serious business. Well, now he's seriously someone else's business. Assuming that's the last we see of him. 
I formally declare my objection to trespassing the Nova Corps facility. I'm getting a real haunted mansion vibe from this place. And none of that screams run away to you? Ugh, elevator's out. But the shaft above looks open. We can use it to climb up there. You expect us to walk on that thing? Please don't fall, please don't fall. Oh, crap! <laughs> okay, piece of cake. Spooky. Oh, you were too. Are these Centurion armor? Yup. Feel free to try one on, Quill. A true warrior requires no armor. You wouldn't fit in one anyway. You wear armor is to expect failure. For real? Can I try one? <laughs> if you want to get fried through a puddle of goo. Each one is gene coded by the world mind. Are you saying the world mind has the genetic code of every Nova Centurion? Yup. Word is, the bugs tried to use that against them in the war. But that's one supercomputer you can't have. Believe me, I tried. This looks like the only way forward. Are you blind? I didn't sign up for getting dropped in too, just so you could make your, your girlfriend proud. It is more likely that the door would repeatedly crush your tiny bones. No wonder the door's all torqued out. The rotor won't stop spinning. All right, let's hope that holds. How come this one gets its own room? Looks like a workshop. You know, I hear they anodize these things with some kind of Zendarian smart metal. Metal cannot be smart. Smarter than some. Be right there, you impatient flark snuffle. in my back because of that. More nothing. There's gotta be an explanation. You heard that guy. They just left. And so should we. He also said something about Corel. He said mother. Everyone's got a mother, Quill. You do not. Point is, mother could be anyone. Except you. Rocket, do your magic. No. What? I said no. When are you gonna come to your senses, Quill? I am Groot. And then what? He's gonna drag us halfway through this station if we let him. Okay. We try one more room, and if we still haven't found anything, we leave. Deal? Fine. One more room, not two. One. Shifts. I heard they got uh, staffing issues. From who? People. In places with uh, other people. Peter Quill. I found this. Sector 1, check in. Sector 1, sweep complete. 75% acceptance rate. It is as she promised. Have faith. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Well, the good news is we're not alone. There's lots of chatter. Tell them I want my ship back. My ship. I sense there's a butt. But it sounds like they're searching for something or someone. Could explain why no one's around. Well, who gives a flark? Tell them to get their golden butts up here. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Sector 3, check in. Sweep of Sector 3 in progress. There has been some, uh, resistance to the promise. Prom uh, hey there. Is this thing on? We're, uh, we're looking for Centurion Corel. Who is we? We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. We were supposed to meet Centurion Corel to pay a fine. Hello, Guardians of the Galaxy. I would be more than happy to assist you today. Where are you now? 
We're, uh, in some sort of monitoring station. Understood. Stay where you are. We will come to you. Well, what did they say? They're coming to us. Huh. It's about Flark and time. Where's Centurion Corel? Have faith. She is not with us at this time. Have faith? Really? Anyone else seeing a purple glow around these guys? I do not trust them. If there's an alternative plan, now may be the time to execute it. I am group. Come. All will be made clear. Once you experience the promise. What do you mean there's no Centurion Corel? Her ship's literally docked outside. I understand your confusion. We will set your tumultuous souls at ease. Come, Guardians of the Galaxy. We will take you to the Hallas Hope. Then you too can have faith. We should return to the ship. Yep. I am good. All right, we shoot our way out. Purge the Guardians! Oh, someone's getting there! We are engaging in self-defense! That's you! I'm on the offense! Got one of the words that have face call! These renegades are relentless! This will not reflect well on our find. I don't see that matters now. With that door, Flark, we gotta go out the way they came in. So expect more of them purple freaks. Let's just find Corral. I'm sure she'll know what's going on. Yeah, if you don't try and kill us like the last lot. No way. Not Corral. Oh, Looks like a standoff. It was a standoff. Not good. Flark, Nova killing Nova. Which side won? There's your answer. Oh, man. This is bad. We're sitting down. I will not stand here and wait to die. None of us got a whole lot of ah! choice. Flark and Meathead, nice knowing you. Here has everyone got nuts. Oh! Bend your knees when you land. Can you handle that many? I don't know what we can do about it now. The others do not know what they are missing. I'm sure they'll get their turn! That Nova Corps dude was walkers! Wait a knock to send <laughs> into us! Me on 
Matrix! Ugh. Another fever trooper now! Incoming explosive! Get off me! Oh, crap! Guys, huddle up! Everywhere we turn, our enemy confounds us, Peter Quill. It seems we no longer remember how to fight. Oh, I remember, big guy. But these Flarknards are destined tough. Yes, it's tough out there. But have you forgotten who we are? We fear none. Flarkin' right. Because we've never known another way. Shoot from the gun, cross us, and you know you'll pay. Who's with me? This is gonna be fun! Let's... Hold it at him, big guys! Fine, we'll be paid today. You don't say. Guys, Corel's ship is right there. We just need to... What? What do we need to do, Quill? A whole bunch of whacked-out space cops just tried to vaporize us. And you want to go looking for a rematch? Because your girlfriend might be in trouble? That's not what I'm doing, and she's not my girlfriend. Could have fooled me. Rocket, the only thing that this is about is getting our ship back. We find Corel, and then none of this is our problem anymore. You're right! It won't be our problem anymore. Because we didn't sign up to be run around halfway across the galaxy by a, a cop love and heal me! I am proud. Come on! Seriously, Corel? Join the Guardian, she said. It'll be good for your mental health, she said. <sighs> All right. Listen to Flark up. Groot and I are getting off this dast rock. Anyone who'd like a ride can follow us. Everyone else can go to hell! I prefer the rodents' plan. So try. All must see. All You don't will think this believe. sort of thing is happening at Nova stations everywhere? That's what they get for being jacked into an inter-system network. Rocket, come on! You come on! I told you we should have left! And we are! I'm on board! Let's find the Milano the and- Intruders reported in the repair bay! And try not to die in the process. First sensible thing you said, all cycle. Is there any way for us to track where the Hope went? Why the scud would we want to do that? 
There could be survivors. Intruders in C Junction! Looks like we're fighting our way out! Allowing us to free our body! Come on, put him down! Throw that track! Oh, don't be up, Rocket! You'll feel better! Trust their bonkers! That's right! Close quarters ain't really my thing! Just be careful with those bombs! I totally laid out that psycho soldier! is not where I thought this day was going. Hey, you said we needed to go up, right? More up than this, but it's a start. Never thought I'd be fighting Novacore again. They are no longer Novacore. Yeah, this don't count. But who or what are they? What's with that glowing? For once, let's keep our noses out of it. Hey, we can get through here. <laughs> You'll fit, just suck it in. Maybe Corel took her ship back to Xandar to report. Look! Are they praying? What the hell have we wandered into? Check out that big guy. Don't look like no Nova to me. He's a sorcerer. Behold the magic flowing to the altar. There's no such thing as magic. Right? Come on. Let's get moving before these whack drops spot us. It's like we stumbled on some creepy cult. I told you, it ain't our problem. It will be if they've taken over Nova Corps. No Nova, no fine, no problem. We should probably tell someone. Yeah, tell it to your diary. Come on, down here. How do you know? This door's locked. I said down here. Good of 
you to join us. What's the harm in checking? What's the harm? Oh, let's just pay our fine. Let's just look around. Let's just stumble onto a flark and cult mutiny. I am Groot. Who says I can't? This is his fault. In fact, I'm done talking to him. To who? You! Too late. Huh? Groot, tell Mr. One More Room him and me are done. I am Groot. Fine. Quill, Groot says you and me are done. This is not productive to our egress from this station. So, you think... Yeah, I'll deal with the door. Someone's gotta get us out of here. Second guessing, I'm just sure. These doors have been barricaded. It means someone at least tried to resist. Bad lot of good at them. We don't know that. There could still be others on the station. Or maybe those were the survivors who fled on the Hallis Hope. Were we in the same elevator? Those Nova barely got a shot off before they were gunned down by them glowy ones. Uh is that? Let's just pretend we didn't see that. So let's flark and go already. Come. What the flark was that docking number? R73-4PL. Are you serious? Always. You're my new favorite person, Muscles. <laughs> no, not really. There she is. Come to Papa. 4PL. Done. All right. Bay is clear. Extending catwalks. And... Flark! What's up? The clamps won't release. Those whack jobs must have triggered a lockdown. Can you override it? Wouldn't be much of a lockdown if I could. I can hold her in position and get the engines warmed up. But you're gonna have to release those clamps manually. All right, release the clamps and don't die. 
All faithful converge on the central hangar. None can escape her light.
We should set course for Contraxia. They bear our issues over a cold catastrophe. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the tracker's still counting down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock and a hard place? That is what I said. Helen knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Look, me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? It means solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Depends if she are count. Saw a few of them last time. Uh, I'm sorry, Drax. I thought paying her fine would make things better, but it just made things more complicated. Do not apologize, Peter Quill. Our encounter with Novacore has given me clarity of purpose. We must investigate and fight whoa, this- Whoa, whoa there, Drax. We ain't fighting Novacore if we can help it. We'll just let Cosmo handle this. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Novacore officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. Assassin, you believe the events unfolding aboard the Rock qualify as a mutiny, correct? It looked pretty obvious to me. Even if the officers who rebelled were under the influence of a mysterious force. It doesn't really change that they rejected Nova Corps orders and started killing their shipmates. I find it repulsive. cared about this team, he wouldn't get turned around as soon as the next girlfriend walked into the room. Are you? I am not! We almost got killed back there. I almost got killed trying to get this ship back. Hey, uh, guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Can't we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Come on, Rocket. What? You gonna tell me I'm a valued member of your crew again? Leave us alone, Quill. Uh, Rocket? 
Flark off, Quill! Come on, guys. I am Groot. Groot says, go away. Let's talk about it. Leave us alone. Groot, reason with him. Groot don't want to talk to you. Rocket. Groot? Guys! Rocket! I must admit, I fear for the crew of the Hallow's Hope. You think Corral would have let those lunatics board her ship? She was not at her post when we contacted her. Someone else could have let them in. Well, that didn't last long. <sighs> Bet our comms array wouldn't be all chewed up if we'd kept the llama in here. Now, Quill? After everything that just... Fine. That's done. Thank Flark. So those coordinates? They're in your console. Got it. Assassin! Calm down. I'm just going to the bathroom. I am not agitated. You just looked at me like you wanted to stab me. My apologies. I have been told I have an angry thinking face. Did Rocket say that? No, it was Hovat, my late wife. Oh. Sorry. She used to compliment my contemplative scowls. She found them very arousing. All right, I'm out of here. Gamora? Not you two. Guys, stop using my toothbrush! Toothbrush? I thought it was a nail brush. That's a toothbrush! For cleaning teeth! You put my nail brush in your mouth? Demora! Nowhere here we come. Nowhere. Last spaceport on the edge of the known universe and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wondered what kind of person found it was like, Oh look! The severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare. Very valuable. The marketplace came after. Along with the noodles. You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals with Novacore all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! Are Rocket and Groot... Did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. Guess you were right. 
Turns out we couldn't trust those guys. I still have faith that the tree will bring the rodent to reason. I hope Nowhere's Chief of Security will intervene to assist Novacor, the station we visited. It perturbs me still. At least you're still here. I wouldn't want to miss your meeting with Cosmo. You wouldn't know Rocket's tracker-removing guy by any chance. Nope. Sorry. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. If I were Rocket, where would I be? You are not. He was much shorter and covered in fur. I mean, hypothetically. And you would have lived a completely different life, and your location would be irrelevant. Thanks, Drax. You're welcome. That was a great vacation. What about Rocket and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? Apology does not need to be sincere. Then what's the point? Demonstrates a willingness to compromise. I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. We could still pay the fine. But we'd have to go all the way to New Xandar to do it. What if we get there and it's compromised too? There's gotta be someone shady enough in the market to help. Maybe. But Cosmo deals with Novacor all the time. Maybe we can pay the fine through him. What's taking them? They should dock some. So you come in. Haven't seen an M-Class in a while. Not since Yondu went down anyway. You know Yondu? Used to. Long time ago. Before he got sent to the kiln. Heard one of his own crew turned him in. Yeah, that life catches up to everyone eventually. I suspect the rodent and his tree companion will be drinking somewhere. Where'd he get the units to afford anything? I do not expect him to pay his tab. How do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Hey there! I need to talk to Cosmo. He in his tower? Should be. You know the way? And straight through the market. You can't miss it. Something else I can help you with? Uh, no. I think we're good. Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope. We met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave when it befits them. Well, you're one to talk. How many people did you kill on your crusade against Thanos? Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Keep an eye on your things. These kooks are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. They have fortune tellers on Earth, Peter Quill. There were people who claimed to be able to see the future, sure. 
I've encountered them on several planets. Strange that's one of the things most galactic cultures share. That and walking on two legs. I always imagined aliens would be more alien. I think they're counting on that. Why does this Cosmo permit them to peddle their lives? Sears Square is kind of a tradition. It's been around ever since they moved the mining operation up here. Do you mind? You're making me uncomfortable. Your planetary chakras are very unaligned. <laughs> you must be mistaken. I'm doing great. Uh, okay. They say to know the future is to know madness. I had my fortune told at the fair once. She said my future would be a roller coaster ride. Looks like she was right. Guess so, but at the time I just went and rode the roller coaster. I've got enough to worry about with the present. Gods never lie. Only speak through. No prize to lie for that. I'm kind of right in the middle of this whole avoiding the truth thing right now. Some desperate for answers, others just doing what they could to make a few units. They're monetizing deception. Soothsayers on Katath are unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. Mad Titan will pay for everything that he has destroyed. He's gone, Drax. His death helped end the war. You were his adopted daughter. You believe that? I didn't. Not for a long time. But if Thanos was still alive, he'd have come after me by now. Ah, oh, I recognize you. A friend of Yondu, is that correct? Starboard, wasn't it? Has my elixir cleared up that little problem of yours? Uh... <laughs> what? I've never needed any elixir. Hello, good sir, whom I have never met before. Is there anything in particular you are looking for? Uh, nope. Just browsing. team would be bad for you. Hi. Sunlord, right? There's a rock star? It's Starlord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh, oh, you poor... No, he's lying! I mean... Oh! By the quotations he wrote, the broken promise of all will be mended. Less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah, uh, fuck. Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. 
There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. If you're gonna keep making my face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green mini. Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You're being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. I told Peter Quill I would try. That is not the point. Anyone ever tell you you're an open book? Hardcover or paperback? I just meant Mantis mentioned a few things. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always make sense. Until they do. That insect woman was odd. I understand your reluctance to discuss her. Mantis is strange, but she means well. I think she does, anyway. Don't overthink it, Drax. Mantis gets in everyone's head. Let's get you a drink. I am not thirsty. Neither am I. Then focus on our mission and not on our mutual lack of thirst. Don't you start eyeballing me. It's a wonder this head hasn't collapsed in on itself yet. Sometimes I think the sleaze is the only thing holding nowhere together. Eh, uh, better sleaze than custom nano resin. I still got some of that stuck in my boots. What was his problem? Huh. Hey, dude! Hi, Groot. Rocket, you can't just ignore me. We gotta talk about this. So, you want us to bring them back here? Not necessary. Transport will be waiting once you capture the target. That'll work. We'll be in touch. Ah, let's go, Groot. What's the big idea, man? Think you got me confused with somebody else, pal? Come on, Rocket, let's talk about this. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? You can't just quit. We need you. Oh, well, uh, I don't need you. Find some other sucker to keep your ship together. You're more than just... I know that blonde mop anywhere. Need to quit. Uh, actually, maybe we can stick around for a bit. Thank you, please. Last time I see you, you was running away from Mordelia. With your britches. Off and done. Get ready for a fight. I'm always ready. What the? I don't know what's going on here. But I thought we was friends, Eta. Or did you forget about me? No, no, <laughs> no, I, uh, I don't remember meeting you, man. Sorry. Wow. How the hell could you forget? Look, look, there was a couple of years there where uh, things got a little bit blurry, okay? There. You know, picking up missions, strange women, alien alcohol. So just like now? I can't believe this. You and me, storm riders, together till the end. What is he talking about? Oh, 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 it's a song, right? 
It is. Of course it's a song. The one that was playing when Peter and me made our unbreakable blood oath. We did? Unbreakable blood oath? That is a serious commitment, Peter Quill. Oh, no, 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 whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Of course, I, I remember. You, me, uh, the, the, the music. Tells you what, Peter. How about you and me? Storm ride together! One more time. Here we go. You, uh. Oh, I to sing a song. Together till the end, gotta finish the fight. Cause this stone gonna rage till the end of the night. Come on, Lita. Together. Bartender, get me a cocktail stick. I need to poke my ears out. <laughs> Come on, man. What? Let's sing the next line. More! Together till the end, now we look to the sky. Lightning strikes twice, now we toss through the fly. Sing with me, Rita. Driving through, through the pour and rain. Ride the song. Storm Riders! Storm Riders! Yeah! Yeah! That's the spirit, Eta! Oh, come here. Oh! Uh, come on. For Flark's sake, let's go, Groot. Good time, good time, good time! You running the Ravagers now? I hear Yonder's still in time in the kill. <laughs> Me? Me? No, I, I got a new crew now. You? Still doing that, uh, thing you do? No, sorry. Novacore. Now my partner on Molivia. Um, but that's okay. I, uh, got a new business partner now. Into animal husbandry, you can say. Uh, that ain't no animal gonna have no husbands after she's through with them. <laughs> Which reminds me, I best be going. Oh, really? That's too bad. Uh, well, listen, Peter. I uh, want to apologize for almost shooting you. Oh. <laughs> you weren't actually gonna shoot me. Oh, I would have uh, brought in the head. Oh. But that's not the way to treat a storm rider, is it? All right, so I got you this instead. Uh, what is it? The ticket for Collector's Emporium. Yeah, I bought it thinking I'd have time. Go and check out the oddities. Wow, thanks, man. That's awesome. Yeah, my pleasure. And remember. left the bar once he realized you would not be killed. Uh, great. Yeah, on the house. Really? Thanks. Least I can do. If you hadn't knocked him down, I'd have to close up. With the biohazard demon will clean your brains off everything. 
down and hit it. and Groot picking up I a job. I was, I was, Looks that way, was, yeah. You don't really think he's serious about quitting, do you? He'll cool off. I think. They're too cynical for me. I guess that makes sense in an uncomfortable truth kind of way. Wow. I'm telling you this. You've got some friends, Peter. I'm telling you this. You said it. But at least you have them. Aw. Can we just have a moment? So, tell the others oh, and I slit your throat. And there she is. Some crazy things, but ghosts? I doubt it. You see, we'll all see. The place will be filled with ghosts soon enough. Maybe you've had enough to drink already. Something's up with no <clears throat> I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Uh. Guess I'll go talk to Cosmo alone. Got a lot of parts here. Ooh, just about everything. <laughs> Mostly. Refurbished, of course. Hard to get new equipment since the war. Well. You looking for something particular? I wonder if you have something I could use to remove a uh, Nova Core disabler. Seven, eight, twelve series. Two G two, maybe. Ah, nope. That one's decommissioned. I know. I got something that should work, no matter what. <laughs> and you're sure this will remove the disabler? It'll do exactly what it's supposed to. That's great. Thanks. You sure? Yeah. Hey, my group was supposed to wait here for me, but uh, they must already be inside. Hard work in this place. 
something to be running. But it's one of the only honest jobs available. Like I always say, shortcuts end up hurting you more than helping. Nice. I'll try to remember it. This place must be good. Look at the one. We think they're actually good. Make sure you don't cause any trouble. You won't get any special treatment, Terry. You're wrong about that. Me and Cosmo understand each other. Cosmo might understand you, but you have no idea what he's about. Don't find me. I'm just looking for my lost ticket. Don't suppose you could help me? I'll make it worth your while. Nice try, but I'm not falling for that. Not again, anyway. If you aren't going to help, then get out of here. Scare me away the roots. Commemorate your visit with a unique souvenir. Ah, oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome you, lucky traveler, have arrived at the Illustria Symporium. Private collection of Panelier Tivan. The premier, premier, premier exhibit of wonders in the galaxy. Most would hoard these treasures, but not Mr. Tivan. He is so, so, so generous. He wishes to share them with the common people. Would you, you, you like to take the greatest collection of I'd love a tour. Oh, I have this. Think I get him for free, right? Oh my, you must be a very important person. Mr. Tivon does not give these out very, very, very often. Please enjoy the Emporium. The greatest collection in the galaxy. Enjoy the wonders of the Emporium. Oh, cool. Kinda neat. Fancy. I don't get it. Kinda neat. I don't get it.
fancy. Not good. No way. How'd they get that? Neat. The greatest collection of gifts in the galaxy. Commemorate your visit with a unique souvenir. Welcome. Oh, cool. Fancy. Interesting. Welcome to the Emporium. Uh, hey there. Greetings. I hope you enjoyed the Emporium. Would you like to purchase a souvenir? We have some very unique items. Maybe. What kind of things do you sell? Replicas of very rare items. Figures and effigies from lost civilizations. Objets d'art, in other words. Figures? Like dolls? There's a member of my crew, a woman, who might like that kind of thing. A boorish person might call them dolls. But that is neither here nor there. Tell me more about this person. She, uh, also likes swords. Oh, not what does she like. What is she like? Oh, distant and tough. But I think maybe there might be some squishy bits in her somewhere. Ah, I believe I have the perfect item. What do you think? Would you like to make a purchase? Just the right kind of creepy. She should love it. A magnificent choice. I presume you will forgo the silk gift wrap. Yeah, this is fine as is. Very well. Enjoy your purchase. Good day.
Of the Milano, give the team a huge bonus. Are you ready to buy the jackpot of a lifetime? How will I know if I win? You are encouraged to return to nowhere to verify your ticket. After verification and an excessive verification fee, the jackpot will be transferred to your account. I'll take one. Here you are. May fortune smile on you more than she smiled on me. Guess I'll be seeing you in a few rotations. With any luck, sir. With any luck. Good for you. Bad for me. This place must be good. have a good nose. All I can smell is the brains. You must hate it here then. It's skill couldn't be super fun the ball win the pariahs, what do you say? This isn't one of those games where I have no chance of winning, is it? Captain, Captain, Captain. Don't you know your onions, Captain? The good Bolshevik cleaned up the boardwalk. No grip, no grab, no cheats, no cons, no sir. So I can win. How about this, Captain? We play a friendly low-stakes game just to prove that I'm on the other What do you say, Captain? What do you say? Fine. I'm in, but don't try anything funny. Not me, Gavin, not me. I run my game straight as an arrow. See? The ball's in this cup. Now, keep your eyes glued as it moves. All right, all right. The cups are set. Make your choice, Cap. Uh, the middle one. Well, I'll be. You got it, Captain. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. You got a shot pair of peepers. Here's your winnings. See? My game's on the level and plumb true. A game of chance means you always have a chance to win. I guess you're right. Sharp as attack, Captain. How about we play again? Maybe raise the stakes just a smidgen? Start shuffling. Get ready to pay out. Oh, what confidence! That's what I like to see. Keep your eye on the cup with the ball. Here we go, Captain. The ball's in the middle. Oh, no. That's too bad. And Captain, looks like you lose. She was positive that's where the ball was. The eyes play tricks. Sometimes an iron can't keep up. Something tells me it's not my eyes playing tricks. A nasty bar, Captain. Thanks for the letters. Have yourself a fun day. Hey, wait. Come back here. Are you looking for something in particular? I might be able to help. Uh, no, thanks. I'm trying to keep it on the straight and narrow. If you aren't looking for anything, why do you keep bothering me for? Go! We are hiring on the mining rigs. If you're looking for work, someone's gotta keep this place up and running. Got a job, thanks. What happened? I dropped my if I can hire three more workers, I go up the pay scale, and I don't have to work as hard. I think you'd better work on your sales pitch.
but it looks like it's almost ready to pay out. Okay, one game. The lemons, the lemons. Oops. Yes! Oh, purple! That's a jackpot! Woo! The... Why are you paying out? Real error. Please contact local... Ah, oh, crap! You gotta be fucking kidding me! Still broken, lousy game. Forget your troubles. Got one thing left to do, and then I plan on doing some serious forgetting. If I see you again later, I'll buy you a drink. Hmm. It's a date. Turning into a real scut day. What's on the menu? Got choga dogs, noodles, kebabs, and foam pies. What'll it be? Keep hearing about the noodles. Might as well try them. Might be a little spicy for a Terran. You sure? I can eat anything. It's your stomach. <coughs> Enjoy. Oh. 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 Ah! Feels like something bit me. Oh. That hit the spot. Glad you liked it. Did you want something else? That's it for me. Thanks. Pain is time. I have heard the words, and I know what is coming. We should celebrate. Maybe a gaudy bauble will make me feel better. Might as well get something to commemorate the time my team ditched me. That's actually pretty cool. And buying it made me feel better.
Drax, bud. Is everything all right? You believe that this is the edge of the universe, Peter Quill? Well, yeah, because it is. So, uh, this is the thing you had to do? Come to the observation deck to look at the rift? No. I came to honor the memory of my family. They died without meaning. Or honor. I think I know what you mean, man. My mom won the, uh, Shatara game. She also died for no reason. They just... shot her. But at least she's in a better place now. Right? In Katathian religion, we believe that in order to reach Ultaf, I must lead a life filled with purpose. Failure to do so results in banishment to Sarduth. Our families have been cast out of paradise, Peter Quill, and into nothing. Whoa, whoa, wait. Wherever my mom is, it's not out there, okay? She was a good person. How do you know? Because I just know, all right? If she's anywhere, it's in heaven. She doesn't just deserve to stop being. If you do not mind, Peter Quill, I would like to be left alone now. Oh, yeah. Sure, man, no problem. We'll catch you back at the ship. long ago I should stay away from wires. There's something strange happening here. My power readings are off the charts, but this thing looks dead. Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu. Nowhere security. Super official. Go out the way. Ali. Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there. Star Lord. In Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo Prison. You choose.
Cosmo? You in here? Cosmo! Sure, not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay, just gotta find Cosmo, then I can deal with the team, if I can find them. Peter, there's something out there, but I won't tell you what it is, because I think being distant makes me mysterious. Cosmo, that you? I hate mazes, especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude, deep breath. Deep breath. Look at you, Flark and Humey. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines. Flark! I give myself a heart attack. Got here. Watch it, Star Lord. And what's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? Uh, I heard nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him! We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, <laughs> uh, lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up and die! Wait, the lady ain't want him alive? Indeed. <laughs> uh, Lady H, whatever Lady Hailbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice! You don't cross Lady H! Uh, uh, triple! Uh, uh, I'll triple it! Yeah, then I'll run. Look, guys, this is a big misunderstanding. That's how we make our unit. It's root fire time. Maybe we sit down, have a choker dog, cut this over. Uh, lady. 
88 told us how much you babble. Get crushed, Eric. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. No! <laughs> 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 Draw them apart before shooting, Peter! Been watching us since we landed on nowhere! You two are just making me want to hit you! We need to split them up! Any last words? Now this is almost a fair fight! Sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I knew you wouldn't wait. Do 
Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Ugh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but... Something has changed. And now more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Wow. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What do you mean, important? He was king. Of an entire world. Called Spartax. Far, far away. And he was a great leader. And the way you look after people, Peter, I know you're going to be just like him. But leading... is never easy. Your father... left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really want to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're gonna have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. Buddy, 
What are you doing there? You scuts got lucky. Yeah. We almost murdered her. The word is murdered. That's what he said. Sheesh, no use being pediatric. <sighs> oh, crap. Would kill a lot of you. But not you, Mr. Big Words. Nope. Lady H won't be you alive. Not too alive. Well, then you have failed your mission. Miserably. Peter Quill. These lackluster bounty hunters claim Lady Hellbender hired them to kill us. Hey, we're no slouches. We're part of a league now. No, no, no. Not a league. You said yourself she'd hunt us to the end of the universe. I had hoped she'd send a monster. Not these two. We would have murderized you. But don't worry. There's more coming. Did you hear that, Peter Quill? A silver lining. Yeah, that's great, Drax. Won't be long in these clavers. Not a, mm -mm. Friends be breaking us out soon. Oh, real soon. Plenty of wish we did kill. Be silent. Nice that you finally showed up. Would have been even nicer if you didn't abandon me in the first place. I never left. One minute, we're having a great time, and the next... Wait a second, did you use me as bait? Huh. Well, your plan worked. A little too well, seeing how we're in jail now. We're all in prisons of our own making, Peter. My name is Lady Hellbender. Hey, this is a big mistake! I'm innocent! Cosmo, are you out there? Cosmo! Hello? Cosmo? I really need to use the bathroom. Yeah, get your mitts off of him! Ow! Oh, look, butter just scratched me! Well, I'll do more than that. I'll murderize you. Uh. <laughs> hey, guys. Didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, cram it, Flatnard. Flatnard? Yeah, and a scruff crew in one, too. Shut up and get in there! <sighs> Come on, dude. What's your problem? You are. That's why we quit. <laughs> yes, you did. Now stop talking to him! Rocket, buddy, come on. We had a good thing going. You and Groot are better than two-bit bounty hunters. Scoff. What did you say? I said scoff. You don't say scoff, you just scoff. Oh, so now I don't express myself proper-like? <sighs> you know what? You're a real piece of... What do you think I was going to say? I thought you were about to say... I'm roughing that too. I mean, man... What? You rough in front of me? I told you a bajillion times, I'm not a roughing animal! What were you talking about? You Sorceress, this! Where are we? You ought to have been still on Nord. Osmo! How you doing, buddy? We were just about... Guardian of Galaxies will tell Cosmo why they broke into Continuum Cortex. Or Cosmo will conjure worse psychic Gulag. Broke into the... the... Do not feed Cosmo Cat Biscuit's Peter Quill. You work with Blood Brothers. Create distraction, so pesky raccoon and sentient tree friend can use Continuum Cortex. Cosmo also know Guardian of Galaxies have Nova Tracker on ship. Okay, I'm sure it's just one big misunderstanding. Right? Right. We're here because something happened on the... No Ooh. Guardian of Galaxy, we're on Nova Rock. Yeah, we went to find Centurion Corral and pay our fine. Why? Strange transmissions spreading across galaxy. Like rabbits in springtime. Cosmo sent many team to investigate, none return. Now Nova Rock sending same signal. Guardian of Galaxy will tell me what they saw. The Nova Corps were killing each other. 
Sounds like they were drinking funky juice or something. Or joined the cult. Yeah, during that ritual with the priest. They kept talking about a promise. <laughs> right away, sir. Fraternity and Raptors. Cult of the Negative Sounds. Universal Church. Whoa, 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 stop. <laughs> that's them. That old man that's with them. Shuttle exploded on the Hallis Hope. Grand Unifier Raker, leader of the Universal Church of Truths. That name ring bells for Cosmo. He's old cult. Very powerful during Galactic War. Now, not so much. You said the rock was transmitting a signal. What if the religion were somehow... And yet, the Universal Church of Truths died with Gold Skin God. Let us investigate the Hallow's Hope for you. <laughs> what? You said none of your teams return, right? Seems to me like you're short-staffed, and we want to find out what happened as much as you do. We do. So let us investigate for you. Always a catch, Peter Quill. And not, not fun, fun kind with Paul. What Guardian of Galaxies want in return? Simple. Drop the charges. Contact Nova Corps HQ and get the World Mind to forgive our fine. Then we'll go. It's not being so easy. Face it, Dog Breath. You need us. Us? For now. Unless you got someone else stupid enough to go. In Soviet Russia, Cosmo would not trust words of capitalist scum. But this is not motherland. And Cosmo no power of collateral. Guardian ship, still nowhere. What? You can't take our ship? My ship. How are we gonna find the Hallow's Hope? Ask Pesky Raccoon. Now come, essences of time. Exactly. To original settlement. From early days, before Kiva could come. You mean the first mining colony is still here? Duh. Now abandoned, mostly. And highly restored. This is the place you broke into. Broke implies it took effort. Wait, this is the Continuum Cortex? His best, best way to reach Nova, Nova ship before moves again. We found Corel. Where is she? Nova ship currently in a leader system, orbiting my planet. Contraxia. Cosmo not surprised. Pesky Raccoon enjoy garbage planet. Their restrooms do provide valuable information. Entire planet now broadcast same signal as Novorog. Cosmo not understand purpose or intention. All them bars and bedding parlors and brothels. Maybe it's not such a bad thing after all. Cosmo paint to agree with Assassin. You were having a great time when... Stop! We can find Corel and save Contraxia. Maybe we shouldn't make too many guarantees. We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. This is what we do. I am with you, Peter Quill. You are? Of course. It was a rousing speech. Bootlicker. How many people know about this place? Enough. It's not broadcast across galaxy. But so, so what is this? Like another elevator? Oh, no. They'll figure it out. Please to stand back, Guardian of Galaxies. Oh, magnificent witchcraft is this? <laughs> I know. It's like they've never seen a giant transdimensional hand before. Please to step in ball. What if things go sideways? How do we get back? With passport. Can communicate with Cosmo, and if emergency, bring Guardian of Galaxies back. Better you take it than Captain Valor over here. This time, 
Investigate Novoshi. Use passport to report findings. And you'll speak to the world mind? Get rid of that fine, right? Those won't do the best. Good luck, Guardian of Galaxies. Anyone see any seatbelts? You better not throw up this time. This is... Sorcery? I was going to say dizzying. Are you broke? You get used to it. Are we in space? We're somewhere between space, between dimensions, between time, between realities even. What do you mean, between? We could theoretically go wherever and whenever with this thing. Even the places that don't exist, what uh, do? It's incredible. What kind of name is Avengers? Is that sound normal? <laughs> normal? You ain't heard nothing yet. Oh, Pat Benatar and John Jet watch over us. Who are these gods you speak of? Goddesses. <laughs> uh, Drax? <laughs> I am not the one laughing. It's obviously a new omen of our impending deaths. No matter where you hide. I will find no. Or it's an alternate reality. <laughs> I know that sound. I am proud. Definitely an alternate reality. <laughs> hey, look! It's Spider Man! Wait, is that Earth? Mom? Come on in, Janie. Peter will be up in a second. Really? Janie? Okay. Next stop, Alice Hope. Probably. Hold on, Groot. Here we go. <gasps> Clark and Alice! Oh, it's breath. Okay, here we go! Whoa! Oh, no, Clark! You guys okay? Do we look okay? Well, hang in there. I'll try to restore gravity. Oh, great. We're gonna be stuck like this forever. Rocket, buddy, what am I looking for? Drax, tell Scut Lord most ships use external power conduits to generate pseudo-gravity in hyperbaric airlocks. The beast says to find a power conduit. Right, and what do those look like? Tell him any vestiges of power should show up on his visor. And to stop asking so many Plarkin questions and get us down from here. Okay, I've got two conduits here. Someone tell them to turn them on. Thanks, buddy. Something terrible happened here. What gave it away? The lack of gravity or the general destruction? Nothing's happening. Gamora, tell them to check the power supply. It's empty. Then tell him to find a battery. Did you catch that? Yeah, yeah. Might be just what we need. Then pick it up already. Okay, got us a battery. Took him long enough. Hey, I'm trying, man. And we're still floating around. Okay, I got the battery installed, Gamora, but nothing's happening. Seriously? Uh, fine, I'll tell them. Listen up, slug breath. Tell me what you see. Uh, there's a blue wire and two connections, yellow and red. And one big green thing. Don't touch the green thing! Not a great time to start yelling, dude! Okay, okay. First, plug the wire to either connection. All we need is a little jump start. To either one? It's not brain surgery, just pick one. Uh, here goes nothing! Oh, crap!
gravity was not restored. You had one shot, Quill. I did exactly what? Uh. Uh. Impressive, Peter Quill. I didn't know you could do that. Neither did I. Those firearms are becoming quite formidable. Second time they've transformed like that. Third. If that was the third time, when was the first? The day I was kidnapped. When my mom died. We should continue our investigation for the dark. We'll need to get this wreckage out of the way first. Root's right. Should move if we give it a jolt. What do you mean, a code word? Fine. Groot won't call the mud until we all agree on a code word. Could be useful if we get cornered by whatever's on the ship. How about Quill Kill? Ooh, oh! The code word is Ride the Stars. And we should hold off calling Cosmo until we figure out what's going on. We should also standardize our use of the term dog report item to distinguish information of interest to our investigation. Yep. Sure thing, buddy. Dog report item. Something caused Nova Corps to abandon their ship. Maybe they all just quit. Some people don't give up when things start going wrong. That'll do it. Why does that keep happening? There, you all felt that, right? Yep. The same thing happened when I tried to restore the gravity. Looks just like what happened on the rock. Indeed. It was a desperate attempt at a last defensive position. Good bottleneck for it. If this was a fight, then where are all the bodies? Good point. There weren't any in the evacuation hangar either. Maybe everyone escaped. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Peter. Okay, we need to get to Corell's office. Someone tell Quill. Come on, dude. Can't we just talk to each other? Fine. You do know your girlfriend probably didn't make it. Now you are just being spiteful. Still nothing but emergency power. Knew this would come in handy. Where'd you get a Nova passkey? Nikki gave it to me, to keep it away from her mom. We could sell that. It must be worth a couple thousand units. Do you know what Nova from them? Look around. How much you want to bet there aren't enough Nova left to execute us? On it? Now that was some quality crafting, if I might say so myself. What do you hope to find here, Peter Quill? Nikki had all kinds of secret passageways on the ship. Maybe she left a message or something. You are fond of this girl. I, I guess. I mean, we actually had a lot in common. That reminded me of me, you know? I do not know. Uh, it doesn't matter. I just want to make sure her and her mom are okay. Now we're exploring maintenance tunnels. It can't hurt, can it? Better we check than miss something. This place don't look too safe at all. No way. Drax's rap sheet. He's gotta see this. Oh no. Please don't. Did you know this maintenance worker, Peter Quill? No. You seem relieved. I am. What the flark are you two doing? Let's go already! So what's the deal with Quill and that kid anyway? The cadet. 
I don't know. I thought he tried to save her just to impress Corel. What do you mean it worked? There's a tracker on my ship. Wish I knew the layout of this tub better. Then we could figure out where this started. You know where we are, Gamora? Not really. Anova never really let me out of their sight. They had good reason not to trust you. This again? I was only stating that Nova's position of not trusting you was accurate. The longer we bicker, the more we might miss. Very inspirational. Yeah, you get that off a of placemat? All I'm saying is we're in this up to our necks, and we'll need to work together to get out of it. Dog report item. Strange rumbling on ship continues. Maybe keep track of your items mentally? That is what I am doing. No wonder we've been stumbling around in the dark. Whoa! Ho, ho. Look at you, you sexy beast. Ah, uh, flirting rocket. Is it supposed to be upside down? Eh, only if you wanted to channel all the ship's power up through the ceiling. Makes no sense to me. There must be a reason. A bad one. Try that console. Uh, we can use this to re-invert the core, or uh, uh, de-invert, uh, de-vert? Rocket. Uh, the console's safety locked because the mounting arms are retracted. If we can pop them out of them side panels, we can flip the core. Huh. Looks like the arms are stuck without any power. I bet we could jumpstart them. How? Gotta be a power cell somewhere. We gotta get them arms out. Yep, I'm working on it. I could probably get you up higher for a better view. There's gotta be more machinery up there. Gamora, give me a boost. Of course. Right here. Going ahead. Definitely something up here. Obviously. Hell yeah, it worked! You know, them guns would make better engineering tools than weapons. Nice try. Let's get the other one free. Alright, Gamora. Let's get the second one done. Okay. Stop flarking around. It ain't gonna work without the arms. Guys, we've got incoming. Yeah, it's more of them infected trees. Man, I was hoping we'd find Nova Corps here, but not like this. <laughs> Find a way up there and discover why, for the dog report. Rocket, what's that console telling you? That you should come do the honors. Okay. Surprise! This whole thing's a lift. We can ride it all the way up there. I guess Nova grunts and grease monkeys don't get the cool flying suits. Typical. 
Nobody respects their engineers these days. If you want efficiency, you gotta make... Whoa! Lock! Foggy clamps! They're shutting us down! More freaks approach! Lorker's de-re-inverted the core again! Just have to re-de-re-invert it back! Have to take some heads! I hope we didn't fight alongside any of these guys in the war! Consider this a mercy! Not the shield is oh. behind! Enough already! So, let's take that sprint neck soldier out then! No mercy! Yeah, just try not to get shot by the big guns, bud! Good work, you two! I can't catch a break! Peter! Can you get there? It is best to avoid the levitating pods, Peter Quill! Never see it coming! Oh, ready! Woo! Show me woo! And ready! Peter got hit! Shocking! Guys, huddle up! I'm having a hard time fragging him out there, Quill. Destin's scutbags know how to dance. They're staying one step ahead of us, that's for sure. Open new ideas here, Peter. You think they've got all the moves out there? The only moves out there? Well, I say lies. <laughs> You said it. Let's take a stand right in this moment. Stare in the eyes of our opponents and fight until only one of us remains. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter Gray. Bring it on! Oh, yeah. Let's see that sword! My great strength goes underutilized! Tear them from their sockets. Looks like I can remove the clamps from here. Good. We will not be stopped by clamps. Duh! Sneaky dash bags. They scrambled the power circuit, so I can't release them. I grow tired of these clamps. Gonna have to reroute the circuits one by one to reset the power grid. Here, I'll get the door for you. You should be able to see the grid with your visor. Okay, visor's up. Now what? You should see power grids along the walls around here. Find their powered up nodes. Looking for glowy power nodes. Right. When you find them, you need to electrify the junction switch in the direction you want the power to flow. Groot, I think I have an idea. Use your roots to raise that platform with me on it. Bit of a root root boost thing. <laughs> He's always helpful. Got a locked door. Can you open it? No. Can you route power to it? Not from here. I'll try to find a way around. Yeah. Let's play elevator, Groot. This would go a lot so faster if we all had the ability to scan. Yeah, you got any uh, priceless Latitex or Navy and crystals lying around? I'll gladly fill them. No, we ain't got it. We only have the one. Gamora, think you can lift this panel with me on it? How about no? Where 
Perhaps the Nova Killer knows how to redirect these machines. He has experience. I was an assassin, not a saboteur. Same results either way, right? Would you rather paint with a paintbrush or a mop? Neither. I use explosives. Somebody else does the mop. Okay! I bet I can reroute the power to get myself back out of here. Solid plan. Hell yeah! Who's smarter than Novacore? Ah. That's gotta be one of the power nodes. Just need to reroute it. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, hey there. Anyone else feeling ready to move on? Yup. Huh, what did that open? Did that do anything? Not yet. You'll have to reroute a couple of them. <laughs> Doors open, and I got the power flowing through. Almost qualified to be a junior engineer. Thanks. Cosmo, tell him we tried and port the Flark out of here. I see it now. You've got half of it rerouted. Now work on the other room. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Might be gunning for your job soon. You want to trade? I'm happy to sit in the captain's seat. You frequently sit in the captain's seat. I did not just hear that. So, is there any chance of Quill getting back together with Lady Law? <laughs> She's no lady. She never set her standards that low anyway. That's factually untrue. Gamora, can you pry this wall open? No, I just end up wrecking my blade. Drax, I need a hole here to reach the grid. Then you will have one. Kinda wondering why Cosmo didn't fetch a bunch of his muscle and do this himself. It is simple. It required professionals. Yeah, the poocher don't even need to lift a paw to take down Lady Alvander's invincible goons needs us. Real life. Good. We agree on something. Gamora, I got something for- Groot! Need your help, buddy! Root boost, please! Arr, Groot! You can stop there. Thanks. Arr. Heave it, Groot! Up we go! So any guesses on what they're doing with all that power? Looks like you did it, Star Pants. Now get into the control room and hit that clamp release. I'll re re invert the core at the same time and get us moving again. Unclamped! Slick! Now get back in here before we leave you behind. Yeah, let's see how far you get without your button pusher. Now that we know the infected Nova are here, we can agree that whatever's going on upstairs is really bad, right? They were furious when we removed their power source. It must be important to their effort. Can't wait to smash it. Whatever it is. And then get back to Cosmo for our reward. Alright, this is our floor. Doors are sealed tight. Drax, hit that panel where all the wires connect. <laughs> Step aside. Come out to the coast. We'll get together, have a few laughs. What's that? Oh, uh, nothing. No, that. They must have flipped the core back. Something's powering up again. Great. Now we're stuck in the ventilation. Great job, Quill. Dude, I know you're peeved, and I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Really? That's it? In case you hadn't noticed, there's more important things happening right now than Quilt saying he's sorry. Whoa! 
Flark and Scott! What are these Fracklin kaboons doing to Contraxia? What is this thing, Rocket? I don't know! It looks like it's siphoning something! Something to do with those cubes? No, no! We gotta get a closer look! Get a quill. We have been in this hangar before. Churchman's shuttle exploded. Yeah, well, it looks a little different now. Because of the giant machine, yes. But I assure you, Peter Quill, this is where you and the girl almost fell to your deaths. So what is it? I think they're using the ray to fill some kind of battery. <gasps> Standard galactic I.O. ports. Regalian glass mat separators. Cree cathodes. I understood some of those words. I ain't never seen nothing like it! Energy readings are all over the place, but I can't tell what kind of energy it is! What the?! Hog report item! Scott, that's loud! Dog report item. Massive device siphoning energy from the tracks. Don't forget the energy cube! Dog report item. Energy stored in strange cubes. Poor good old Contraxia. I am Groot. Groot! We need to check out that giant ray thing! Can you get us across? Dog report item! We gotta destroy this thing! We don't even know what it is! Plus, we'd probably end up taking out the entire ship! And us with it! Let's avoid the scary beam! Good advice! Guardian of Galaxy, Scott Wojcicki. Investigation lead him to believe Alon is key to Galaxy Mystery. What is that noise? We are compiling an extensive dog report. Ah, flark the report. Tell him his magic hand almost got us killed. There's trouble on the ship. Big, loud trouble. Give specifics. Novacor has gone bananas. There was a battle, but no bodies anywhere. Oh, and there's this giant frickin' ray gun. Have Guardian found Centurion Corel? Not yet. Guard Uh-oh. What is... Uh-oh, Piotr Quinn. Something just came up. We'll call you back. Your experience fighting Centurions will be necessary here. Right out! Her justice is through! Hold your hand and tell everyone else where we are! That giant computer thing is probably in charge! Think tomorrow. Nice to meet you! Uh, they're too far gone to talk to! Hold them down, crew! Hold! Them. You're gonna stop the rocket! Where are we, though? That could be her! I have vanquished this Nova Corps traitor! With my fists! Get 
too of Groot! When I get near, the Centurion flies away! I'll enjoy this! Okay, seems to me like this ship might be ground zero for whatever's happening. We gotta find Corral, get some real answers. You have any idea where she is? I'm thinking we check her office. I even know how we can get there. You know a way out of the hangar? Yeah, Drax spotted it on our way in. We can use the hole Nikki and I fell into when Raker's shuttle exploded. You know, we never did talk about why you jumped after her, Peter. Uh, because it was the right thing to do. We should hurry. More zealots could arrive at any moment. The hole we saw should be on the other side of these moving batteries. Gonna need to find a way to stop them. Start looking around. Huh, that ain't right. The energy in this hangar is causing my hair to stand on end. Oh yeah, my fur is frizz. Wait a tick, you're as bald as an asteroid. Not true, my legs are covered in a fine down. Dog report item, the rumbling. Rocket, you see where that vent leads? Anything to get out of here. We should be prepared in case the beast tries to destroy this machinery. There you go. I've done my part. Yeah, thanks. Keep in mind, it may not forever. We still need a way through. Drax, I'm gonna need you to drag this over. I will assume you have a plan. Ah, I see what you were thinking, Peter Quill. Use the crane to grab a battery. Uh, right. Just like I planned. Just like I thought. Impressive work, Peter Quill. Just hope it does not cause an explosion. Well, let's not stick around to find out. All right, come on, the tunnel's just past here. We got lucky no one else showed up. The Unifier has detected an intrusion. Spread out. It will be contained. By, by her, her will. will. Move! There's too many of them. In the hole! Jump! Still don't get why you jumped after the kid back then. Top ten dumbest things I ever saw you do. You should have seen how worried he was. Hey, Star Pants was our ticket with the captain. I was worried his death would lead to more jail time. It was adorable. I hate you all. Pretty sure this is right. Pretty sure? Everything was on fire last time. I couldn't make that happen. No, no. Rocket, no! Piece of the Uniflyer's old ship? Unifier. Yeah, whatever. When we were arrested, they mentioned Raker got caught for the same thing we did. Not exactly the same. He got caught scavenging in the quarantine zone. How is that not the same? We were not scavenging for the same thing. Forget Raker. Our focus right now is finding Nikki. Your focus? My focus is not dying on this stupid ship. The dog wants us to find Centurion Corel. Right. So we're multitasking. I did not realize you and the girl fell down so far, Peter Quill. I didn't fall. I jumped. Heroically. <laughs> One more time, Groot. Let's go find Corral and Nikki. So, we all agree that the captain and her kid are probably dead, right? Corral survived the worst of the war. And a relationship with Peter. Still willing to bet they didn't survive this. You'd wager on whether or not a mother and child are dead. 
What if only one is dead? You don't think this is slightly inappropriate given Peter's history? Nikki's one of the most resourceful kids I ever met. Be careful down there, Peter Quill. Yeah, definitely a lot sparkier than last time. That'll work. What do you say, Gamora, now that the floor can't kill us? I say, no problem. Well, definitely no sign of Nikki or Corel. I mean, I guess that's good news. says we should start thinking about exit plans. The exit plan is to call Cosmo after we get the answers we need. Answers you need, maybe. Don't suppose you've seen Nikki? I'm sorry, what? Are you feeling okay, Peter? It's one of Nikki's robots. She gives them names and takes care of them or whatever. It does not strike me as very safe here, Peter Quill. Better this than getting shot at. Eh, speak for yourself. You'd rather get shot at? More fulfilling to shoot someone I don't like than look for someone I don't care about. Our leader seems to care, and so we should also pretend to care. I am <sighs> Of course you would. Careful, Peter Quill. Okay, don't remember this green gas being here last time. I think you mean deadly green gas. This whole ship's a death trap now. I'm sure there's a way to unburst these pipes. There better be, because there's no way I'm walking through that. What about your magical ice weapon, Peter Quill? Or perhaps you enjoy contemplating the intoxicating stench of death. There, breezy peasy. More death gas! Maybe Nikki and Corral are using it to protect themselves. Or, and hear me out on this, maybe they're dead. You know what, man? You're being a real jackass, like, way more than usual. Tension is palpable. Oh, can you both please just get over this? Agreed, either resolve your issues or fight to the death. Hey, I ain't the one who keeps sabotaging this team. Look, Rocket. I know I suck sometimes. We all suck sometimes. Pretty sure it's why we ended up together. I do not suck. Point is, I care about us. But right now, we're not the ones in danger. And Nikki's just a kid, man. As long as we're clear on the you sucking part. Clear as day. Sure, this is the right way, Peter Quill. It's clearly not. I'm investigating. Gamora, could you, uh. Okay, I'm gonna slice it. You sure this is the right way? Just keep your eyes open. You know, Peter, if Nikki and Quill really are. They're not. Now, where the flark is he going? He's looking for clues, I think. Find a dog report item. No, nothing dog report worthy. Still no signs of Nikki or Corel. In the face of death's infinite mystery, Contathians are taught to focus on what is tangible. I'll keep that in mind. Here, this is definitely the right way. Nikki's secret hideout is just through here. We thought we were going to the captain's office. We are, right after we check here.
Try not to break anything. This place means a lot to her. Oh, wow. Didn't Nikki paint all this? Pretty cool, right? Nikki? Little one, reveal yourself. Maybe try being a little less scary. It's Peter. The, the pirate. Nikki! We do not intend to kill two for two. Thank you, Nikki's passkey. <sighs> Careful, Peter Quill. In my experience, children often booby trap their toys. It's not Nikki's, it's mine. So we're just claiming our stuff now? Because if we are. No, I mean it literally used to belong to me. Uh, Quill, you gotta see this. This kid's obsessed with you. Wait, why does she have your toy? It's just something I gave to Corral when we were together during the war, like a keepsake. It doesn't mean anything. Does, uh, this mean anything? How old is the child? Twelve. Ha! Congratulations, Peter Quill. You will make a terrible father. Unless the child is dead, in which case, it does not matter. W wait is this why you dragged us here? Clearly. The child is 12, and Quill was with the child's mother 12 years ago. The math is irrefutable. Did you know? I just... Yes, okay. So the dates maybe kind of match up, so it's possible, I guess. It's only they had a health class on this. Inspiring. Can we just focus on if Corell and Nikki are okay? They're clearly not here, so let's move on and keep looking. Guess Nikki wasn't much of a Skrull fan. Pretty sure she ain't here, Quill. I think he's still processing. Still can't get over how good she is with all this tech stuff. Meh, I could do better. Yeah, but she's 12. So, I'm 15. Staring at it ain't gonna change what it says. It doesn't say anything. It's just some confused kid projecting stuff. Just some confused kid? That is no way to talk about your daughter. For all we know, maybe this guy's her dad. Yeesh. Looks like an even bigger deadbeat than you. Looks like Ronan the Accuser to me. Indeed. All I'm saying is clearly I'm not the only candidate. Deadbeat Ronan guy also fits the bill. Huh. Not a bad workbench. For a kid. Anyone else feel weird going through Nikki's stuff like this? Peter Quill is her father. It is his duty to pry into her personal life. I'm thinking Nikki won't mind if we use this. What do you say, Rocket? I say I don't care even if she does mind. Ding, ding, done. Okay. Congratulating you on being a father. Should be a way to Corell's office through those pipes on the left. Yeah, I see an opening. Could be there's a latch on the inside. Allow me, Star to head. <laughs> I get it! <laughs> Guys, can we not make light of all this? We still don't know if they're okay. I am capable of feeling concern while still laughing at you, Peter Quill. Got to admit it, Quill. Kid's whole setup is pretty impressive. The way she rigged her terminal to the emergency power grid. I told you, she's a smart kid. Perhaps Peter Quill did not sire this child after all. Yeah, I could see that. She just don't seem dopey enough. Maybe she gets everything from the mother's side. Yes, she should have exhibited at least some foolishness. If I had a kid, she or he would definitely be super cool and smart. So just like Nikki. I guess, maybe, yes. Yep, so definitely gets it from the mother's side. That's the 
elevator I took with Corel and Nikki. If we're lucky, maybe they're on their way down right now. When have we ever been lucky? Tell us for your girlfriend meeting us. It did girlfriend. seem unlikely. All I know is I am really starting to hate this elevator. Come down one of the normal core nut shops. Tell us to go more up. You don't Pop stand now. a chance. Music to my ears. Ha <laughs> ha! sack up! Feel my rock! How am I supposed to know Quill's fine? Anyone hurt? Never been fuck what? Are you gonna start being all paternal now? We're fine, Peter. We know how to fight. I know. I, I just... We'll find them. Don't worry. You said Corral's office was up top somewhere? Yeah. Just need to make our way up. More deadly gas! I am Groot. Oh yeah, he's definitely stalling. What do you expect? You got the emotional maturity of a two-year-old. Are you speaking of Peter Quill? Obviously. I'll have you know, I am super emotionally mature. Do you realize you just picked a room full of deadly gas with the confronting the fear of fatherhood? I did not! Stop analyzing! Dog report item. There's no dog report item. Next stop, Corel's office. Come on, just admit it, Quill. You're freaking out right now. This whole deadbeat dad thing's gotta be eating at you. Some need many years to fully comprehend their paternal responsibility. The prospect of maybe being a dad is... A little scary. A little? Embrace the panic, Peter Quill. It is the essence of fatherhood. Well, that don't look good. There was a struggle here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm reacting to? I am reacting in my own way. This doesn't look good, Peter. All we know is that there was a fight. We don't know who won. Pretty sure I know. So, where's this office, Quill? It's around here somewhere. The place wasn't this messed up last time. When in doubt, follow the stench of death. <laughs> Dog report item. We are lost. We're not lost. Hello? Corral? Nikki? Looks empty. Feels empty. Maybe they're hiding. There are always strange writings on the wall. I'm gonna try and get in her computer. See if I can wipe my criminal history. Rocket! I'm kidding. I'm gonna access her logs. You wanna know what happened here or not? Fine. The rest of us will take a look around. Maybe they left a clue or something. The scribbles are Cree. This one says, Mother knows best. Return. Hope. Any luck getting in? The thing's pretty well protected. I need time. Alright, let me know. Nikki! I'll be a signs of a struggle, Peter Quill. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Ah, <sighs> oh, appealing. This must be Corel's first kid. I remember she talked about him a lot. He was on Halla, right? When the Shatari. Yeah. Her kid and her husband. Explains how fearless she was during the war. She had nothing to lose. Corel had a real artistic side to her. She was the only Cree I ever knew who painted and played music. I used to think it was a sign of weakness, but... No. It's a strength. Definitely a sign of strength. Well, this is fancy. For valiant heroism against unrelenting tyranny. That's the highest commendation given out by the Kree. 
How come I never got one of these? I did heroic stuff. You're not a Cree. The resemblance is uncanny. She doesn't look anything like me. She's blue. Besides, why wouldn't Corral have just told me? Protect her daughter, Peter Quill. Copulating with you was a capital offense under the Cree purity laws. That's not a real thing, is it? The Cree are extremely strict about their bloodlines. So, when Corral said we shouldn't be doing this... It was being literal. What is this? Some kind of a threat? The Cree Council demands proof of Nikki's heritage under the Cree purity laws. From a legal perspective, copulating with you is extremely objectionable. From other perspectives, too. Oh, this does not look good. For you? No, for Nikki. What are the chances the Cree are involved in any of this? The Council of Purity isn't cryptic. When they punish someone, they make sure everyone knows it. Corel and Nikki would be hanging from a wall. Nikki's ID. Something seems off, though. What do you mean, off? I don't know. Like it's been flagged or something. Not sure. Is the girl's date of birth on those documents? Does it match with the typical Cree gestation period? I really wouldn't know. Okay, I'm in. But I got bad news, lover boy. What did you find? Interested in seeing this or not? So what am I looking at? Nothing. She's the captain. Captains keep logs. You keep logs? I I'm trying to tell you, they're gone. All of them. Almost like the world mind went out of its way to sever everything. Have you tried turning it off and on? What about backups? Doesn't every Nova ship have a central hub or something? A Nexus mainframe, yeah. If there's ghosts anywhere in the system, that's where. I categorically refuse. Not literal ghost, Drax. He's talking about data. Right? Yes, but we'd have to access the Nexus directly. Means going to the bridge. We're not leaving until we find out what happened. Center of operations it is. According to the ship's map, the bridge should be right through here. Don't worry, Corral. I'll make sure this gets back to you. Peter, shouldn't we head for the bridge, try to access those logs? Yeah, yeah, I just want to be sure we didn't miss anything. Dog report, I... Oh, crap. Uh, nuts to this. I'm out of here. Stop. Move. <laughs> <laughs> Like a shooting that big bug for 
Mutt's not answering. Keep trying. The rest of us can focus on figuring a way out. Really? This is the server room, right? And servers mean data? I can't just plug servers into my skull. I still need a central terminal. You said the bridge was on the other side of that corridor. So we just gotta make our way across and then up somehow. That'll do it. Well played, Peter Quill. How am I supposed to know why the boot ain't picking up? Keep trying! Log report item. Okay, so according to the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. Uh, shall I throw the rodent? No! Come on! Alright, let's look around. Maybe we can find something. I have never understood how so much information can be stored in such a magical way. What, you mean servers? All of it. Servers, computers, technology. So you basically don't understand anything I do? Precisely. Perhaps we should have interrogated the robot priest. Yeah, next time we encounter a giant, deadly robot priest, we'll tie him up first and ask questions. I think all of this could have been avoided had the rodent not broken the glass. You're blaming him for that? His panic scampering is what caused the final break. Your oversized gut is what caused the first 50 breaks. Hey Groot, any luck getting through to Cosmo yet? I am Groot. Nope, still nothing. Reception will probably be better once we're on the bridge. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. Okay, this is it, the command center. Which I guess makes that the next control terminal. Fingers crossed we find something useful. I'm thinking you should do the honors, Quill. That does not seem like you. He probably thinks the next is booby-trapped. Ah, uh, that would explain it. Have you found any useful information, Peter Quill? Uh, well, it's something. What are we waiting for, Peter? Yeah, yeah, just... <laughs> nice. That's quite the mustache. Find something? So Corel's badge number is 0001. How could she be the first one? The World Mind reset all Nova IDs after the Galactic War. I do not understand. Why is Peter Quill not accessing the Nexus? Cause he's scared of ghosts. Liar. Uh, Groot wants to know if Quill's stalling because of his fear of parental responsibility. Obviously. Clearly. No! Hmm, wonder what this does. Nothing useful is my guess. Nova Corps and their bloated administrative crap. Probably need a car just to use the bathroom. No, it does not sound like a good idea. People should be free to pee whenever and wherever they want. Ew. I told you he was a monster. Dog report item. We have reached the command center, but Peter Quill refuses to access the Nexus. Eh, 
Any chance we might need an access number? Maybe. Won't know till you try accessing the thing first. Rocket, just access it yourself. Mm -mm. Regular computers are one thing, but I ain't leaving my prints on no Nexus terminal. Locked. I wonder, though. Nikki really didn't want her mom to know about this passkey she gave me. No way is some kid's card gonna bypass the Nexus. Then we're in! You're kidding! Well... Yes! Guys, we're in! Go to the criminal records, Quill. I want to see my files. Twenty units, mine's the biggest. They can't be that scary if they share a record. I've heard of this guy. He's part of a private army called the Lethal Legion. <laughs> More like the Loser Legion. What is it with you Humies and your stupid names? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Star-Lord is not in the same league as Darkhawk, okay? One's the name of the greatest band of all time and the other's a bird. So, Drax's criminal record is pretty big. That is what your mother said. <laughs> it's great, because his mother's dead. I thought there'd be more here. Barely scratches the surface. That body, buddy. You know, for a non spacefaring species, us humans sure get around. Unfortunately. Hey, isn't that the guy we saw when we tried to pay our fine? Yeah, that's him. Look. It's Drax's girlfriend. Lady Hellbender is not my girlfriend. Yet. Isn't this your friend from the bar? Yep. Grand Unifier Raker. Wonder what he was looking for in the quarantine zone. Probably nothing good. Read it and weep, losers. There ain't a single scam me and Groot haven't pulled off. You name it, we've done it. If you're charged, it means you've been caught. You realize that, right? Your point? Wow. When Kree cops go bad, they really go bad. Actually, an accuser is the equivalent of a judge, jury, and executioner. Wow, your record's a lot bigger than I expected. How big were you expecting? Minuscule. Another guy from Earth. I'm telling you, Quill, C-53 is the trailer park of the galaxy. Fun fact, that bounty on you put out is how me and Groot met Quill. I'm just glad I talked you out of collecting it. <laughs> Who says you did? I am unfamiliar with this Kree. One of the nameless. Oh, spooky. Get to the juicy stuff already. Let me get this straight. She became a teapot? That's what my source said. <laughs> Amazing. I hate you all. Channeling your Nova Force. A, a comprehensive, comprehensive guide to meditation, meditation and managing your mental health. Actually, I wouldn't...
wouldn't mind a copy of that. Pass. Well, that don't sound good. The audio file must be corrupted. The audio file and everything else in the galaxy. Attention, away team. Please ensure your helmet cams are in full operation ahead of this afternoon's away mission into the quarantine zone. Thank you. Just like Corral, everything by the book. Yeah. It's a list of bucket heads. Uh, we already know your girlfriend works here, Quill. So? It might have useful info or something. Agent of Thanos? Gamora, care to explain? Not really. Except that it wasn't me. Check it out. Nikki's got a file. Boring. I have heard of this one. He's a good man. Except good means scut when you're dead. AWOL, then who is running Novacor? That's a good question. She crashed into a Leviathan on purpose and is still a better pilot than Quill. Hey! What? You know it's true. Alright, let's take a look. Wow, super riveting, Quill. And to think we could still be reading my criminal record. Please do not. I was wondering how they knew about us. Quill must have tripped the sensors on the way out. Isn't that the mining rig from the quarantine zone? Oh, great. Looks like your girlfriend was collecting evidence against us even after the two of you struck a deal. I still do not understand how the Churchman's ship exploded. The Nova Corps is known for their security protocols. It's called stupidity, Drax. Something the bucket has got a lot of. Gotta be something in here. Hey, isn't that... The mining ship we explored in the quarantine zone, yeah. What is the footage from? Signal's stronger. We must be close. How close? Hard to say. There's too much interference. Centurion Corral! Found something. After we left. Flark. That thing. You don't think. It is the creature that devoured our monster. <laughs> Could have been a million things. I mean, it's restricted space for a reason. <laughs> no, you're a lotus scut. That thing's got nothing to do with us. That gem Corral picked up. I think it's the same one we shot in the quarantine zone. Uh, we? You're the one who shot it. Fine, the gem I shot. The point is, is that shadow thing came out of it. We did this. The quarantine zone's a giant death trap. So we released a shadow thing. We made it out, didn't we? Your stupid girlfriend probably did too. You've been saying the whole time she's probably dead. Eh, probably alive, probably dead, whatever. Important thing is, we're all fine. Corel is tough. If anyone made it out, it's her. I know it. Card 
Guardians of the Galaxy. You misread our intentions. No, you've made them pretty clear. Sometimes sacrifices much. I had to check. Groot, write the stars. Grand Unifier. Breaker. Right? First, let me just say it's really cool that you've heard of us, right, guys? And it's cool that you didn't try to kill us just then, especially with your two pals right there. You could have totally ripped us apart the moment you walked in, which we obviously all appreciate. But also, you've kind of got a few questions, like... Where are Centurion Corel and her daughter? You came here seeking truth. Rejoice. The Matriarch wishes to share it with you. Scythian warriors often ride into battle completely naked. Keep your pants on! Although, it could be used as a distraction. Yeah, no. Any other ideas? Can you froth? I can froth. Can you twitch? Yeah, I'm pretty twitchy. Alright. On my cue, you drop, froth, and twitch. While they're all distracted, we take off down one of them side halls. What about me? You, well, you know, you, uh, take one for the team. I'm not gonna... Walk with me! Come on, Quill, just grab your chest and drop. Find another plan. So, the Matriarch asked for us by name? You, specifically. Although I cannot fathom why. Peter is constantly surprising us, too. But if he's first in line for brainwashing, I gotta say... Is that what you think? That we're brainwashing? We've met your recent converts. Overly zealous doesn't even begin to describe They them. have embraced the Matriarch's promise. A life-altering experience, yes. But one that must be freely accepted. Quill, his drone. It's her ticket out of here. What? How? What are you two whispering about? Well? He wants to know if you know you're the bad guy. Actually, we were just admiring how huge this place is. It is grand, isn't it? Belief in the Matriarch restored it to what it was before the war. Just as her promise will restore everyone we lost. Mothers. Lovers. Sons. This promise will raise the dead? Of course it won't. We can't bring people back. We can't. But the Matriarch, the Divine Vessel? I got an idea, but I need time. Stall him! I intended to kill you. Wow, oh, oh, okay, that... 
Uh, that is a cool trick. Wanna explain how you did it? Sorcery. I can understand how some might see it that way. But I used science. The science of faith. Faith is not science. But faith energy is. This skiff. My inquisitors. Even Sancrosanct herself. All powered by the same miraculous energy. Energy I discovered. I'm going for the drone. Keep him talking. What now? What? What is it? It's just, um... You, uh, you, uh, discovered stuff, and you claim to, uh, control energy? Faith energy? Right. Uh, well, it just seems like all this, uh... I, I think what Gamora's point is, is, um, you say you have all of this energy. Faith energy. Right, but when we first saw you, Weren't you stranded on Hallow's Hope because your shuttle ran out of juice? Yes, I was, but... So why don't you just believe that your ship had more gas? It doesn't work that way. Faith energy is a byproduct of belief. Focused belief. <laughs> okay, sure. I saw this proven. Focused belief in him is what enabled us to survive. You were saying. Wait. Weren't there more of you? What? No, no. No, <laughs> no. No. Nope. It seems like the kind of thing that we would be aware of. Indeed. Please continue your fascinating account of, you know. Uh, you were saying something about him? It seems super important. Right, right. Uh, your father. Uncle. Son? My son died of disease. The him I was referring to was someone else. The first divine vessel of this church, before it was even a church. An absurd faith healer, bathed in golden light and wielding unfathomable power. He saw my loss, our collective loss, knew its cause, but refused to reverse it. Because he, personally, never felt what we feel. That is why I founded this church. To heal. To give hope to those who have lost everything. <clears throat> Wait, there were more of you. The little one is missing. Perhaps he died like your son. <laughs> What? <laughs> right? Yes. Good point, Groot. He is totally into his spiritual mission. But I think I figured out all of this. Those were some pretty sweet holograms. <laughs> I think even the world might have been jealous. I mean, they must have cost you an arm and a... Well, another arm. <laughs> right? And this? That's a pretty sweet trip, too. But everybody's got anti gravity these days. Oh, and let me guess. You got your own personal shield generator tucked under that territory, don't you? <laughs> a little makeup, some color coordination. Oh, loving the gold laser light show, by the way. And got a pretty sweet little scan. <laughs> I'm actually impressed. Well, good for you. Hey! I get it, man. You gotta sell the brand before you stage the miracle. <laughs> oh, man, this one time on Rigel 3... You I... think you're all... very clever. You hope to delay me because you're afraid. There is nothing to fear. Why are you... Get back here where I can see you. Yeah, yeah. It's time. Meet the Matria. Rocket, tell me you have an escape plan. We're gonna summon the Milano. My new 
new buddy will show us the way. We're being very cryptic, Rodan. Yeah, well, I get twitchy when I'm surrounded by giant murder bots. They just want us to meet their new mommy. Speaking of which, who else thinks Quill's ex-girlfriend traded in her cop badge for cult robes? Come on. What? I'm just saying what we're all thinking. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you, Grand Unifier. Guardians, we may approach. Peter Quill, order your offspring to come down from there this instant. Maybe I'm out of line, but aren't you a little young for a dress that short? Aren't you a little old to write your name on your clothes? Uh. Took you long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, chatty grandpa gets. Hey, we're gonna get you out of here. Just follow my lead. But this is where we're supposed to be. We're gonna save everybody. I'm gonna save them, I promised. Come on, snap out of it, kid. You're just saying what he wants you to say. Whoa, whoa, hold on, everybody the just- The girl is clearly not herself. Of course I am. But I'm more than just me. Where's your mom? Mom is here. She's right here. Inside me. Oh, thanks for clearing that up. The light joined us. I thought she was gone. But I can bring her back. They're all waiting for us to bring them back. All we need is faith. The Grand Unifier helped me understand. This is one big con. Trust me, I know a thing or two about- Why can't you just believe in me? Why won't you just listen? Nobody ever listens until I show them. You can save her. I promise. Get back! Your scaly mitts won't touch one hair on his head! I said get back!
Mom! What... what's going on? How... how is this possible? You saved me! That's how! I knew you would never leave me! I... I didn't, I mean... Look at you! Look at you, all grown up! And into the great leader I knew you would become! <laughs> Peter, I am so proud of you. Your father would be so proud. I, I, I don't understand. I, I saw you die. Am I... Did I go back? You are here. That's all that matters. We have all the time in the world now. You and me. And your friends, too. My friends? Sure. The house is plenty big enough. And I want to meet this amazing team of yours and hear all about your incredible adventures. <laughs> <laughs> that is... You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart, I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Maybe we'll finally get to finish that game. Can you feel it? The promise is all around us. Let go of me. Stop. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Maybe we'll finally get to finish that game. Can you feel it? The promise is all around us. The Matriarch will reunite us now and forever. Plugs are like new, so that's not the problem. I guess that needs replacing. That was a little loose. Shouldn't be the cause of the problem, though. Hmm. Might need to top off the oil. Peter! Dinner's almost ready! Yeah, be right there, Mom! Meredith Quill, where do you keep your carving knives? Oh, there's one in the drawer, nearest the stove. All I see is a dull instrument fit for a child. <laughs> That's the one. I will have to bring you a Katathian blade on our next visit. They can slice through solid steel. That's very generous, Drax. There you are, Peter. I was just about to come out and call you again. Some things never change, I suppose. Ah, Peter Quill. Your mother was just telling us about your childhood. Just some of your better adventures? She also told us she had found a suitable mate for you, but you refused to see reason. Drax, you said that would stay between us. <laughs> That's your first mistake, Mrs. Quill. Are you still pushing that Janie thing? She's a lovely girl, Peter, who's turned into an even lovelier young woman. She does sound pretty nice, Peter. Better than all the rest of them, for sure, Quill. All the rest of them? Your son is rather promiscuous, Meredith Quill. Dude! Not cool! Sounds like we need to have a serious talk over dinner, Peter. Why do I feel like I'm about to get grounded? You better be washing your hands, Peter! His hygiene habits are deplorable. You should have seen his room when he was a kid. Toys just laying around everywhere. Mom, what happened to my room? You were gone so long, I had to move on. But I couldn't bear to finish. Hey, uh, Quill, can you do something about your mutt? He won't stop staring at me. No, he just wants to play. Maybe you should take him outside, let him chase you around. Har har, you're just about as funny as this game is exciting. You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever.
never break us apart. I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't let go of me. Stop. Stop <laughs> hugging me. Peter. Peter. I don't understand. I love you, Peter. Please. Oh, please, son, I don't want to die. I'm sorry. Oh, whatever it is, I am so sorry. Now, Peter, while it's distracted, we can reach Nikki. She needs our help! Hurry! Dad! Hmm. Come on, get up! We don't have much time. We need to get everything ready. Mom will be home soon. Come on, get up! Nikki, what? the hell? I don't remember taking this off or hanging it up. I haven't seen one of these in years. How do you even get a pirate hat out here? How you holding up? Yeah, I don't know what's going on either. Finally! I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon and I want everything to be perfect. Perfect? For her birthday. That's today! Did you forget again? Dad? Uh, honestly, kinda. Are you kidding? Dad! You promised you'd help me surprise Mom for her birthday. I, I did? Yes! You said you'd help fix the hollow projector, and the cake still needs candles, and I can't find the present we got her. Right. Oh, wow. This looks amazing. Did you make it? Oh no, I ordered it from the bakery planet. There's a bake? No! I baked it! Okay, that just leaves the present and projector. Hmm. Uh, Nick? Is it supposed to be fuzzy? Uh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Wow. It turned out so good! I was sure I messed part of it up. Wait, did you make this? Yeah. It's hollow, and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moons. It's beautiful. Just need Mom's present now. I think it's somewhere in my room. We are still on your mom's ship, right? Of course. You're so weird. Weird doesn't begin to cover it. Never did get one of these, but if anyone deserved it, it was Corel. Happy birthday, love Nikki and Peter. Why don't I remember this? Did you find it? Yeah! Okay, put it with the others! Great! A gift! Put it on the table. One birthday present! What did you get her? We got it. On Nowhere. Remember that artist's alley we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Creelar? 
Oh, right. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. How does it look? Amazing. Your mom's gonna love it. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, I, uh... Nikki, why is it the alarm? It's I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. This better not be like some weird episode of the Twilight Zone. You guys aren't in there, are you? What's going on? Why is the door locked? Okay, 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 okay. I'm ready. Let her in. Surprise! Peter? What are you two... No! no! <laughs> Don't believe it, Peter. This isn't real. She's being tricked. She never should have been here. What she saw. I don't know how, but the three of us are connected now. That thing, that thing has her, but she can still be saved. to accept my death. She must. Show her how to let me go. Free my daughter. Save her. Please! Child! Get the matriarch out of here! Now! By rejecting the promise, you have proven yourselves unworthy. And you must be destroyed! Ah, this is wrong! What did you do to us? Mark in my games! I'm gonna feel you later! Focus on Baker! Feel free to make this one personal! You try to scramble my brain, it's personal! We should not be here! No, Scott! That's why we're trying to get out! Save your ammo! Hit the screen for a special surprise! Time's up! Do your thing, Chris! I will enjoy! Does anyone else see that light? Yeah, the lighting's real pretty in here. Now show them. If we take their prophet's head, maybe the rest will stand down. That will be one ugly trophy. I can barely cut into his armor. Welcome, Dad! No fear! 
He's boosting everyone but us! I thought you never well, asked! That was close! <laughs> Don't mention it! How are they able to float like that? Sounds like Captain Gecko is a skeleton! Watch your butts! Target's down here. How do we get out? Raker's drone gave me a peek at the ship's layout. I'll get us to the comm center, where we can call the Milano to come bail us out of this scuttle flock. Okay, but do you see a way up? I see a way up. How thoughtful. Laura, wait! We sure up in the right way! We could try down, but I do not see a bottom to that pit! Wasn't clear. That's a pool of instant death. Whoa! Whoa. Tracks. Tracks, man. Uh, everything okay? Yes. Okay. So maybe it ain't warp drive pulling. <laughs> That's tingly. Well, we need to talk about your kid trying to kill us. Raker did something to her. This is his. Do you think we're reaching the old mining sector? No. The Grand Unifier said lifter drones into the lower halls. The heretics would have been disintegrated. Scott Halls? Yeah, maybe. But if we are lost, at least they can't find us? We're screwed. We're lost and we're screwed. I just need to get my bearings. I ain't never been on a ship this big. Trust your instincts, little one. Uh, little one? Eh, guess it's better than abomination. <laughs> you are a silly little thing. I swear Raker is gonna answer for all of this. Hey, Quill's kid's the one who zapped us with the crazy ray. Nikki is innocent. He's controlling her. I'm just saying, if somebody's got a doomsday weapon pointed at you, you destroy it. We are not destroying. Scott, what are they doing? Blocking our way forward. So many doors. You do know the way out, right? I do now. There's Gubbins. You named it Gubbins? Yup. Watch this. He's gonna take us to the comm center. There. That's our exit. Okay. We got this. Hey, look! No time to stand around fighting these goons. The faster we get out, the faster we save Nikki. Thanks, Gubbins! 
Now what? Up there! That catwalk's our way out! If we can get across that gap... Fuck! We got a bigger problem! The drone's back! Quill, find us a way up to that catwalk before we're extra crispy! Peter, tell me you've got an idea here! Drax, push that across the gap! Yes! No, 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 no! Wrong way, Drax! What the scut, man? Drax! <laughs> Dude, that was our- Doesn't matter. We got an exit. Let's go! Quill, that thing really wants a piece of you. Too bad. They're my pieces. We should keep moving. <laughs> this doesn't look good, Peter. <clears throat> Whoa. Is this... some kind of torture chamber? They look peaceful. Death can be very peaceful. It's like they're getting their lives sucked out. Hey, uh... Are you okay? I might as well be back on Half-World. Some of my fellow experiments bought into this kind of scut. The Kree scientists told them we were chosen and they tailed the snout believed it. Even as they were dying. But you didn't. I was one of the smart ones. Me and, uh, Lila. Can't stand looking at him. Let's get the flark out of here! This sucks, and I hate it. Yeah. I've had enough of this nightmare. Tell me we're close to your comm center. Gubbin sent us this way. He sent us to a dead end. It wasn't a dead end for him. Actually. <gasps> Let's just hope Drax's shortcut leads us in the same direction. Yes, a shortcut. Gonna put a bullet in one of these farmers for every people battery in this place. That's a lot of bullets. I got enough. Dirty lie! It's a 
Have we considered going up? Or we could go down? Yeah! Yeah! This is- Rocket, do your magic. Yeah, yeah, just let me do it. That must be the comm relay. Or take it off this heap. So, uh, how long is this gonna take? I'm gonna need your help. Sure. Stand right here. Okay. Perfect. <sighs> Why are we pretending we did not witness what we witnessed in the ceremonial chamber? Because the promise is an insidious lie. How can you be certain? Because I wanted to believe it, but I knew when I woke up it... <sighs> We'll all be gone. What did you see? I... am Groot. I saw my mom. Life. There's something else there, too. Shadow. Yeah, exactly. Whatever it is, it's using the girl. Probably fed her alive her own. About Corral. I know, she's... What? It's Scott! Oh. What? That was completely intentional. The Milano's on her way. All right, let's split, before the Faith Brigade realizes what we did. Where's the Milano supposed to dock? <laughs> it's cute they use the word dock. She doesn't have hangar clearance, so we're gonna have to get creative. Okay, just don't go overboard. That's exactly what we're gonna do? I found a rendezvous spot near the hull. Wait, what? Relax! I know where we're going. Nikki's running out of time. So are we. There's a workbench we can use. Do it fast if you're gonna. That drone's still hunting us. Better safe than sorry. Let's get it done. All right. Got you covered. Ain't gonna get craftsmanship like that anywhere else. Now let's get out of here while we still can. Ugh. We need to get through here, but the stupid Faith Tech door ain't powered. So how do we charge it? Gotta find something compatible with that power port. Maybe I can just zap it? I bet one of those Faith batteries is supposed to fit in here. Genius, Quill. Considering that's what I just told you. All 
I have topics we must discuss. Now's not the time for it. Got a lazy death bot here. This battery might still have some juice. Worth a try. Okay. You just keep on sleeping, buddy. And... Whoa! Whoa! <sighs> not cool! Do you know what you're doing? Sure. Battery in the battery slot, right? Will this work? One way to find out. Hook it up. Looks like it worked. Somebody want to fetch the destroyer? Drax, you coming, man? Drax? Hey, Drax. What's wrong? It has occurred to me that this may be nothing more than a lingering dream. It's not, I promise. But we need to go. Very well. What is that? <laughs> yeah, that is kind of scary. I've never heard any ship make that noise. Not even Shatari. Is that... singing? More like distant chanting. Whatever it is, that's a lot of people. We have to go this way. We need to keep pushing forward. Guys, whatever's up there, I just want you to know that there's nobody I'd rather have uh, by my... Is now really the best time for a we're about to die speech? Flock. Whatever that is, it's really close. There must be millions of them. At least. Yeah, and how are we supposed to help? We need to worry about getting our own tails off this death trap. We survive. Then we make sure Cosmo knows everything about this nightmare. He'll know what to do. The church comes for us! Flark! Think we can hijack that skiff? Probably. It'll be an ugly hack. Safety's off, people! I'm surprised your gun even has a safety! No good! Just like Raker's shield! Time to shred him! Any last word? No! I can't do anything from here! It's fine! We've got this! You'll struggle in vain! That's the crappy! Who programmed this thing? You're not inspiring confidence here, Rocket! Nikki seems to have some power now. I hope she fights back. Are you kidding me? You don't come back from that kind of brainwashing. I did. Yeah, well, she ain't you. Okay, let's see what we can do with this gun. Come on. Come on. You sure you can- Whoa! If just one small faith battery can power one of their robots, imagine the power they harness here. And they're conquering planets now. Even this is small scale. Did you hear that? Hear what? There was... No! We're okay. We're just bouncing off the shield. What the scut? Shields down! Blast them! Keep your heads down! I got this! <laughs> what is all this? A place to store faith!
that you won't let me end up like all those people. Why me? Because I know you will. If they get you, we'll probably all be drooling right next to you. There's no end to them! Rocky, can you outrun them? Now! We've got the same step! Crap! The shield's blown! They gotta keep them off of us! What is all this? A place to store faith! How bad is it? Bad! I've got to put her down! Ah. Just watch your back, bud! They got home ship advantage! So 
Mongols do not know when to quit! Through the fire, crew! Toss them around! Take them down fast! We need to get off this thing! I would if these Sklarknards would quit fighting back! The Church of Pain is in second, Scottles! Get onto another one of those death traps! You wanna stay on this one? Good point! Well, we can agree this is probably the church's capital ship, right? Sure looks like it. And we know they have the rock and all the ships docked there. Palace Hope. Where's the shield? I don't know! It ain't working! It's gonna have to do without it! They're on us again! <sighs> A risky proposal, Tree. I do not comprehend how that could save Katak. Uh, Drax, you don't speak through, and you ain't making no sense. Take this, this thing's falling apart! Come on! Some of Rocket's Gospel! Is there a manuscript? They're trying to distract us so more can come! It's gonna cost them! No more skiffs! I think we trashed them all anyways. Hang on. Feel that? No. The vibrations are different here. We're getting close to the edge of the ship, and our way out of here. You can detect that? Hello, whiskers. you any longer, Rodent. Your battle skills are sloppy and erratic. My skills? You've got all the subtlety of a brain-dead battering ram! Say the word, Peter Cloak, and I shall single-handedly tear these fiends apart! Whoa, 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 guys! These insults you keep tossing around? Are we a team, or should we just throw each other's lives away? 
because the only thing that matters here is that we knock them out together. Who's with me? Die, thieves! Tricky without Gamora! What did you expect from an assassin? Where is the assassin? She'll catch up! I hope! You know, we've got a big story here. A lot of people would probably pay a lot of money for the inside scoop. I am Groot. Of course they need to know, but that don't mean we can't make some units in the process. We earned them. Yeah, what happens if Gamora don't catch up? Once they realize we're on the Milano, they'll throw everything they got at us. I will not leave Hovat behind again. Hovat? You mean Gamora? Yes, of course. The, the, the lethal one. Gamora asked me to trust her, that's what I'm... I'm weak. Yeah, weak flark! How's that thing still dogging us? Run! Go! Your feet, Peter Quill! Jump! What? Jump! We need to keep moving forward, Quill! Put your lights out! Face me! Another cultist! Uh, 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 Listen to Groot! Get in here! Not moving. What's next, Peter? Stop going off. We gotta move, Quill. Come on! Everybody get in here! The Milano should get here any tick now. Should? Yeah, well, it's the best I can do. And our window to meter is getting smaller. You know they're gonna open fire as soon as they detect her. Yep, I've got to run in silent. Who knows what kind of sensors Breaker has on this thing. Flip <laughs> another religio nut! Please, the zealots do not hear dying!
great strength no. was underutilized! We can't keep outrunning the whole army! We've gotta cut them off, we're gonna die here! I... I got an idea. Maybe I can overload these batteries, make this part of the ship go boom! How big of a boom are we talking about? Can't wait to find out! Keep them busy while I rig this place! Here come the creeps. I need time, Quill! Keeping the floor off my tail! This battle must end! Working on it! I got this, bro! Help the rest of them! Man, that giant robot can take a lot of pain! Things built up! We need to really pile it up! Yes. 
We must eliminate their medicinal conduit! Okay, let's set the flow! We need to get the flark out of here! How much time do we have? I might have overdone it. Run! No! No! Must go back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her and Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Gamora! Is that...? Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, Flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh. Rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nut job is doing surprise nut job stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. Are you good? I'd rather die with honor than without. Crawled up her butt and died. I am good. So, get the flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to raise it. Okay. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay! We ain't restocking anytime soon! I am Groot! Harsh! Excuse me, I ain't the one advocating to throw ourselves to the Florkins. Right, Drax? Yes. Hey, Rocket. You got a minute? 
I bought something in nowhere to remove that Novacore lock. <laughs> the, the guy said it was a lock disabler. It's not? Piece of junk disabler is what it is. Oh. How do I have to say this again? No shopping for tech without Rocket! Fine. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Ta-da! I've made it foolproof, just for you. One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel. But that's as close as I'm getting to this Flarkin cult ever again. You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again. My family did not simply die. They were murdered by Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. Shoo, shoo. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh no. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? <laughs> shoo! Flark off! Wow. That panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey! Do I look like an engineer? You don't! I'm Groot. How about you, bud? You doing okay? <laughs> Are you sure? We saw some pretty messed up stuff in there. I am Groot. Yeah. Maybe I'm not the best person to discuss it with you. <laughs> you and Rocket should definitely talk about it, though. <sighs> I'm glad you guys are there for each other. Take care, buddy. I am good. Peter, we need to... Gamora. Hey. Is that... Corral's Galactic War commendation? Yeah. I rescued it from her office. I was planning to give it back to her until... No one could have predicted that Corral was dead. Or that Nikki would be the matriarch. Or that she might be my kid. That too. She's gonna have questions and I don't even know where to begin. How did you and Mom hook up? Why weren't you around? Did you even want me? Ugh, I've become my dad. Do you want to practice on me, answering her questions? Corel never told me about Nikki. She had a chance to tell me three years ago and she didn't. What happened? You have to promise not to judge me too harshly. I can't promise that. I love judging people. <laughs> Fine. Corel maybe kind of caught me with a kidnapped 12-year-old girl. Yeah, I can see why Corel wouldn't have mentioned Nikki. It's not like that. I didn't kidnap the kid. Yondu did. I told him it was wrong, that we had to give her back, and he... disagreed. So I stole the Milano, and I was trying to return her when Corel just happened to intercept me. Mm-hmm. Look, after the Galactic War ended, Corel and I went our separate ways. I rejoined the Ravagers and she joined the Nova Corps. It's not like we had a future together. 
When she caught me with the kid, when I saw the disappointment in her face, I knew I had to turn over a new leaf. Even if it meant turning in Yondu. You're the reason Yondu's in the kiln? No wonder there's a bounty on your Earth name. He must have been pissed. Yep. But I'd do it all over again. What gets me is that Corel had plenty of chances to tell me about Nikki, and she didn't. If I had known, maybe... The important thing is that you know now. Yeah. I already told Nikki some of the story. But not all of it. <sighs> what was I supposed to say? Hey kid, I hooked up with your mom. I might be your dad. Maybe not that. I mean, it was war. I was with the Ravagers hitting Shatari supply chains. You know, pirate stuff. None of us had any long-term plans beyond survival. Especially not kids. Hell, I only met Corel because I heard Earth was in Shatari's crosshairs. Mercury, yeah, I remember. Richard Ryder established an outpost on the planet's surface. An undermanned, undergunned, and horribly outnumbered outpost that didn't stand a snowball's chance in hell when the Shatari launched a sneak attack. Obviously, I had to do something. Nikki would understand that, I think. I was so close, Gamora. By the time I convinced Yondu to help, the outpost had fallen. We thought we were too late, so when Corel and her squad came out of those caves, she was just so... badass. Her forces had been through the ringer, but she wasn't about to give up Mercury without a fight. That definitely sounds like the Corel I remember. I tried to convince Yondu to stay and help retake the outpost, but he saw no profit in dying, so I stayed instead. We spent hours strategizing together, often late into the night. It took three days to come up with a counterattack, and even then, it was risky. We thought we were gonna die. But you didn't. No. We didn't. And now... Now I have to figure out how to tell my estranged kid her mother's dead. <sighs> anyway, until we get Nikki back, we've got bigger fish to fry. This stuff can wait. True. But when you are ready to talk about it, just be honest with her. The rest will fall into place. Yeah. You're probably right. <laughs> oh, why yes. I am the handsome leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. <clears throat> uh, Gamora! I was only looking... Relax. I'm not gonna kill you. This time. Okay, good. I, uh, actually... never got a chance to say thank you. For the doll. Oh. <laughs> no problem. I know how you like this kind of stuff. It was very thoughtful. I can count on one hand the number of times someone has given me a present without expecting something in return. Wow. Um, Christmas gifts from Thanos must have really sucked. That's putting it lightly. Thanos wasn't the giving type. Everything was a mind game designed to control us. Gifts included. So thank yous aren't exactly my strong suit. Something Mantis says I need to work on. How do you know Mantis? Did she give you one of her weirdo fortunes or something? Not exactly. How do you know her? Uh, I maybe tried to pick her up in a bar once. And how'd that work out? Good. Until she did the creepy antenna thing. I was half expecting her to start chanting, Red Rom, Red Rom. Red what? Doesn't matter. Point is, she's a wacko for sure. A really... hot wacko. Who happens to be your friend? Yeah, well... that wacko saved my life. A few years ago. Someone got the jump on me. An assassin. Nearly killed me. Mantis happened to be in the right place at the right time. Seems to have a knack for that. <laughs> yeah. 
Turns out I had no idea how badly I need someone like her in my life. Up until then, I'd been so... lonely. After the war, the resistance disbanded. Richard Ryder got busy with politics, and the world mine had no use for someone like me. An assassin? Something like that. Thanos trained me to be a weapon, not a peacekeeper. Once a weapon, always a weapon, you know? Is that why Mantis mentioned suicidal urges? Because I get it. I've, I've been there. I'm pretty sure we've all been there at some point. Let's just say I'm not in that place anymore. Because of Mantis. She showed me another way. A place where maybe I can be needed. What kind of gifts did Thanos give you? Weapons, poison, the metal wire thing you used to strangle people with? He gave us dolls. Once. Stupid, ugly things from Xandar. Wow, okay. That's... surprisingly girly. What? I can't be feminine? No, just... I was really sure it was gonna be a knife or something. Like I said, Thanos liked mind games. It was unusual for him to be... kind. We didn't even have a bedroom, yet here were these dolls. Purposeless. And they were ours. Do you still have it? Like, is it in your collection? No. I lost the one Thanos gave me when I was six. She was the ugliest doll I'd ever seen. I cried so hard when I lost her. <sighs> Nebula hurt me. She loved her doll, and I knew she wanted another one. So when she came in to check, we started to fight. Bet Thanos loved that. He found us fighting, saw my tears, and... Laughed. Turns out, the dolls were a lesson on the importance of not getting attached. To help us understand that, he took Nebula's doll and threw it into the incinerator. That's... I can't imagine. Nebula didn't understand why he did it, only that I was somehow responsible. I started collecting these a few years ago. After Nebula... After I knew I'd never see her again. It's dumb, but I guess I'd do it for her. Wow. Um, I'm glad I bought this for you. And I can promise that there are zero strings attached to anything I give you. You're an important part of this team, Gamora. Uh, thanks, Peter. Uh, truly. Wait to get out of here. Hey, Drax, you okay? Drax? You want some chicken soup? Always helps when I'm down. I know you're in there. Just tell me you're okay. I am fine. Leave me be. Hope somebody makes the right call and gets us out of the way of those cursed idiots. <laughs> it ain't cowardice, it's common sense. Wait, are you siding with Green Team on this? <laughs> Yeah, well, a little bit is all we'd achieve before getting brain scrubbed and tied up to face reactors. Ooh, so swirly. Is that even a plant? Wonder where Gru picked up that one.
Watch it! Hey! Gamora! Go away, Peter. Oh, come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right. No talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, 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 who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat? Call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am the warrior. I am the warrior. I well, am the warrior. warrior. And heart to heart you <laughs> win. <laughs> <laughs> See? Just singing. All right. I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there with Nikki manipulating her with his slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think... <sighs> we can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise. Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just... try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Could you move? I feel like I've seen this before. Did Groot pick it up in nowhere? What do you think, bud? Now that Contraxia is gone, what's gonna be the new hotspot for entertainment? <laughs> An asteroid, huh? Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Peter Quill. Cosmo's bow's been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? Are we under attack? So these are the cowards who defile Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. <laughs> A Lethal Legion? Uh, more like Loser Legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. 
Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends a regard, so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, we got this.
Yeah. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open a channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous domeheads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flarkin' deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpan's mistakes. How, How may we assist you? After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. Nova's profiling us? Centurion Corel's personal communicator has either been destroyed or disabled and could not be reached. For what it's worth, I'm sorry, Quill. Me too. Just pick something, Peter. Groot wants you to pick World Mine. Cadet Nikolai Gold's communication privileges are suspended while we investigate her involvement in unsanctioned cult activity. You should force your spawn to answer us. I can't do that. She's independent. We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flark in World Mine doesn't already know? Thank, Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. What do you mean the past crime button looks lonely? It's got two friends right there. We are aware of the current threat, but can devote no resources toward fighting it. We should tell them about the promise. Right. As if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. Yes! Hey, Wolberry, got any ideas? Ugh, I hate your op- Congratulations on your decision to join the Corps. To begin, state your full name, designation, or serial number. Richard Ryder. Quill's mom! This strategy is futile. Ah, uh, come on, muscle frame. It might work. Oh, please please you. your celestial body or artificial installation of origin. Someplace. Earth. Earth. I continue to doubt this strategy. Sheesh. Yeah, maybe it won't <laughs> Not work. Not today. Look at this scut. It's hilarious. Nope. Finally. Uh, in a few words, describe, describe what made you want to join Nova Corps. Because I'm a sucker. Justice. Looks like the best AI in the world couldn't parse that. Good job, boys. Really? Did you have to? Alright, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? Scroll down! The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. This menu again? Do you think turning ourselves in would get their attention? No. Thank you for attempting to be an outstanding citizen. As all prisons are being evacuated, you may self-sequester wherever you wish. Pay the fine? Are you serious? No touching! Due to the imminent termination of civilization, we are unable to open new cases. To 
banking services. Connected to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Guardians of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind. Long time no see. It's me. Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. The galaxy cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the promise. Is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts. Worlds and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mine is collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. Look, we just escaped the Church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Nova Corps helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Xandarian culture is a lost cause. Culture is more than a location. And yet, after the Shatari attack, you still build the new Xandar in the same system, knowing it wasn't safe. Where would you even go? Please understand that we are not able to disclose information of this nature to untrustworthy parties. Untrustworthy, my tale. And how long are you gonna hide from the church, huh? Millennia? Millennia? As long as it takes. And if you try to come back, you'll be completely outnumbered. Zandarian culture will be preserved, but it'll never be safe again. Point, Point taken. Nevertheless, we must leave. Why? For unknown reasons, the Church has stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith. As an energy source is logical. logical. We, we are, are unable, unable to, to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot can be, be countered. countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That, that is why they fail. Ha! Drax, he's as dumb as a stick, and he ain't failed so far. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Corps? It... It's is not magical. magical. But yes! Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. 
Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living, living computers of Xandar are the Nova Force. Force. It exists because we exist, and we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Raker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the Church does. Perhaps. You, you have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the Galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Adam Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. Uh, yeah. Let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Come on, really? I knew it! I knew you spent Lady Hellbender's money in nowhere. You saw me? You were there? I was watching your back. Great. All the way to Seknarf and back, and nothing to show for it. I'm sorry, alright? Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Jump, Quill. I know. Matrix promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! Scott! Whoa! What the flark did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. Are you good? Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there! We can't just sit here! Guys! Nice. And how are we gonna do that? We're dead in the flocking water! And if they find us, we're screwed! Freely accepted! Oh, oh yeah, and without an engine, we're screwed Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys! Enough! Just stop already! I can't hear myself think! Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. <sighs> I need some rest.
Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Drax, I, uh... I do not wish to talk. Fair enough. We're all pretty spent, just... Try to get some rest if you can. Look, it's our great leader. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. Mora? You all right in there? Look, we're all frustrated. We did what we could with the world mind, but they weren't even listening. It doesn't matter. They had their minds made up. They were being kind of scut. Mm-hmm. I mean, I did nothing wrong. I was just asking them to do their job. How about doing your job? My job? Have you seen the size of that church ship? What am I supposed to do? Guess you and the world mind aren't so different. What? Maybe it's because I had a tyrant for a dad, but I'm used to people in charge not being afraid to get scut done. The heck? I see you have discovered my criminal record. Uh, yeah. I guess I couldn't help myself. I mean, it's a rap sheet. I suppose that it is impressive to criminals. Reformed criminals, as in past tense, we're legit now, remember? I do not think we share the same definition of legitimate. Okay, fair, maybe not, but still. Guy who kills Thanos ends up in the most infamous prison in the galaxy? It's gotta be one hell of a story. Which part would you like to hear, Peter Quill? How I allegedly killed the Mad Titan, or are you enamored by my stay in the kiln? What was it like, in the kiln? You would not have survived the cycle. Why? I... maybe... know someone there. Then pray they died quickly. Yikes. It's really that bad? Worse. However... After the chaos I wrought in my misguided quest for revenge, it was a well-deserved punishment. Right. The Rampage. That is one way to describe it. After my battle with Thanos, I became convinced that he still drew breath. I demanded proof, but when none was provided, I convinced myself that others were concealing his location. I saw his hideous visage in every shadow, and murdered anyone I thought was hiding him. Some of which were very bad dudes. Perhaps. It was not my place to judge. So... How'd they stop you? Novacor, I mean. You're Drax, the Destroyer. There's not a bounty hunter alive who could have taken you down. I surrendered. What? Why? I had succumbed to madness, and become the very thing that I hoped to vanquish. Once I realized that, I could not live with the monster that I had become. Thanos! Obviously. I mean, it's the Mad Titan. He was supposed to be untouchable, and then BAM! Player 2 is joined. Just, how'd you do it? How'd you take Thanos down? With sorcery. <laughs> Come on, really? Really? After Thanos murdered my family, Rage filled my heart. In my search for revenge, I found Mentor. You mean a Mentor, right? No. Mentor is his name. And his brother Cronus. Sorcerers. They gave me a sleeping potion that would grant my greatest desire. Finding and killing Thanos. <laughs> You're messing with me. I am not. When I awoke... I was changed. I 
could sense the Mad Titan's vile life force. Feel it pulsating from across the galaxy. Uh... Wow, that's a... I know how it sounds, Peter Quill. And I believe that you believe this happened is just... It's pretty out there. Even for space stuff. Regardless, I followed the pulse in my mind until it led me to a moon in the Black Quadrant. And there, I found Thanos, hiding like a coward. Our battle waged for days. Each of us trading blows across the moon's inhospitable surface, equal in strength, equal in our resolve to see the other dead once and for all. And then you... delivered the final blow. I recall throwing a final swing before I collapsed from exhaustion. When I awoke, I was in a hospital on Elanis. Many rotations had passed, and I was being hailed as a hero. For killing Thanos. Allegedly. The very fibers of my being say otherwise. I can still feel him out there. I have no doubt in my heart that he survived, just as I did. Well, the important thing is that you're here now, with us. Man, we're not going back to prison anytime soon. That remains to be seen. Hey, Groot. What's that stuff you're drinking? I am Groot. Looks like herbal tea, but, uh, not sure about the smell. <laughs> I am Groot. What kind of tea is that? I am Groot. Ah, good one! Uh, uh maybe you can show me? I am Groot. God! Really? I cannot tell if that's cannibalism. Hmm. You know what? I think I'll pass on the leaf juice, but I'm glad to see you've got everything under control. At least one of us does. Speak for yourself! <sighs> My jaw. Hey, Musclehead! Did you ever run that weapon system analysis you wanted to do? Drax! You hear me? I am Groot. Not feeling well ain't no excuse to ignore me. Hey. How's it looking? How does it look like it's looking? Well, I... Tension circuit melted through the stem bolts, reverse ratcheting routing planers out of alignment, can't even see the Flarkin sensor node behind the flux capacitor. Wait. Flux capacitors are real? What? No, I mean flow capacitor. Words get a little messed up when I'm tired. I don't care if the breathy wire chewer likes your singing. I need to focus. Come on, girl. Shoot, shoot. That's how you got in? Ugh. Screw it. <sighs> hey.
And the bed smells. Great. Raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> it's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh... <clears throat> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship. Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. There, let's go! Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? I'm not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Guys, don't let it get to you! Won't have to tell me twice! Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother, the 
The Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh... Not... exactly. But, but not because I don't want to. It's just... I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's going to be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. You'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's, that's, that's great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Wait! Drax! We can talk about this! Great. Yo, Quill, you there? Please tell me you're not dead. Quill? Answer, will you? Don't you got your visor on? Hello? <sighs> Locked. Still locked. Oh, I'm here, Rocket. Oh, thank Flark. Peter, Rocket, why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah, Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? <laughs> I know it's it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the Matriarch, but don't worry. I may have an idea. The llama thing's been chewing through my wall. Cammy did? It has a name. If I can just squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Any sign of Drax? Not yet. Done. Meet me in the rec room. What are we flocking waiting for? We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kurtakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop. 
We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratak and time you showed some Nords. Fine, I'm in. Any other objections? Nope, I'm good. I'm good. Good, then let's go find our friend. Oh, and how do you suppose we convince Drax to come back? Not sure we can get anything through that thick skull of his. Drax consistently believes and trusts everything he hears. Okay, fair. You got a point. Just want to make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. If everything goes right, we'll be back in no time. And if it goes wrong, well, somebody's got to extract your butt out of there. I know you're ready. I am Groot. I am Groot. Ugh. Groot says let's go get him. Ready to go out there and get Drax back? Ready? No. But the longer we wait, the further he'll drift away. So, how about now? Ready now? Peter, it's gonna take more than 50 ticks to think of a plan. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a flarkin' lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah! The stuff is gross! Uh, are you kidding me? Ah, wet fur is the worst! Rocket! You alright? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid! We're here to save Drax! Guys! This is Lamentis, home of the priests of Panama. More religious nut jobs. Great. They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles. Pacifists. That's even worse. You saw them on nowhere? Exiles from where? Hala. They escaped Kree persecution revolutions ago. Now they offer sanctuary and protection to those in need. And you were here before? I spent some time here to heal after. Never mind. It's not relevant right now. If Drax thinks this is the Matriarch's planet, something's off. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh... Don't fall, you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? She will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. Shoot first, plan later. We're not shooting Drax. But you were willing to shoot. <gasps> Found Drax. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax, buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here to mend the lost. Rocket, a little help here? Uh. Hi, guys.
Mantis? How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an Omfad who teaches me later. Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> fine yeah. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. <laughs> Not in this time. Come on. The creepy cave's this way. The what now? The creepy cave, where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad, very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is, or was, or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotati take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <gasps> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like Debbie. We sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Ish. My Watch out! Double floor! Look! How else didn't sense that one in time? Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always easier when you know things. Like, no, no. But you do. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Classy cave's gonna kill us all. Oh, no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Seems deadly and cold. What? Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning's actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate future. I have heard so many of his panic final gasps. Okay, let's not tell Little Fuzzy that. Too late. I heard. This place reminds me of the quarantine zone, in all the wrong ways. I'm 
sure it'll... Hi -ya! Giddy up! Crap! That was kind of close. That one sometimes gets in the lap. I doubt it. You are sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around and find another way. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. Drax better appreciate how dangerous this dumb plan is. Oh, Green Mini loves you all so much. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! I don't trust them not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many creatures where little fucking guys in this game. Rocket! Problem solved. Still ignoring the bigger problem of not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Uh, all the times Drag has done something for us. Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Oh, Stumpy? And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog? living on this planet. Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H has probably moved on by now. She literally just sent people to kill us. We bludgeoned her favorite monster, Quill. In no timeline does she ever forget. Okay, okay. It's negative. Water. Fog and monsters. What's the fucking deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. Why were you here again, Gamora? Oh, I know the answer. It's the same across all timelines. I told you, I was here to recuperate. I, I was in a bad place. We had to keep an eye on her. Root says we're being watched. Did he actually say that? I should give this to Drax when he's himself again. Are you sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you! Even better! What the flark are we supposed to find down here again? Fear faced fully from far within. There's something like that. It's the something I'm worried about. Ooh, spooky. We ain't being what? No one in the right mind would be in this but flacking cave of flark and what? What the floor? Wanna talk about There's it? two of them! Uh, Who uh, what? The Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Seems inconclusive. But I'm thinking no Uh, you got your antenna crossed, lady. I ain't none of those things. What do you think, Will? Have you best friends? Yeah, maybe not. Maybe they're just really excited to see us! Don't hold your breath! Never see it coming! Please! 
scratches these things! You really use tracks about now! Haha! <laughs> Too slow! Except when they're not! Sick of this stupid case. Who? Oh, Bug Lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom. Are you the rock face we're looking for? Not sure if I wanted to answer or not. Whatever gets us out of here. You uh see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours. A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, star guy. Me too. Green Meanie's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. Positivity isn't exactly our strong suit. You always underestimated yourself, Gamora. We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. Get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Mantis, back in nowhere, did you know what the church was gonna do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy, like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. Do you even have a chance of stopping them? Finally, the face of a thousand lies, I think. Gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face. Scott! Watch out, everybody! Uh, thanks. You don't usually make it. The Kotadi mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. You get us through here, Gamora. Clark, I'm going in. No! You mustn't! You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you! 
Something bad is about to happen! Oh, that's it! I'm going in! Okay! Hey, blow up this statue, save Drax, and get out of here! Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it! Little Fuzzy! Don't do whatever it is you're about to do! No, no, no! Do... I'm done with all the riddles! Don't not, mm -hmm. not do whatever you I have to do! I just hear Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Groot, can you tell him to stop? I know, Groot. Did she or did she not say this thing is in our way? Yes, but... But nothing! I ain't just here to take orders. Mantis, does he kill just himself or... Rocket, don't! Rocket! Feels like we see this a lot. You wanna know the plan? Yep! One. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. It's okay. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Shh. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! <sighs> what? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. So am I! Are you Spartoy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all! How'd a gun do that? Show him! Stay guy! How it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me. Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water... Wait, hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? Those are funny sounding words. This is impossible! I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would! No mercy! Couldn't agree with you more! Got one more up for Star-Lord! Couldn't have warned us that Chitauri were hiding out in this cave? They aren't always. Sometimes we just try and deal with the eyeball guys. You're the ones I'm talking about, Sarah. I'm familiar with eyeball guys, yes. What I don't get is why they be here. Feel free to ask them. Man, what is this? Like the worst my life? Luke, if I never see a Chitauri again, it'll be too soon. Payback from Hellbender is literally the last thing we need right now. Ha! Hold it! Need I remind you that 
guys know how to let bygones be bygones? Hey, at least they didn't bring an army of them jelly things with them. Can you imagine? Man, I hated those things. You were saying? Just had to jinx us, didn't you? Hey, anyone notice that this happens to be the monster I said? I suppose you want credit for that, too? What's the matter, Peter? Get ready! Bombs <laughs> away, Rocket! Remind me we owe Lady Skull Suit what? Wouldn't this make us even? What's next, Peter? Yeah. Forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> He's gonna be upset he didn't get to fight all those things. Uh, I don't think that any of those were real. Not really real, anyway. Their attacks felt real enough. Maybe they were real. There's... Something down here that's affecting my vision. Don't think it was ever that clear to begin with. How far down does this cave go? Heads up. More than rock monsters. I don't think they're looking to make a man squirrel. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. <laughs> Everything in this cave want to kill us! 
Well, that went about as well as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I am Groot. I know why we're doing it. And don't think Drax won't hear all about it either. Oh, is this the one where Little Fuzzy does something heroic? Hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to say he won't. Um, guys. I know, Little Fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead, and I see what lies behind. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. It doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep? from saving tracks. Sure, you save him while I drown. How does it even grow down here? I don't know. Those big leaves could be useful, like a dam. All right, I think I can torch these things with a little pew pew. Yes! It's just a plant plant, not a you plant. And we ain't got much choice. What do you guys do without me? Yeah! Where, oh where, would we get another gun? Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly! Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? Almighty Star Lord. You say something? Uh, nope. Who's that? Who's that? Anyone else have any missing tracks and anecdotes about the dam? Just like that. Please, don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. Are you no, it ain't none of their business. Are you What's to understand? I ain't a fan of drowning. Too bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up and I'll swipe him in your sleep. Lady, exactly how many times have you seen us die horribly? Oh, it's too sad to count. I always have to stop around 50. Great, that's 10 apiece. Oh, no, 50,000, little fuzzy. Less wet. I'm zero percent interested. Right. On it. And... Ugh, it must still be stuck somewhere. That. It was working for a sec. I just need to reload faster. What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation. Rocket, don't... Rocket don't like wet. We 
Get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably gonna encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fears, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. You could try to ask it to move, but I don't think this is one of them smart plans. <laughs> See? I told you. Get me up there? I am Groot. He's on his way. Just tell him how high. I am... Easy, Bingy. He'll figure it out. Nice shot, Peter. Oh, uh, thanks. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's... Not very reassuring. Why don't we just leave him behind and focus on saving the rats? He'll be here on the way back. That's why they call me Star Lord. Sure, you had tentacles. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. Does this cramp corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. But what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Much <laughs> I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am Groot. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! I am You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Clark. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Groot's path and then try to find the exit. Groot says stay close to him. At least you'll be able to see. Anyone else getting really fed up with Little Miss Cryptic? Pretty? <laughs> Give me a break. At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. 
I think this is where it gets loopy. Oh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it is. What's that supposed to. I don't. More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. These ears don't lie, lady. I think I can tell the difference between Lady Hellbender's minions and some giant bugs. Shh. What do you mean, shh? Starglass, right? Shh. Right about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things. But the source, it's not done with us yet, Guardian. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, bug lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Ugh. Don't be frustrated, little fuzzy. We're all still alive. That's super rare! Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense? Man. If this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like, if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Just like that! In one possible timeline, we all get smushed. Great! Let me guess. Further down? Only if you want to save Drax and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Ooh, do you all feel that? We're so close. Okay. One last time. Remember this part. Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water. <laughs> no, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are, she doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for! Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, <gasps> okay! This is crazy. She is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um... Well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me. Just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I! But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here, kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Friend. Hey, Gamora, you've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And uh, Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. But, or if you do, I don't catch it, but I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave 
Because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help! We're a family! We're the fucking Guardians of the Galaxy! Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why did anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Put him off, Gamora! Again.
I do. Shut up, Quill! I know what it's I gotta do! I'm just gonna be! I'm gonna suck it up and go it! Be careful, little fucking! You got this rocket! <laughs> Please work, please work! Come on, Rocket, you can do this! You can, right, Mantis? Mantis! Not dead. <laughs> I can't believe you did that for us. Hey, a friend needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Hey. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very. Very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. Sad and sulky, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. He's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect to fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de escalation thing. You're kidding. Even with our prize negotiator over here? Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Catathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um, is that supposed to be me? I've heard you make that speech so many times. And then Gamora says something like, We're going to need Drax? We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Hold you, she was going to feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of external digestion sack or something. <laughs> you realize this is weird, right? Oh, it gets weirder. What? Oh, gross. Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Followers. Think fast, beard butt! How the... You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass! Not quell a god. <laughs> Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. Nasty 
the uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys. It's him. Aaron Witchcraft. No. Wait. Aiden Warsock. Ashley Warsaw. Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine... whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Oh. <sighs> Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh. Can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plains, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, God Guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him and convince him to come back to reality. Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsock. She means you. Quite clearly. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little uh, <laughs> I'm not the only one that hears that, right? Drax? Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, eh, hey, Gamora? I'm gonna enjoy this. So tough after all. Something's not right. You fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. 
That's new, right? I think I'd remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target rat. Get ready! Blitz of rocket! Fortune's favor's failure. Is that supposed to mean something to us? Hey, Goldie, don't suppose you want to lend a hand? At this rate, we're gonna be outnumbered. It's like you can't be killed. As far as Jax is concerned, he dropped his hand. You're giving in to poor creative obsession. Only by letting go can you move on. Why won't he die? I'm sure Drax has said the same thing. Look out! It is a destined defeat. Beer butts yak and more nonsense. I think we did something, but I don't see Drax. Oh, good. Not creepy at all. Hold up. Look. I bet I could beat you to the center. Are you so keen to usurp your father, little one? You're scared to race me. <laughs> Not so fast, little one. Drax, wait up! By your opponent. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. Oh, assuming we ever catch him, what then? I'm working on that. Left. Huh? You can see your me. friend is too far fallen to be willed back by words. For someone who's been no help, you seem there. Look. Hey, how did you beat me? <laughs> because I am your father. Playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. The hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa, are you all right? Drax, come here! It is time to come home. What the flock is that? Yes, little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! It's not in Kansas anymore. The flock are those! Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! Right? 
fine, all right. I think we gotta look at whatever's keeping us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. Is that? Drax's wife. I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. You certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted. Wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big lug. Don't leave me alone with Quill. <laughs> Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. You do not know what you ask. see any new promise at least we are an empty eternal echo naked nothingness not helping hobo wizard all right everyone just split up and look for a way out or forward or whatever i lose a bet if i die in a dark pit it was alone in a dark pit drax come on buddy i know you can hear me this ain't flarkin funny i know you're in a dark place right now literally but we're not gonna give up just point us in the right direction. There! Look! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us, I'm sure of it. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. That makes two of us. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. 
We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drag, Slav. It is time to eat. Fearless mate I have ever known. She brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. were. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. And it ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. Without it... I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. It's not her. Papa? Talk to us, love. I will cherish the time that we had, and not resent the time that we lost. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. 
Quill. Your child is in danger. If her pain is half my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Hey, we're in this together and Smart Money says it's gonna be a tough fight. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness. Uh, speak Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happened upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed. Symptom and solace. I worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools, fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice and could hear nothing else. Adulation. Flagellation, gorge with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation. You let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled in the Nikki's. Corral was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivable. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. That's what Corel said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. 
It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. And you show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you... What's oh, going... Flark. Oh, Flark. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. We need to go now. Why does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying on me. I'm starting to actually get you. Wanna pop a squat golden boy? You're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. Wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And then the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. I take it Groot didn't reach Cosma? No dice. The tree is persistent. He will keep trying. He was the most convinced we could bring you back, you know. I don't know if it's optimism or stubbornness, but it works for him. It may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station. But if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted. What a Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her homeworld? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. 
And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. I am good. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh, do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on. It was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved their lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, well, save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. I hope you ain't just browsing. Hey, Star Scut! I hope you appreciate me more after all that. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. <laughs> Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. What am I doing? Everyone on this ship's been using this. Not today, brain parasites. Oh. He didn't light it. Peter Quill. I did not expect to find you in here. Hey, sorry. I didn't mean to... It is fine. Your company is always welcome. And... Thank you... for the gift. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. Figured you might want to light it from time to time, in memory of your family. Why would a lit candle remind me of my family? Every memory I have of them has been carved into my flesh. You... What? The red scars that I bear. They are a record of every great deed, an important milestone in my life. Oh. I just thought it was because they look cool. No, Peter Quill. On Katath, we practice scarification, so that there is a record, proof, that one is worthy to enter Ultath. Such a record is required for judgment in the afterlife. So... Your tattoos are actually a record of your life that's been carved into your skin? Yes. The process is known as the Jil Tara, and is extremely painful. It requires focus and self-control, and occurs many times in a Katathian's life. No offense, Drax, but they just look like a bunch of swirly lines. Perhaps to you. To me, they are the most important moments of my life. Each line is composed of a thousand scars, each engraved with the tooth of a walnut creature. What kind of moments get recorded? Kill counts? <laughs> Stuff like that? No, Peter Quill. A Katathian life record is a record of just that. Major milestones and important events. Like the day I became a man. Gross. And the day that Hovat accepted my proposal of marriage. And later, the marriage ceremony itself. And the day that Hovat gave birth to my daughter, Camaria. And the day that I lost them both. Now I see why they're scars. Yes. Once I believed my failure to avenge their deaths had banished us all to Sarduth. But now, thanks to you and the others, 
I see a deeper truth. Life does not have meaning without suffering as well. So, hypothetically speaking, if you died tomorrow, what would happen? My Cho Tak, <clears throat> my life essence, would travel to the gates of Ultaf. There I will be judged by the great kings and queens of ages past. And if deemed worthy, the gates will open. And if you're not, you know, worthy? The gates do not open. And... I am cast into Sarduth, where I will cease to exist. Yeah. I guess that's bad. So, like, how do these kings and queens know if you're worthy? By reading the scars that make up my life record. From that they will judge whether I'm worthy. For some, a life of meaning comes from their trade. For others, their family. And others yet, from following the warrior's path. Each is a valid entry into the gates of Ultaf, hence the record. What happens if you don't have a record? Ah, like yourself. Uh, sure. Like me, what happens to someone like me? Do I just immediately get thrown into Sarduth? No, Peter Quill. Your record is instead given by those who knew you in life. Ooh, yeah. I might have some problems. Doubtful. I've seen your dedication to the Kree child and woman. And to this crew. And what you did for me. It is a testament to your worthiness. Oh, uh... <laughs> Thanks. If anyone deserves a happy afterlife, Drax, it's you. Think you'll be adding any more to your tattoos? Yes. Like maybe a Guardians of the Galaxy logo? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Good enough for me. I don't think that's where Golden Boy went to. He's in your cabin if you're looking for him, Peter. I know, I know. Hey, Warlock, open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? No! No? I don't know what you want from me, man, but I'm not about to bend over because you throw up the entire extended thesaurus. I see. An antagonistic but appreciable argument. Seems you possess a spine after all. Your will may make up for your infantile frame of thought. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Magus can't- No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably.
So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. What's a yo-yo? Did you reach Cosmo? Mm. I guess that explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. Don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Hey, old traveler. Have you accepted the truth of a divine promise? We have. My deceased wife and daughter are with me. To thank the matriarch. Regiments, while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, go. What the flark? Great, cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. So, final showdown against Raker. This time, you'll get him for good. I intend to. We're not leaving here without Nikki. Just so you know, I'll do everything I can to save your girl. I, I know it's important to you. You take care of the Milano, okay? Make sure the ship's still here when we come back. Ready, Drax? I am. My blades are as sharp as the rodent's tongue. Was that a metaphor? It was a simile. Just wanted to make sure you didn't have any lingering effects from the promise. I know the evil it conceals. Magus and the church must be stopped. Your kid sure got herself in a deep quill. Her mom died, man. If Warlock's telling the truth, that thing inside her is using Corel's death to manipulate her. I get it. Ain't gonna be easy getting her out of there, but I'll die trying. Gotta make the Flarkers pay for what they did to Nowhere. And Contraxia. And all the killing and converting and stuff. I am Groot. Groot wants you to know he'll do all he can to save your kid. You know what? I think I kinda understood that. I am Groot. Same here. Can't wait to whoop some robe Flarkers. Let's do this! Time to save Nikki! Peter? 
Okay. Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? The what now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! sparkly out there. We're blasting shots at them and it's so much fun. But, if we lose our focus, if we can't let go of these crazy thoughts spinning us upside down, we're done. Who's with me? Wool top steel! This Fuck's is wait. Fun. Time to bl- Caution! Better pray their new world comes without death or pain or fear. Cause I'm gonna kill them for parking up this spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating. All the more reason for us to get to the Cortex and find Nikki. Scott! Cosmos Tower's shut down. Are you good? That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mud's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. If Cosmo is on their side, getting to the Cortex could be a lot harder. Just because the tower shut down doesn't mean Cosmo is too. Last time we were here, he knocked out me, Gamora, and Drax, and Lady Hellbender's bounty hunters, like it was nothing. Just gotta have faith he's okay. Really, Peter? Faith? There does appear to be an excess of it stored here. Kinda dreading what we're gonna 
to see in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Nowhere really stunk sometimes, but... Clark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but these crooks were suspicious of anyone giving them anything for free. You're right, Rocket. The people who lived here were rough. I once saw someone beat someone else to a pulp because they gave them a compliment. No way they'd willingly join up. A sword to the throat can be very convincing. They got Clark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So we're powering something. Sure looks like it. Everyone quiet. We got company. Lousy fun blockers! Get ready to die! We do not fear death. Don't mean we can't hurt them first. <laughs> Right into that one! Some that weirdos oh. deserve it! Cut them down and let's go! All my blows are fatal! That was the main course! But here comes dessert! You don't have to ask me twice! More batteries the deeper we go. Hundred units says they're tied to the fulfillment. The priest said that they were bringing. They can't raise the dead, especially after we save Nikki. When we are done here, we will need to tell a rhapsodist about these adventures. Oh what? No, the tell you more. This will be an epic tale. Over here. Looks like we can squeeze through. We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. There is no way through this wall. Could be a bunch of wackos just waiting for us on the other side. Good point. Peter, you should- Whoa! Whoa! Peter! Well, that didn't work. Clark, I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones that can do this, right? Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Yeah. Give me a boost. Mantlos. Look at her. This is personal, Quill. I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. I wonder if any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. Unlikely. They were all charlatans. Most of them were pickpockets and fences. Okay, okay. Gotta make a passage here. There has been no sign of Goldie Braun since he left from our ship. Adam Warlock. Might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. Or maybe he was lying about which side he was on and was just waiting to attack. The warlock carries an old grudge. He would not align himself with the gravity of fire. Yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for anyway? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. My memory is flawless. I'm just an optimist. Ha! You know why we need Warlock to stop Magus' space magic ritual? We don't know space ma- Hey! Check it out! We got bad guys! More Jersey's dropping in! Dropping like flies soon enough! I'm with you, bud! Let's squash this guy! This 
looks like a dead end. For some more than others. What must it feel like to have one's soul torn in two? If Magus was half my soul, I'd be happy to get rid of it. I'd want to get rid of the Warlock part, too. Cosmo's gonna keep control of the station once this mess is sorted. Oh man, Rocket's talked about these. He's gonna love this. Yeah, I've seen nowhere this desolate before. Whoa, the Emporium used to be right here. Did the church destroy it? Doubt it. The Collector probably blasted out of here at the first sign of trouble. Before the first sign. Collector's supposed to be able to see the future. Wait, how did he move the whole Emporium? It was a ship. Huh. Never would have guessed it from the inside. Eh, maybe it's more of a shuttle. Ah, uh, Groot's right. We're getting distracted. Hard to believe how much the place has changed. Even if they rebuild, it will likely never be the same. Heat. Looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there. That's not gonna work. Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Yeah. Nikki had Warlock's soul stone in her hand. What if it's fused there and Raker's trying to remove it? <laughs> like you did with Goldilocks? Didn't work all that well the first time. The girl may have sensed the evil in the stone and insisted they try again. Or she's outlived her usefulness and Raker wants the stone's power for himself. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic if you think about it. Invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big happy flark and family? That's not the way to Cosmos. There might be something down there we can use. Groot. Ah, the seedy underbelly, seedy underbelly. You know, they used to run a poacher's ring out of here. Is that what that smell was? Yep, rotting beasts from Macklin's Bowl. Really hoping there'd be hover bikes down here. Why would there be? No outrageous parking fees for one. Can you squeeze in there? Yeah. Let's see where it goes. So if there were hover bikes down here, we could have hopped on and zipped down to the lower city. Me and Groot used to do it all the time. There you go. Should be safe. Thanks, Flark. These boots are waterproof. Dead end. Let's continue before Nikki becomes a dead end, too. What are you doing with that garbage? She's not garbage. Oh! <laughs> 
might! The power of the might! Zaya Magnati! Definitely not good. Gamora, wait, hold on a sec. Why? So more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flagged up church? Of course not, just... Just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos. It's about Nikki. And what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his protecting hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. 
Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can't. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually kind of enjoyed being on. All things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... She loves us. <laughs> I did not. You did? You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I could take. We accept you, Gamora and Uberi. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. What say we go stop a nut job cult leader? Yes. Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. That seems long enough for a bridge. Unless it crumbles when it falls. Drax? I have been eager to topple something over. You know, I usually hate it when that Cosmos spotlight would shine down on me. Really? A faith force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get looking then. That's it, Peter. Let's go. We need to get out of here before Raker shows up. All right, get ahead! 
Let's book it! Now is not the time for literature! <laughs> Guardians of the galaxy. The Matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. And you shall not stop her. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely her servant. Kinda hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her. But you will believe when it returns you from death's cold clutches. Your pain has pushed you to a perilous precipice, old friend. I saw you die. The form is fleeting, but the foundation remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Ruinous. Oh, 
Well, I guess Goldie survived that jump. The Warlock is more valuable. Just once I'd like to cross this bridge without incident. You can thank Goldie for that. The Warlock saved us from certain death. <laughs> 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 Approach the dark star! And we're almost halfway there! What is next, Peter Quill? Prepare yourself, Peter! My guy keeps dodging my shots! Round him up, crew! Okay! We gotta get to that elevator! At least the rooftops will provide some cover! Let's see that sword! Paroxysts will tell tale of our battles here! The what now? Well, I guess Goldie survived that jump! I swear, if Warlock kills Drake before I get a chance! Quill, watch it! We shall not fail! Get down here, you Centaurian Skartnard! Groot, snag him! Quill, unleash me onto these fools! Do you need Golden Boy's help? Is that why you shot him? <laughs> oh yeah, that was great. Right in the butt. Did you see the look on his face? It was all like, oh my gilded glutes. Regal rare. His perfect posterior. His champion cheeks. Finally! I think they're giving up! Just in time, because we're not getting back on that bridge! I know where we are! There's a road nearby that intersects the main bridge to Cosmos! Where? It should be, uh... right below us. Warlock better not kill Raker before I get to him. I am eager to pull that sorcerer's insides to the outside. We need to be on the other side of this thing. We're not getting over. Would under suffice? Must suck to be a celestial head just floating around the edge of the universe's stuck toilet. And then parasites move in and build a space station. They start digging out your brains. Until a death cult evicts everybody and starts blowing up what's left of you. That's one way down. The best way. Perhaps we should summon the ship to deliver us to our destination. Ain't no way they'd let us land anywhere near the big party. Better off fighting our way there. Indeed. I would much rather face them with my blades. Look! They're still at it! At least our guy seems to be winning. We sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Calex cream. <clears throat> oh, 
Always knew nowhere would get raided, but not like this. Thought it would be the world mine cracking down on him. Oh, you gotta be Flarkin kidding me. Don't suppose Groot knows another side route. If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. Do you have any idea how far down it is if you miss? We ain't got time to argue. I'll make it. Leave this to me! Whoa! Glad that was a rocket! You are a valued member of this team. Not a tool to be thrown about. Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if we can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. No. We won't have to worry about that. I know I can get through to Nikki. This is Raker's doing, not hers. I won't give up on her either. Nor will I. Yeah, and neither will the Grand Unicorn. You will regret it. Dumb are these Flarknards to even fall for this full Flarkman garbage. Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise too. That endless hunger. Oh yeah. Hungry is an understatement. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask him yourself. This isn't going to end well. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! Don't count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. Get away! This is being exposed to the promise. No! These militants do not stand a chance!
Keep them off, Cosmo! Thought we lost you for a second. One of them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so is Drax. And I ain't going inside this flea bag's head. Maybe he doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh. <laughs> <laughs> It's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Ah, uh, oh, Flark, it just shoot the mutt! <sighs> Easy, bud. Friends, remember? He's Peter Quinn. Cosmo knows never lie. Yeah, buddy. It's me. It's all of us. Where is Cosmo smell? The smell of nowhere. Where else would we be? Fur brain. His mind is addled. Or he is simply a dog. He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky. And cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma, how you say? Home. He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden, just walkies for going. And the ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Not at time that matter. Same reason Katavian, not go home. Nowhere is your home. Right here and now. Nowhere is nothing. Dead hit, mind for scrap. It's way more than that. This place is special. I am good. If by met you mean I saved your bark, then... Yeah, we met here. It's true. Nowhere was first place since Earth. Cosmo not feel like stray dog. First time, Cosmo forget what was lost. This place is a haven for misfits like us. Like you. It's home. Earth is just some rock where you were born. It's not about rock. It's about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet... You had owners. It sounds like they gave you up. Family would never turn back on Cosmo. Raised since he was mere pup. What about your puppies, Cosmo? They're your family. Cosmo Young are... They're here, man. And they're counting on you. For love. For protection. But humans call for Cosmo to heal. Must, Must be loyal. Those pups actually need you. Be loyal to them. Don't abandon them in space the way you were. Cosmo would never... But you have! They're somewhere here on Nowhere, maybe needing your help right now! <sighs> Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right! Peter Quill is right. Cosmo human have no smell! 
They are wicked perversions. You must bite them with all your might. Be gone! Those will not fit you otherwise. That's it. What do you tell them? Nowhere is Cosmo home be. His pups, his family, will protect the all cost. Sick him, boy! Should we help him? I mean, we may need him. I am optimistic for the beast's recovery. Cosmo's got his mission. We've got ours. Let's get to the Cortex. You think he'll be okay? He's got a thick coat. All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be so... Flark! Attack and scratch snatchers. Gah! Cosmo changed the codes. I guess so. All right, people. Let's find another way through. Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. With those sausage fingers? Of course you have. These nimble digits don't make mistakes. Yep. Drax, can you handle this? An intriguing texture. I fear I will regret this. Just don't start kicking up dust. So, stolen codes, jail time. What exactly were you and Groot doing down here before? We got a gig from an old contact at Mantlos, before you barged in for a family reunion with Mr. No Lips. Not the weirdest guy I know. You're the weirdest guy I know. The flark was that? An earthquake? Unlikely. We are not on Earth. Whatever they're doing, I think they just took it to the next level. The ritual must be starting soon. Good question, bud. How do we know we could even stop something this powerful? <sighs> eh, probably a question for the bug lady. Too bad she ditched us. To save her people? When he was in his promise, Drax said Magus was my soul. And anything that eats can die, right? That don't sound too scientific. He wished to poison his food supply. Eh, we're the food supply, so... no. Guardian of Galaxies, Cosmo is owing Bolshoi territory. Welcome back! Hey, we've got an army of church dudes between us and the Cortex. You coming? Yeah. Cosmo is retaking Tower of Security, where his pups are hiding. Without Tower, Nowhere is being lost. No. Gotcha. Be careful up there, buddy. That floaty my guy is really starting to trick me off. So, let's take that sprint neck soldier out then. Feeling really exposed in this pit. More room to pick targets. security detail. Gross. That's a lot of brain powder. Yeah, that stuff will turn your airway to sludge. Gray lung, they call it. Good thing I've got my mask. Oh, that won't help. Them particles are so fine, they're already seeping right in. Lungs are already gray. And you know that. I have seen them. Many times. 
Drax, little help, Peepo. Readily. Drax, over here, hurry. I move as swiftly as is necessary. Well, you know I was just messing with you. What's that? There ain't no such thing as gray lung. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, you so fell for it. Gray lung. Ooh. Did you guys know? Oh, yeah. Naturally. You're always good for a laugh. This place is practically falling apart. Could be all of nowhere, looks like this soon. It'll get back on its feet. The giant head does not have feet. So they just up and left all this once they discovered the cortex? If by up and left you mean that mutt went barking mad and booted everyone out, then yup. Not surprising. Imagine that thing falling into the wrong hands. We don't have to. Hey Groot, think you can get me up there? Right about there. I want to get a look from up high. Scoping? This place smells weird. It brains. It goes sour if it sits too long. It smells like metal and... I don't know, something else. Kriya. What's that? It's the waste product of a large Catathian slug. I'm not sure slug piss is exactly what I was thinking of. It is unmistakable. One tick. Oof. Got a crick in my back because of that. Whoa! Tremors have intensified. That's one way of putting it. It is an accurate statement. Oh. What have they done to you? You, uh... Okay, Rocket? No. I ain't okay. The Cortex. Nowhere. What's gonna happen to this place? This filthy dump of cheap booze and shady units is the closest thing I got to a home. I am Groot. This isn't the first time someone's tried to take over nowhere, and it won't be the last. We've still got Cosmo on our side. Once we give the church the boot, he'll whip this place back into shape. <laughs> Hopefully not too good a shape. Thanks, Quill. Minor hiccup we need to consider. How do we even shut down the Cortex now that it's all supercharged? Yeah, there ain't gonna be an easy off button on that thing. Any chance you can hack it? Uh, we ain't talking about some junky appliance. This is the Flarkin Continuum Cortex, one of the most powerful artifacts in the known universe. We'll blow it up if that's what it takes. We're dealing with power we've never seen before. No way we'd survive that. I will do it. While the rest of you flee, it'll be an honor. You don't know nothing about explosives. And this is Flarkin' nowhere, man. I ain't blowing up nowhere. Or any of us. We should focus on them faith conduits. I'm betting they all route through the same junction. That's gonna be the weakness. A celestial. Likely it was an exceptionally large blade. Uh, I never want to meet whoever was wielding it. Here they come! A whole lot of them! Soon to be one less! Now! Hold up! They've got big tech everywhere! Cosmo better cut us in on the salvage profits! Oh, oh. Our mighty battle shakes the very ground beneath us! That ain't us, man! Some mix! Yay! More brains up ahead! More worried about the galactic wars! This whole city is going to collapse! No! We ain't Hold it out of it. big guy! Chance for more getting real sick of these skiffs bringing more goo. They can send as many as they like, dude. They will all perish. We can't keep getting pulled into skirmishes. Like we have any choice. They shoot, we shoot. Over here. Guess 
realized we're climbing brains again. Gotta get across that gap first. All right, group. Let's make a bridge of our own. Let's watch out for quakes. Man, I really hope Warlock makes it to the finish line. <laughs> no, Goldie ain't counting on us. To him, we're just a bunch of scut soiling his fancy boots. All right, easy now. So, once we get Nikki, we wait for Warlock to catch up? And the bug lady. Our plan requires a great many people. You said saving the galaxy would be easy. Let's just take it one thing at a time. Get Nikki and stop this fulfillment thing. How pragmatic of you. Try not to count my chickens before they hatch. That would be counting eggs. Now is clearly not the time for that. Careful. Just a little... Whoa! Peter, do you want to do the honors? Totally. Watch this. Surprise, Scott Blackers! Take two of those, chop them up! him off already? I got a grenade with Raker's name on it. Engraving an explosive is imprudent. If Raker is still alive. Whatever they're up to with the Cortex, it stops now. This is nowhere. Our nowhere. Destin right. Let's show these Flartnards the door. I'll show them my blade. It will be a glorious battle. We are with you, Peter Quill. Quiet. 
quiet. What did they do to the Cortex? Nikki! They strapped her to their Flarkin machine, and they're making the hand direct all the galaxy's faith energy right into them. Fulfillment has begun. We gotta get her out of there, but how? Free the hand, and they lose power. I count four cables. Let's pull them out. He's free! We're gonna need 
It's okay, I got you. Get your hands off me! Why do you insist on ruining everything? If you won't join me, then just stay away. This is why I don't have kids. Nikki, this isn't gonna end how you think. Says who? You? I saw what you did. You should want to take it back. I can feel the light inside me. The promise will be fulfilled. Does she not realize her plan has been thwarted? <laughs> A minor setback. Isn't that right, Grand Unifier? The Cortex was meant merely to ease the burden on you, Matriarch. We shall retreat. Please, give me an excuse to kill. Is this him? The first divine vessel? A pale shadow to your magnificence, Matriarch. Let him watch me do what he could not. I'll draw faith across the entire galaxy myself if I have to. If you think you can handle- I'll handle whatever it takes. Nick. They ain't getting far. I got a tracker on Golden Boy's butt. You what? Yeah, I tagged him back on the bridge in case he ditched us again. We just gotta get back to the Milano. Rocket, don't ever change. <laughs> Tracker's online. Confirming Goldie's on the Daston Sacro Scut. Seatbelts, everyone. We're going in hot. Crap. Hold on. Hold on. Got him! Alpha Hercules system, inside the Keystone Asterism. Got it. Coordinates are in. We're not getting away this time. Down, power down. Hell yeah, Nova Core. The world mind must have. Well, can't say we didn't try. Nikki's in there somewhere. There's got to be a way. Yes, we overpower them with our own vastly superior fleet. Well, regrettably, we do not have one. Guys, we do our best work when we're out of options. Somebody's got to have something. Drax. You have royal blood. Perhaps it is time for the Prince of Spartax to return and rally his people. You been to Spartax lately? I have not. But Spartoi technology is well beyond- Spartax was sacked during the war because of its tech. You can't even land there anymore. Rocket, anything? Uh, what about the Ravagers? You could ask for a temporary truce. Yondu's rotting away in the kiln, thanks to me. Could bust them out. Jailbreak the kiln. I'd rather take my chances with the church fleet. 
I'll bust him out. Yeah, I'd bet on Gamora. As would I. I am Groot. So would I, but it doesn't matter. The rest of the Ravagers scattered during the war. Any survivors are laying low or serving time in one of a dozen backwater planets. Besides, what's a pirate without a ship? <coughs> Groot, and no bad ideas. I am Groot. Yeah, that's a bad idea. We're not going to the Shitari. That is the kind of wild card we're looking for, just not that one. The snakes would shoot us in the back. I'm assuming they don't shoot us in the front. Gamora, thoughts? Maybe Earth has heroes that can help us? Those guys in the pajamas? Mighty pajamas. Trust me, Earth hasn't caught up to everybody just yet. We need somebody with a fleet. <laughs> Hold on. What if the answer's been slobbering right in front of us this entire time? Peter Quill, this, this beast cannot operate a ship. That's, that's not what I'm saying. Think about it. Cammy's pretty much useless to us, but she's also useless to the church. They want people to brainwash. I bet animals aren't even on their radar. They went after Cosmo. Cosmo's mind is way more advanced than ours. His intelligence makes him weak to the promise, just like Rocket. Thanks, but not an animal. What I'm saying is we know someone with an entire beast army, and I bet Raker hasn't even looked twice at her. How can you be certain she is not one of them? I am Groot. Guardians of the God! Nope, she's good. You do realize she still wants to flay us and feed us to her babies? Guys, this is it. Okay, our one last long shot. We've got to find a way to apologize and make things right. Okay, we'll, we'll get her a gift. A peace offering. I ain't going back in a cage. No, no, think bigger. Way bigger. The one beast that she'd want more than any other. Drax knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yes! Oh, no, 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 no. Here it comes! You know where we're going. To Mach To battle the legendary Fin Fang Foom! gonna fly into that, aren't we? They say that the rings of Maku 4 perpetually rain fire down upon the godless abominations that dwell below. How fun. <laughs> I'm sure it's worse than it looks, too. It is. Many of my people braved this same treacherous pilgrimage before me, never to return.
<laughs> okay. Oh, a little bumpy, but we're all okay, right? <laughs> Laughing, that's good. It's just, it's perfect. This is us. This is how we park. <laughs> well, this is how Quo parks, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we were not fated to die this day. Unless, of course, Fin Fang Foom devours us whole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. we gotta find him first. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, this is insane. This is how we park, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that definitely shouldn't be sparking. We can worry about that after we catch our dragon. And convince Lady Albender to help us bust the church a new one. Before setting out on our quest, let us rouse our spirits with a Katathian battle anthem. What? Like now? You know what? Flark it. Let's do it. Uh, listen closely. Ancient Katathian is a powerful tongue with words that hold great meaning. Follow as I lead the melody. So traju to pluk, held ador morgath, soltath flandergath. Really? We're doing this? Targath gone at coal. Full Malki Ultah, both and cold Galmak. Targat on a coal, full Malki Ultah, both and cold Galmak. Pelmafin Sardu, Jodkai Nagultau. Goth and Kogal Mak. Goth and Kogal Mak. Gal Mak, Gal Mak, Soltath Flander Gath. What does that last line mean, Drax? Soltath Flander Gath. It means. We will be victorious. Uh, at last, the hunt for Fin Fang Foom truly begins. A monster that big's gonna leave serious marks all over the planet. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Looking for Foom Poo. Great. Man, this thing is ugly. Uh, what made you bring that thing onto the ship? Thought we could use it if we ever need to hide our identity during a job or something. First of all, a Glarnot mask ain't no identity. Glarnot? They're that gang from the Planet of the Rain's Emeralds or something, right? Or am I confusing them? It's diamonds. Oh, yeah. And B, there's only two jobs I've ever needed a mask. The time me and Groot knocked over a top-secret lab. Really? Oh, yeah. The other time is when I borrowed a Glarnot mask and accidentally stole Groot from the Collector. How'd you accidentally steal Groot? You have to understand, Quill. I was on the run back then. The war was still raging strong, and then Kree scientists weren't exactly happy I left Halfworld. I had to keep a low profile. By robbing the Collector? I was broke! And no offense, but the way the Collector plasters his face all over nowhere like he owns the place... He doesn't own the place. Someone had to knock him off his stupid flarkin' pedestal! Ah, uh, fact that I was drunk when I did it just makes it funnier. Is there a, a bounty out for you that I should know about? Relax! Anyways... I lifted one of them stupid Glarnot masks from some passed out jerk at Mantlos, stumbled my way to the Collector's Emporium, put on the mask, flashed some shiny rocks I found, and when his assistant's back was turned, I punked him on the head. <laughs> oh, you're unbelievable. <laughs> I know. It was gravy after that. Once I was sure he was out, I started cleaning out the place. Woke up the next morning on a stolen transport with a bag of loot and groat.
Uh, of course, he was just a baby back then. Barely taller than a weed. Aww, baby Groot. I knew right then and there that I had to take care of him. A cage ain't no place for guys like us. We've been partners in crime ever since. That, I believe. Eh, believe what you want, Quill. Truth is truth. When did you guys rob a secret lab? Eh, it was before we came after you. This Signog named Wheeler reached out to me and group. Wanted us to steal a bioweapon from some research lab in Arago 7. Piece of cake for a crack team like me and Groot. <laughs> wait, wait. And Groot wore a mask for this? <laughs> Man, you should have seen him, Quill. Bark naked except for the stupid mask of Thanos. It was flarkin' hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That was until we realized the eggheads on Arago actually hired Wheeler to get us there. Uh, six out of ten times, it's a trap. Yep. Turns out they wanted to study us. My implants, Groot's regeneration, super valuable to the right bidder. By the time I realized what was up, they'd got Groot. Locked him in a frickin' cage, Quill. Like an... like an animal. Ugh, that's terrible. Yep. Well, joke's on them. We weren't about to be turned into science experiments anytime soon. So, I went with plan B. One explosive charge later, and ba-boom, we were home free. <laughs> and the bioweapon? Sold it back to Wheeler for triple the price. Nice. Yep. <sighs> Those were the days. I'll just put this back. We should continue on our path. The Golden Warrior will not endure Raker's torture forever. Eh, doesn't matter if he endures it. We just need the tracker, no? The Milano isn't gonna self-destruct or anything while we're gone, right? How many times do I gotta tell you? The ship probably ain't equipped with self-destruct systems. All set to take on Foom Rocket? They say that a single one of his claws is bigger than a fully grown man. Considering how those legends about Hellbender turned out, that dragon's probably as tall as Groot. All good, buddy? I'm Groot. Ready for our biggest battle yet? I am Groot. He was more worried about us killing each other over the past few cycles. I knew this day would come. I was destined to battle the Dragon Lord of Kakaranthara. Bet you didn't think you'd be fighting him with this team of a-holes. I did not. But I am thankful fate has granted me this honor. Despite your best efforts, you are an honorable man, Peter Quill. Thanks, Drax. We're gonna pull this off. I know it. Of course. We have to. For Nikki. Ever fought a dragon before? Sounds fun, actually. Only in the arcade. That's good enough, right? All right, let's do this. <laughs> Shivering tit witches, it's cold. <laughs> That's not really how that saying goes. You want to correct me, or you want to find Fing Fang Foom and save the galaxy? I want Fin Fang Foom. And the galaxy saving thing, I guess. Assuming Hellbender even goes for this. Lady Hellbender will go for it. Okay, well, I ain't seeing no foam poop. We should look for Katathian hunt markers. Just to this. Whoa! That was too close! Oh, oh, oh. The legends of raining fire are true! Any other legends we should know about? Legends of glorious death! Well, as long as it's glorious! Sure, we'll still have a ride home with all the meteors. She can take a hit. We literally just crashed because she can't take a hit. Watch out! The place is falling apart. Uh, we did not come here to be slain by ice and rocks. There is only one noble way to die on Mark the Four, like so many of my people before us. Someone remind Trax we ain't come here to die. No one's dying. We're taking Boom alive. We're handing him over to Lady Hellbender alive. And we're getting her to help us take on the church's armada. So in this plan of ours, the armada part is where we die? 
All right, Drax. Let's channel some of that excitement into this rock. Ah, I shall pretend it is the head of Fin Fang Foom. Great. Drax just shattered the skull of the thing we're supposed to catch. Bye bye, galaxy. I am Groot. Groot says he wants to take it all in. Take your time, buddy. Might be your last chance to take anything in. You think Foom's in there? Fantasy books taught me anything? It's that dragons love to hang out inside mountains. Groot wants to know if those books said anything about catching dragons. I'm sure it had something to do with teamwork and trust. You can't remember the details because you didn't read the whole thing. I read a lot of different dragon books, okay? And there was always a mountain, and the good guys always win. <laughs> Ain't no one writing a book about us. Does it have big, scary claws? Look, my people were here. Didn't we see these in Drax's memories when Mantis linked us all together? They're Katathian hunt markers. That's a lot of brave Katathians. After Thanos raised Katath, my people were left broken, physically and mentally. Their exodus led many of them here in great numbers. Uh, so how many of these hunters came back? None. They were all victims of Fing Fang Foo? Not victims. They came for the ultimate battle. A truly glorious death. Is it just me, or does it feel like we're a part of something here? Oh yeah! Part of Foom's all-you-can-eat buffet. I mean, walking in the footsteps of Drax's people, out here to save the galaxy, makes you want to believe in destiny. I'm not trying to kill the moment or nothing, but everybody listed here was destined to be monster chow. If we all die, will die like proper Katathians. If we all die, everyone dies. Magus is gonna consume everything. Then let's catch Foom and make sure that doesn't happen. <clears throat> let's just say we do catch Fin Fang Foom. We're just gonna... What? Is that Okay, team. If we can't make quick work of this thing, then we got no right going after Fin Fang Foom. Rocket! Blast him! Ha! He's right in the footsteps of so many of my people. Guess that makes us honorary captain! Inverting the putrid feline will expose its weakness! So fucking cold here! Even the monsters are frozen! Yep! Definitely wishing I brought a scar! Feel this! Our blows seem insignificant! <laughs> Now bring on Fin Fang Foom! 
Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, how much bigger and stronger and scarier is Foom gonna be than the thing we just fought? 10,000. That's what I think. Who said this was gonna be easy, Rocket? Right, right, but 10,000 times, Quill? <gasps> Flark and Hala! Whoa, get a load of them claw marks. It's gotta be Foom's, right? Even bigger than his legend. So, yeah, uh, when we find him, let's avoid the claws. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to cross here, too. Just not sure how. Looks like there might be a ledge hiding under all those rocks on the other side. Tamora, you do it. All you, Drax. I cannot help you. Do your thing, Groot. I am Groot. Not him. Thinking something, Rocket? Got the wrong guy. <laughs> What's with all them rectangles? Monoliths. Fine. What's with all the monoliths? It's possible they are ley lines, which may lead us directly to Fin Fang Foom. I could clear the rubble from that ledge, Peter Quill. I just need something to throw. How about Quill? <laughs> Come on, it's not so bad. His fleshy frame would make a poor instrument to devil in. Toss it! My path is obstructed. Okay, I'm thinking this is step one of a multi-step solution to get across this chasm. All right, and what are the next steps? Still working on that part. Final step, Drax. If we can topple some of those rocks, we can... Go... <laughs> Glorious! I swear, I've never seen you in such a good mood. Because you have never seen me on the Great Hunt before. What about our quarantine zone mission? Drax, I know you've been waiting for this a long time. Enjoy it, man. Thank you, Peter Quill. I must admit that with everything that has happened, I need this. Yeah, everyone get ready. There's something up ahead. I'm pretty sure it sees us, whatever it is. Great, more food food to deal with. Do not underestimate anything that survives the perilous of this planet. Good advice. Super cool and turn himself in for a good guy! Lousy crunch slurpers won't stop spitting at us! And we must spit right back! I for one am ready for you, Finn Typhoon! Love of the excitement, Drax! Just promise no avalanches! And the hunt for Fin Fang Foom continues. Okay, let's just think things through a moment. Since when is that a thing we do? What if we're too late? What if Raker finishes what he started and the ritual... Then we're doing all of this for nothing. Not for nothing. If our final act is to challenge Fin Fang Foom, we'll be an honorable final act. I don't do final acts. I'm a survivor. Let us hope we are not too late. There. See? More... ominous peaks. This planet's starting to give me the creeps. I keep thinking Foom's gonna claw us from behind. Fin Fang Foom is a legendary beast. Legendary beasts do not claw from behind. Maybe not. Smart ones do. say that Fin Fang Foom uses the planet's treacherous surface to test would-be adversaries. Uh, Lady Hellbender legends all over again. Well played, Kakarakura! Careful! Deadly gas. So here's an idea. Why don't we lure Foom into one of these gas caves? Knock him out! 
Tower Creek. I want full credit for the kill. For the last time, Drax. We're not killing Fin Fang Fu. Wait, wait, wait. Rocket, are you neck deep in water? We're about to stare down a legendary dragon with the fate of the entire I ain't gonna hold this up. Wow. I'm impressed. You really conquered your fear. Yeah, well, it ain't about me. Hammer time, Drax. This shall be fulfilling. Knock it down, Drax. It will give way under my might. Any ideas, Gamora? I could probably get you up there. <laughs> nice! Who won't know what hit him? You will be more resilient than a boulder. I know. I'm just trying to be positive. Why? I think it's a team building thing. We require no further team building. We are the perfect team. Meh. We're okay. Honestly, after everything we've been through, there's no one I'd rather be doing this with. I flarkin' love you guys. We're all I flarkin' love you guys. Ugh, gross. Some things are better left unsaid, Peter. Yeah, way to ruin it. Let's just get back to catching Boom and saving the You know, I'm gonna be really disappointed if he doesn't live up to all the hype. Peter, look! There's smoke ahead. Think it's Foom? More likely it's people. Great. Maybe they'll know where he is. Or they'll attack us on sight. I could probably infiltrate the camp, look for weak links, make an example of the right person, bleed them out in front of their crew. The shock of it will cause confusion or maybe even surrender. Then we carve through the rest. Hey, uh... Is everything okay? We didn't really talk after your, um... The killing my sister thing? Yeah, and other tangential topics. I'm fine. Ish. Okay. <sighs> Peter, there's a good chance Nikki's already lost. No. I don't accept that. And if she is, I know I'll be the one expected to make the hard call. She's my daughter. But I'm the killer. We both know that. It's not gonna come to that. And if it does? If it's a choice between her and literally everything else, Peter, you'd do anything for someone you care about. 
And we both know that I... We both know that you would as well. Which is why you're exactly who I need to bring my girl home. Alive. I hope you're right. Gagon at Kol, Kol Malki Oltaz. Foom! It's Foom! Yes! Or going to go in you fortin' rock! Yes! I am Groot. Yeah, Ominous is right! Gagon at Kol, here goes! I don't like this! Ah! Accelerating! Oh, this! Kind of amazing! Also really terrifying. Hello? We're looking for Fin Fang Foom, you seen him? Big wings, nasty teeth. Purple shorts. What do you mean, purple shorts? What, I heard he wears purple shorts. Ancient legends do tell of such a thing. See? This one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. Felt that one too. I'm so jealous right now, Quill. You should be. Good thing that rock tried to murder us, or we'd have never got Quill's sweet new power. Maybe we should almost kill you more often. What is that? Come on, Rocket. We got past your fear of water. I can't jump. It's like this magic mud stuff I used to make as a kid. There is nothing magical about mud. You haven't been to the spa in Contraxia. I have not. You don't really strike me as the spa type. Like I said, magical. Fortune smiles upon us this day, my friends. We just almost got crushed by a giant meteor. Indeed. Almost. He's got you there. Step aside, mortals, and allow the Meltinator to do his mighty work. That's a terrible name. Huh? Got a better one? Petey Hot Guns. No! Captain Fireball. It's not even a fireball. It's more like a uh, heat block. Captain Heat Block. Nope, no. Nope. How did you know your guns would work back there? They've saved us three times already. I mean, how did you know they'd melt that ice wall? Oh, uh, I... didn't? So we could have just as easily died horribly. Yep. Wendigo! What the floor? It might be his name. Maybe he's trying to communicate. Please don't. Star-Lord! Star-Lord! Is it just me, or did he sound a little irritated? No, nope, there was definitely hatred in that voice. Ha! <laughs> Always the charmer, Quill. Check out these pointy trees. Don't check them out too closely. I am Groot. 
Exceptional beasts. So it's a wonder Lady Hellbender does not move her home here. It's a little cold for Lady Skull Suit. Keep it up. My is starting to get warm. I imagine Foon would sense our arrival and rush to face us. I am disappointed. Maybe he's hiding from us. Unlikely. We did kick the crap out of that ugly dweller thing. Look, Will, it's your new best bud. I'd say communication has failed. Another affair. Where do you go? Looks like they've evolved to survive these conditions. Their hide shall make an excellent coat. Go home! <laughs> Get it? I don't think they're listening. Gamora, slice them up! They're fast for something so big! <laughs> the same is said of me! Wrap them up, bud! Find another snack, buddy! Or perhaps you would prefer the whole meal! And ready! Done playing with the snow monkeys. When they go. Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling when they go. See? Sounds like we haven't seen the last of them. Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. Assuming they don't hold a grudge. Hey, they started. Into their shoe? Looks more like the dinner plate. Well, 
Let's make sure we don't end up on the menu. It's like the whole play came out to play. Not all! We still want the most important guest of all! The less I have to touch you, the better! Like a truth! I can't believe those snow monkeys got to jump on us! Now it is I who Ow! Sorry about that! The less I have to touch him, the better! What is next, Peter Quill? I'm ready! Just find me an opening! Carbon is like the whole plan came out to play! Not at all! We still lack the most important guest of all! Coming attack! These things even die weird! Their appearance is grotesque! Can we kill any faster in Black Hole? We really should have dressed in lairs! Yeah, yeah. Kick their butts! My butt still hurts from that slide! That's not used to it right now! Breathing room, Groot! Let's a rocket! Yeah, I think they hold a bit of a grudge. I can't believe those snow monkeys got to jump on us! Now it is I who will jump on them! What do you expect when you stomp on him? That wreck is the camp we saw? Nah, this thing has been here for ages. Look, the smoke's coming from the other side of it. We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. All right, Groot, give me a boost. About yay high. Yay is not a unit of measurement. Groot knows what he means. All right, heads up. I'm gonna drop something down for you guys. Look out below! Ha! That'll work! You think those creatures were using this ship for shelter? Screw them, they're dead. I'm fine, just itchy. It's this Dastin ice planet. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. Or how 
Hot Styles. Just a nice warm fire and some cigar and spirits. Ooh, maybe it's a barbecue. What? Barbecue? What? You guys have never had barbecue? Charbroiled burgers, grilled steaks, baby back ribs? Whatever it is, it smells... Bodies. It smells of bodies. Jeez. Was all this foom? Undoubtedly. Up ahead. Looks like there's a survivor. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for film. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big Eyes Obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. Still got some things to pack up. Are you gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraxia isn't exactly safe right now. <laughs> when is it ever? Seriously, maybe you should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well. If you hear people talking about a promise with a matriarch, just steer clear. I'll keep that in mind. Sorry about your men. Eh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? What of it? Relax, I'm not looking for trouble. There was a time I'd have taken you in for the bounty. There was a time I'd have killed you for trying. <laughs> yeah. Seems we've both got bigger problems right now. Seems like. Um, any of you corpses mind if I help myself to your stuff? No? Well, thank you. May as well put it to good use, right? They ain't using it. All right, it's up. Here's hoping we do better against Foom than this lot. Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. No doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. I have appropriated it for our own use. Herald our bravery this day shall mark our ultimate conquest or our glorious defeat. Who may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. But it shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. Big ice thingy on the frozen sea, eh? I agree. You said it, buddy. Sure is a long way down. All right, people. Let's catch us a dragon. Yes, we grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Foom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally. Whoa! Hey, Keith, the ice is amplifying our velocity. This is how I die! Well, 
That takes care of the getting down part. I don't even want to think about how we're gonna get back up. Or how we're gonna get Foom up there. Look on the bright side. We may be dead. Back on Earth, people would use dog sleds. A whole line of huskies pulling a sled across the ice. Don't expect me to be the dog. Ooh, I didn't think it could get any colder. You know, it's days like these I'm glad I installed seat warmers in the Milano. Up ahead, there's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Fin Fang Foom! Come and face your death! What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. Also, we're not killing him, remember? Shout with me. Here we demonstrate our metal. Fin Fang Foom! Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. Your quill. Go! Uh, fin Fang Foom, it's... Nap time! <laughs> Rocket, it's your turn! Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Fin Fang Foom! We're gonna decomboggle your flock and scut spigots! You hear me? He hears you! You scaly, overgrown gordel splode! You fessed lump of satarki and shrub meat! You don't scare us! It feels good, does it not? Yeah! Yeah! It actually does! No! We disrobe! Yeah, we're not doing that. Groot's worried about the ice. If it'll hold Foom, it'll hold us. Just through here. Be ready for anything. That is technically impossible. Him. Impossible. Foom was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. Dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out. Not so hot now, are you, 
triumphant! Who must fall it? We screwed up. We conned you. Robbed you. Killed your... baby. We can't take back what we've done. But we want to make it right. Uh, Quill... Murdered the Dragon Lord of Kakarantara! the two of us together. Lord Foom. The final harvest begins. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see... Enough. I will gather my forces. All right, let's go. Lady Hellbender shall fight alongside us this day, after we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. We found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. We are on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. <sighs> but we lost Warlock, and we'll need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. We still tracking them? 
<laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good. Then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Oh, uh, she will. I'm certain of it. All right. Let's gear up, people. Tie up any loose ends. Take a pee if you have to, because we're not stopping again. <coughs> hey, Quill. Let me borrow your tunes. Why? I need the focus. Come on. Do not drop that. Mantis? What happened on Lamantis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you in church, Grandpa makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends. But at some point, someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great, I did not want to know that. I Oh yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. Aw, she says thank you for getting rid of Aiden Warsock. Apparently she likes me better. Uh, Adam Warlock? Yeah, him. She thinks I'm bleats. It translates weird. Mantis, I've got so many questions. I know, and I've got so many answers. Like, seize the means of production. Or, it's not just a rash. Or, yes, it is gluten-free. Uh, not the answers I was looking for, but... Now I'm wondering about the questions. What questions? What happened on Lamentis after we left? You said some people would survive, but that doesn't fare super well for the others. Many of the elders died. They didn't resist the invasion, but they would never accept the promise. It isn't their way. I'm sorry. Don't be. Their sacrifice bought time for me and the Kotati to hide most of the others. They will emerge when the galaxy is saved. So you're able to hide them in the caves? Hope you told them to stay away from the fog. How did you convince Lady Hellbender to meet us on Maklu 4? You weren't even with us when we decided to go. Actually, convincing her to go after you wasn't hard at all. But convincing her to hear you out? Woo! That was tough! I had to get all creepy mystical and spook her with warnings about what would happen otherwise. You told her about the end of the universe. And she believed you? Oh, no. Not at first. But when I brought up all her precious monsters dying, she came around. Couldn't take that chance with her babies, you know? Well, I'm glad to have you with us. Oh, good. Because you're not always glad. Why not? Well, sometimes I'm your ex-wife. What? <laughs> I think she's pulling your leg, Quill. It only ever happens the one time, but it's so funny. Good thinking. Get the watering sorted out before we go. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks so sad, swishing around in his robes. <laughs> what? What did what, he say? <laughs> Gro Groot wants to water the Grand Unifier. Oh, right. <laughs> The, the grand humidity! <laughs> hey, Rocket. Working on something? I'm always working on something. You're not listening to my tunes? No, you turned the music on. Then can I have my player back? Why? You already got music playing. Right. So you don't need the player to focus anymore. You might turn it off. Yeah, but... What part of I need to focus don't you get, Quill? What do you need to focus on so badly anyway? Something that might give us a way to get through the armada around Sacrosanct. Just in case Lady Skullsuit doesn't show up in time. Nice. What is it? You'll see. Morris and Hubri, you wish to practice hand-to-hand -hand techniques. It's still weird when you say my actual name. 
I am getting used to it. We've come a long way since murderous sorceress. Wasn't well, it what you were calling me back on my first mission with the team? Yes. At first I believed you had bewitched Peter Quill. I could see no other reason he would hire an assassin for a protection contract. Really? No other reason than magic? You could also have seduced him. He lacks mental fortitude in the presence of women. True. If I remember right, he spent most of that protection contract flirting with the waitresses. Nice move there, Drax. If I put my weight on my left foot, I have much better control over my right hook. Peter Quill, spar with me. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'll pass, Drax. I uh, don't want to get tired before the real fight. Tired? But this is the warm-up. Not a bad idea. We don't know what's going to happen when we get out of hyperspace. What if we get ambushed? That's what guns are for. Uh, <sighs> guns. I think I preferred when you two didn't get along. Raker's going down this time, Gamora. I promise you. And I promise you I'm getting Nikki out of there, no matter what. We will get her out. Together. Together. Bet those moves are really going to impress Lady Hellbender. I do not need to impress her. Besting the great Fin Fang Foom is proof enough of my combat skills. Yeah, that would do it. I'm not sure Lady Hellbender was really impressed with how we handled that fight. You know, since we accidentally killed that dragon before Groot revived him? Would you not be impressed by a man slaying a dragon? Maybe if he does it without my help. You're overwatering, Sir Groot. I am Groot. Yeah, leave him alone. I tinker when I'm stressed, Groot waters, Gamora meditates, etc. When I'm stressed, I concentrate real hard, and sometimes I can see the birth of the universe. First, there's only one reality, and then, bam, all reality. That's kind of cool. All right, not stopping again. Did I forget something? You do in most realities. Here goes nothing. Ah, no, scratch that. Here go the Guardians of the Galaxy. Woohoo! I'm gonna barf. And we're back. Deja vu. Is it just me or that fleet looks twice as big now? Wrong. It's at least thrice as big. That's the biggest I've ever seen it. What now? Kill the lights, kill the engines, and wait for Lady Hellbender to show up. We're sure she's coming, right? She is a woman of honor. A queen. She promised to gather her forces. And how long is that gonna take? Too long? No. We can't be too late. We gotta save the galaxy and Nikki. One way or another, we need to get in there and shut down that ritual. We can't take on a fleet that big. Little Fuzzy! Rocky, what are you doing, man? We need to get into Sacrosanct to disrupt the ritual, right? We all know we get killed out here. So, I'm gonna make a really loud distraction. My tunes! Yeah, I rigged it to blast your scuddy music across all channels. While the church is out looking for the source... We cut the engines and we flow silently right past them to board the Sacrosanct. Smart! Seriously? Fine. But we're getting it back as soon as we win. Now get back in here! Find a place to park. Or deception is working. Sounds so surprised. We are so gonna get my music back once this is all done. 
Sorry, Quill. Chances are they're gonna blast it to pieces once they pin it down. Let's make sure this sacrifice counts. Can we not call it that? Guardians of the galaxy, stop hiding! The monster lords of Seknoth 9 hunger for battle! We're not hiding. We are sneaking. Because we need to get into Sacrosanct alive. Then we will slaughter as many as we can out here while you fight your way in. Eat, my children! Crack open their shells and feast upon the sweet meats inside! <laughs> this is so metal. All right, people, let's take advantage of a nice lady murdering spree. We're busting into Sacrosanct. That landing base her way in, but there's still a lot of pain to be here and there. Maybe we can blow past them. It's risky. Fire! Spaceships, monsters, fate of the entire galaxy at stake! If it makes you feel better, Star Guy, you fate it a walk farther than ex-boyfriend version of you! Ooh. <laughs> Try not to get shot, Will! Flying, this sucks! Got a piece of that guy! That one's toast! I think you're finally figuring out how to fly her, Quill! True! I do not feel the dread in my stomach as piloting ordinarily elicits. Air support. Stop getting ahead and there won't be no damage. Useful, thanks. Direct hit! Crap, that's a lot of turrets. Kill them or dodge them. We gotta get through there. Now this is a proper dogfight! Hurry up, Peter! The real bomb's gonna be inside Breaker's ship! <laughs> got my best bomb! Prime and ready! Mantis, you sure you can fly her? Yes! Sometimes! Hang on, maybe you should... Two arms! The enemy approaches! Rocket, any sign of Warlock? Yeah! My tracker's showing gold, but in the center of the formation. We gotta get out of this hangar! No that! These deluded souls do not know when to quit! Yeah! I love playing Zappazella! Having fun praying on the week? Hey, Stunheads! We're just here for the fulfillment! Our chance! These great 
them up! These deluded souls do not know when to quit! Really missing my twos right now, Rocket! certain they have not found a way to convert the warlock. It would explain why they took him prisoner instead of just killing him. And there's a lot of faith Scott beaming into this place. Warlock hates Magus. He already evicted the thing once. Maybe they made up. You booted me and Groot, but here we are. I did not. You left. My point stands. No. If Magus had turned warlock, he would have been a victory. Just no spinning! Why is she spinning? Don't worry about my flying! Just worry about your shooting! Go meet new people soon! I'm already here, Mantis! Oh! Say hi for me! Celestial Madonna sends you a reading. I'm on it! <laughs> At least Mantis hasn't crashed the Milano! She's actually an accomplished pilot! Imagine the havoc Lady Hellbender must be wreaking outside! Yeah, well, the five of us are doing good havoc wreaking in here! We fully embraced the promise. And there's millions more where they came from. Let's hope Mantis and Lady Hellbender keep most of them busy outside. Doors flarked. Scut. We need to go that way. See if you can overload it. Are they still mad at us? Okay, okay, sorry we left such a mess last time we were here. No, we Think they'll tell us where Warlock is? They'll pick her up from much of a chat! Is that what they call a spiritual experience? We made another mess! Groot's right! They started it! It's a bit cold, so they've gotta have 
think we accepted the promise in one of the other timelines? Yeah, and those loser guardians blocked the entire galaxy. Oh, good. Here comes a cleaning crew. Back that way, boy. Oh, I cannot believe these people are janitors. the finish line before we start dividing the spoils. You think they'll tell us where Warlock is? We don't need them to! Cracker's working fine! Having fun praying on the week? Put down another fanatic! Lady Hellbender must be reeking outside! Yeah, well, the five of us are doing some pretty good havoc reeking in here! You said it, bud. They are gonna throw everything they got at us. And we will dodge it! Ah, there we go! Path this way! Come on! Star Guy, what does the angry orange light on your controls mean? Which one? The one under the tape! Oh, now it's yellow! Now orange again! Just ignore it, Mantis. You put tape over my warning lights? You're distracted. You just lost your tape privileges. It's my tape! I swear I will never set foot in a church after this. Come on, you ain't never been in a church. Yes, I have. This one. Twice. <sighs> this way. Come on. Yes, we're going out into space. We got no other options. And I got a theory. Yup, artificial gravity. Figured a ship this big would need it for repairs and stuff. <laughs> this is so cool. Hang on. Okay, go, go, go. Yep, 
Signal's coming from somewhere inside that giant frickin' rock. Yeah, that scrap he was taking pop shots at our monster! Uh, uh, rest your metal! Drag, toss it! We are still at great distance from the church's altar! We're still tracking Warlock, don't worry! Think we could have started out here? We can't count on there being gravity for long! No! <laughs> forward. Peter Quill, I fear I will not be able to harm your child if she is lost. Of course you wouldn't let him, you big lug, but what if she don't give us a choice? Not to be insensitive or nothing, but there's something very, very wrong with that kid. I'll take care of it. Even if it means... I'll take care of it. Thanks, bud. Any bets on what's down there? No. 
argument and we beat them mercilessly half expecting a monster to come crashing through the wall that would be very very bad maybe we should keep moving i would like to leave this room cannot see the battle you mean you might miss a peek at lady hellbender and fin fine foom do you think foom holds a grudge we bested him in his own lair he will forever recognize us as his superiors yeah well he's lady hellbender's pet now and she does hold the grudge that is true. Okay, here we go. These things are built like freaking Terminators! No, we will be their Terminators! Oh, you, Roger! Berserkers once set themselves on fire to intimidate their enemies! Don't tell me they did this while they were naked! Feels like I've been shooting that big bot for hours! Ugh, they suck even when they're on fire. Yeah, well I like watching them burn. Peter. Really? Your crazy plan is actually working. I never expected Lady Hellbender to show up here. I wasn't sure we were ever gonna find Foom or beat him. Nah, we did that, not just me. You're the one who brought us all together. And kept us together. Again, sir, but- Hey, look! Rock, tell me we're almost through this. Uh, we're further than we were the last time you asked. Oh. Don't blame me, oh. I'm just the guy with the pepper. Oh. Perhaps we can help Lady Hellbender from here! No need to show off, big guy. I think she already has a crush on you. Pump it out of big guy! The Centurion is quick! And elevated!
on the inside of the ship with our luck. It's too quick! Watch your step! We're on a nasty drop here! Hey, put me a tactical advantage! Music back, Quill. You were the one who chucked it into space. Hey, it worked, didn't it? No harm done. Psychological harm was done. Give it a slice, I got Gamora. This. Back into a hole. Great. Strike holes. Ah, giant robot. I hate these things. Not even sure it is totally robot. What does that mean? Running on faith energy, right? That comes from people. Having fun praying on the weak? Put him down, you giant metal freak! Throw that, Drax! Man, that giant robot can take a lot of pain! It is as venerable as it is long! You must break it! You're a big guy! You got it! Now is our opportunity! Oh, wow! Remind me of the piss off group! We must strike the large one with more force! I thought you'd never ask! Die, Spider! You're glad we got a monster queen watch now for us! Is she not wonderful? I'm in trouble!
You really think those things have people in them? It wouldn't be the weirdest thing we've seen. They're creepy either way. Come on, we gotta go topside again to reach Warlock. If we survive this, we should invite Lady Hellbender to join the team. Uh, there ain't no room for her on the ship. She's like three quills high. One and a half quills, at best. Her armor alone must weigh six quills. You know what? Let's vote on it. Do we invite Lady Leotard? Nope. Yes. No. Peter Quill. Groot. Your votes. I am Groot. She probably still wants to murder me, so I'm gonna be a no. In her defense, that describes most people. That's fair. Groot's a no, too. The voters have decided. I have been over. Fortune favors us. We were not sucked into the lethal void. Unless Raker shuts off the gravity. Just have to hope he's too busy with the ritual to think of it. Are we sure Warlock's all the way over on the other side? Yeah. As long as we keep moving forward, we're going the right way. We have found purpose. We will not die here. If we do, we'll see you at the top. The correction. I will see you at the top. The rest of you will see whatever heathen paradises you believe in. Where are you going, Quill? Just following my gut on something. Perhaps Lady Hellbender will join us in our final battle against Magus. Something tells me she's got her hands full. They are large hands. Strong hands. Yeah, I get it. Now where the flark is he going? It's called scouting, okay? It's a shame Lady Hellbender didn't have this kind of army to back us during the Galactic War. Who's building her legacy? We are fortunate to have her now. Yeah, let's stay on her good side. This is it. We're almost there. Is that you in there? Da. Spasiba, Guardian of Galaxies, for helping Cosmo shake away promise. He is no longer chasing stick that is snake. And look, Cosmo is bringing nowhere. Yeah, we noticed. And family. Say privit, my pops. Oh, it's good to have you back, buddy. Ha! Cosmo is very much like filthy fleas. You are thinking he is gone. Until he is biting on your ass. Boom! <laughs> He's such a good boy. Nerd. Cosmo is best of boys. Boom! Boom! Now we give these brain fleas the bites they deserve. Attack! I had no idea nowhere could fire death beams. This is sweet. And that dog has his paw on the nuke button. I'm gonna have to be nicer to him. We should keep moving. We are moving. But we should be doing it faster. Once we get inside that rock, chances are we're gonna have to go toe to toe with the Grand Unifier again. We'll stomp on his toes. I've only got one of his arms. I'm dying to complete my collection. Wait. What's that? Watch out for debris! It is a good thing my 
My skin is so resistant. Oh, I don't tear my pants. Only suckers wear pants. This better lead somewhere solid. Don't pull off the edge. Don't pull off the edge. Acknowledge my velocity. Woo! <laughs> That happened. Yes, it did. Whoa, the tracker signal is way stronger in here. We're getting close. We're here for Adam Warlock. Just bring him to us and we'll let you go. Hey, listen. No. 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 Looks like this one's gonna miss the mass suicide. Way to take him to church, man. Chop him, Gamora. Lights out. Sharpest blade in the galaxy. I would rather face my enemies! How would we even know when the fulfillment has begun? Pretty sure Magus is gonna devour our souls. We probably feel that! You can't wait to empty my guns into Magus' face! But if it has one... It's gonna get plenty of stabs to go with them! Down. Past time someone got stabbed! You got this wolf! What a waste! Minds like this were the backbone of the war resistance. They should abandon their false god and return to work! Let's keep pushing. The signal's pinging from deeper in the mines. up from a bunch of miners. Wish they'd stuck to digging. Gamora! Run them through! Our opponents do not hold back! You know what? If you support Russia, Drax! Anybody feel bad killing these soldiers? Because I know! Somebody's still digging down here! I'm betting they use these precious metals for the faith attack. The Grand Unifier is holding the damas don't come cheap. Fools! I just want to consume your soul! No good! They fully brought the promise! Wish we had a way to take some of the war with us. Ain't nobody trading that scut once the church is gone. Too risky! Ride another zealot! Way to take him to jump! jump Never see it coming! Guys, huddle up! What are we waiting for? These blades are thirsty! Mine too! I want to run in there right now and do some serious damage, Peter! Guys, guys, guys! I don't know if you noticed yet, but this galaxy needs saving. Uh, I thought that's what we were doing. We may not be the biggest, the smartest, or even the most powerful warriors around, but just like David facing Goliath, we can win. Who's with me? We are! Seriously, kind of with me, we are. No, Gamora! Eat this! Ow! That's gonna hurt! Open space. 
If you're attacked unprovoked, you have the right to claim the battle spoils. We have definitely provoked them. They provoked us first! Lots of times! Hard to believe these tunnels used to be filled with miners instead of freaks. These rap idiots could have been wrecked if they stuck with it instead of following some stupid cult. Do we trust Lady Ace not to stab us in the back? She knows how hard we are to kill. She wouldn't risk it. Hit him down, crew. This one's defenses are formidable. Cut to the chase. Great idea, bud. If we pull this off, we should come back here and fill up our cargo hold. Sell the ore on the black market? Payment for a job well done? Seems fair to me. Well, we ain't made the back jump. Peter's got this. He does? Peter Quill possesses the magical weapons. Your safety inspectors, you present your documents and we will judge their accuracy. Rex, you gotta do it fast, like so. Blam! You failed! Oh, belief didn't shield them from that! Mom! You have failed your safety inspection. The dead, Drax. Correct. You know what to do, Quill. And wait to chew out Goldilocks for getting his butt kicked back on nowhere. This old workbench is kind of crusty, but I do some of my best work with crusty tools. But what the? Hey, look, they get the Adam Warlock channel all the way out here. Speaking of Goldilocks, he should be right on the other side of that giant murder bot army. You've got to be kidding. They've got it locked down with a faith shield. Think we can unplug it like we did on Nowhere? It's worth a shot. Aggression by the Universal Church of Truth cannot be tolerated. Lethal force has been authorized. Surrender will not be considered. Holy Scott, they came back. Of course they did. Give them hell, world mind! Guardians of the Galaxy, it is imperative that you evacuate this vessel before, before we fire upon it. Hold that thought. Adam Warlock's on this ship. Incorrect. Adam Warlock perished in the Galactic War. He's here. Alive. He is still alive, right? The Church abducted the Golden God. We intend to free him. You said it yourself. Adam Warlock is the only one with the potential to stop this. Very well. We will focus on reducing support forces. For now. Act with haste, Guardians. We, uh, hit a little bit of a roadblock. Step forward. And witness the full destructive potential of the Nova Force. Down the gold cheeks. 
Make sure you grab on good. The drone, not the chase. Grand Unifier. Scott, everyone down! Finally come to confront the captive, castigate him for how far he's fallen. Shut your mouth for once! God, clear shot. Don't! We can't risk a fight from up here. You show up on the very eve of our ascension. To what? Take everything from us once again? Me? Tell me what I ever took. My faith! And not just mine. You abandoned your flock. The very church you helped me build. You let us believe our god was dead. And with you, any hope of restoring those we lost. I thought that... You promised me, my son! I promised only partnership. You sought subjugation. My mistakes were many, but your mania is not among them. Enough! Enough of this! The true divine vessel awaits. You're nothing but a husk, a faded shadow. But even you will feel the light. Hear me. Halt this horror. Raker! Guardians, breach my bindings. Even now, Raker readies his restoration ritual. Rocket, can you bust him out? If I gotta... Let me guess. Raker's power proved more pernicious than predicted? There is little point pondering possibilities past, daughter of Thanos. Soon feverous faith will flood Raker's fledgling and feed the fiend within. Not gonna happen. We're gonna shut it down together. Right? Right. Okay, let's go, people. Come! Time dwindles as we dawdle. I could put him back up there. Don't tempt me. If Magus finds physical form, its insatiable cravings will consume all of creation. Unless you eat Magus first. A severe simplification. We must excise the entity gripping the girl. But how much of Nikki will remain? If her light lives, it lingers lost, dissolving in a dream discarded. A pleasant dream, until it is not. Drax completely bought into the promise and we got him out. I would have remained with the ghosts of my family, had you not. Magus kept the Katathian killer captive, but with a sinister splinter, a seeping piece of itself. The child chambers are Well, end of the world here, remember? Hurry, go! <laughs> Rejoice! You made it just in time for the miracle. Grand Unifier, I trust you can hold them to bear witness. Easily.
her. We can save her. Can you hear me? She needs your help. You're almost there. Focus on me, Peter. Focus on my voice. I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon, and I want everything to be perfect. Uh, Nikki. For her birthday. That's today. Did you forget again? Listen to me, okay? None of this is real. Are you kidding? Dad! You promised you'd help me surprise Mom for her birthday. No, I didn't. Yes? You said you'd help fix the hollow projector, and the cake still needs candles, and I can't find the present we got her. Oh, come on, Nikki. <laughs> None of this seems oddly familiar to you? Oh, no. I ordered it from the bakery planet. Okay, that part was always weird. No! I baked it! Okay, that just leaves the present and projector. Okay, Nick? What if I told you none of this is real? Uh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Yeah, okay. That's still pretty cool. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Speaking of messed up... Yeah. It's hollow, and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moons. It's beautiful, Nikki. Just need Mom's present now. I think it's somewhere in my room. Happy birthday, love Nikki and Peter. What am I supposed to do? Did you find it? Yes! Okay, put it with the others. Great, the gift. Put it on the table. Does anything I say here actually matter? We got it. On Nowhere. Remember that artist's alley we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Cree Laura? Guess that answers my question. Any chance we can talk now? I don't think so. How does it look? Looks like you're knee-deep in this promise. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Oh, boy. Peter, open the door. It's Matt. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. Oh, am I ever glad to see you. It is crazy weird in there. Nikki's on a loop. Nothing I say matters. We need to find a way to get through to her. Peter. I know, I know. We need a plan. There's no we. Okay, I get it. I have a lot of making up to do. Peter. If we're gonna do this... I'm dead, Peter. Yeah, but... Not like dead, dead. I heard your voice. No, you brought me here. I'm seeing you here now. You're seeing a ghost. Some part of me is inside the soul stone, but not in any way that's real. We can figure it out. Maybe we can no. find a way. You need to focus on her now. Help her accept that I'm not coming back. I just... I wish you would have told me. Told you what? About Nikki. You know? You, me, 12 years ago. Oh, Peter. I did the math. Her promise isn't real. Yeah, 
I know, but the rest of it is. Right, you and me on Mercury? I remember that night. So do I. But she isn't your daughter. She's not my daughter. I don't understand. She's a war orphan. On the shuttle home, the Cree Council was rounding up anyone who wasn't full-blooded enough. Nikki was this... tiny little thing. I couldn't let them kill her. So I'm... not... a father. No. Well, not her father. Well, okay. That doesn't mean she doesn't need you. She has to let me go. I tried. She won't listen. She has to. The birthday, the presents, whatever it is that's keeping her attached to some fake version of me, of us. Destroy the illusion and make her listen. You know I'm not equipped to. Yes, you are. You have to be. I know. Where's mom? That was her, right? She's not coming. Of course she's coming! I guess that was just... just Carlos telling us she's running late. Which means I still have time to get the music just right. Destroy the lie. Please listen to me on this, Nikki. Can we talk about this after mom's birthday? Your mom's not coming. None of this is real. Quit kidding around! She'll be here any minute! No, kiddo. She won't. Stop trying to ruin it! Nikki, please! No! I don't want to hear it! Listen to me, Nick. Get away from me! Hey! What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Nick. No! I can fix this. Stop it! Stop it! Stop ruining this! Mom will still come. It's not real, Nikki. None of this is real. I hate you! You're not my dad! You're not my... Yeah, kiddo. I know. You ruined it. You ruined everything! Mom was gonna come in and... and all I want is to see her. Whatever walks through that door won't be your mom. You don't know that. Well, there's a lot I don't know. How to keep my foot out of my mouth. How to not get arrested. How to console a 12-year-old whose very legitimate grief might just destroy the galaxy. But this... The promise, Nick. Calling when I see one. This isn't about you. Bitch. I remember feeling this cavernous. I don't care how you felt. Wow, um. That was brutally honest. I've seen your promise. I've seen hundreds of thousands of promises. None of them helped me. I know. I know. I just want you to know that I've been through some version of what you're going through. Yay! I need her back. I don't care if it's not real. I need things to go back to how they were, even if it means making the same stupid game for all stupid eternity. Just the thought that she might come back is better than admitting that she never will. And that... 
and then it's all my fault. If I hadn't distracted her, if I'd been quicker, if it had just been different. You're not the reason she's gone, Nick. Don't put that on yourself. Why not? It's true. If I had just... It's not true. You didn't make that thing. You didn't release it. You're not the reason your mom was where she was. There's a lot of blame to go around, but there is no way you deserve any of it. Reject the line, Nick. All I can tell you is me. I don't think it's her. I think it's a very bad thing that wants to eat the entire galaxy. And you know your mom? For all her faults. She's not the galaxy eating type. It doesn't matter what I think, because it's not my promise. I can't destroy it for you. So let's just say that the creepy thing at the door is not my mom. I can do that. I still don't know how... How does anyone... Am I just supposed to smash cakes all day? <laughs> Breaking stuff is pretty cathartic. But there's other ways. What are you doing? It's an earth thing. My mom taught me. The idea that you light something to remember someone. To pay tribute. I mean, it's not magic or anything. It doesn't bring anyone back, but... You know, it's, it's a gesture. A small thing in the face of a very bad thing. Sometimes that's all we have. I keep thinking back to the elevator. When she was angry at me. Not that angry. More like, uh, lovingly concerned.
Golden Boy's toast. Focus on Raker's fan club.
Raven!
Behold before you your benevolent guardian of the galaxy. <laughs> it is done! Okay, okay, we'll give you this one. Shall we? Our door and mass is await. So, we actually won? Fucking right we did. We must save the entire galaxy more often. Count me in. Next time, I, I promise I won't almost destroy it first. No more promises from you. <laughs> <laughs> We're in this moment, people. Let's make sure we bask in it. <laughs> there you are, you old dog. We have multiple dog report items to discuss. Case is closed. No need. Guardian of Galaxies. Live up to name. They had some help. Oh gosh! Who are all these little guys? If Guardian are looking for more work, Cosmo always chasing problems. I think what we need right now is a nice walk. me delicate <laughs> and who is this precious little candy in his golden wrapper <laughs> you gross uh, I uh... lady hellbender we regret the death of so many great beasts but we honor their sacrifice they died protecting their pack there is honor in that will you return to Seknarf 9 we must first build a worthy home for Foom, or he will devour every creature on my world. If he gets loose again, give us a call, and we can discuss rates. Calculated, the Golden God proved key to dismantling the Universal Church of Truth. A sound summation. How about a little credit for not letting you make the worst decision of your collective lives? Twice. Twice. Your, your additional data analysis did adjust certain computational. Ow. You can just feel the world butt clenching.
What now? Uh, I don't know. Sky's the limit, I guess. Clearly it is not. We could rob a bank. We are broke. No, I, I am not robbing a bank. That's illegal. And super fun. You are corrupting the child. Relax, Drax. It's a suggestion. A potentially really lucrative suggestion. <laughs> you okay there, Gold Bond? It is irritating indigestion. <clears throat> Nothing of note. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, there's a bathroom in the back if you need it. So, Mantis, now that the universe is safe again, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I guess I'll go back to Lamentis. Although, I hear Earth is really nice this time of year. Ooh, maybe I'll go check out Contraxia. You can gamble there. Uh, shouldn't we give Contraxia a bit of time to, you know... Unpromise? Either way, it is no place for a child. <laughs> Seriously, man. Oh, you don't look so good. Where's the first aid kit? I have basic field training. <laughs> we do not own a first aid kit. <laughs> what are you talking about? We have a first aid kit. Engine tape doesn't count. He probably just needs some ginger <sighs> ale. <sighs> don't worry about little old me. I feel simply... Fabulous. Come on! I am... Eternal! Whoa, whoa! What is even... Whoa! The Flark? <laughs> Vegas. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the one where Golden God Guy is consumed by the bad thing and tries to destroy the galaxy. And probably succeeds. Why does it feel like bug girls inside my head? I'm inside all of your heads. This way, Magus can't overhear your super amazing plan. Which is? Oh, no. It's better if it comes from you. Him. Me. And we're all gonna die. My final form. The new norm. The stone. But that thing attacked my mom and me. It was terrified of the stone. Yes, I too have sensed its fear of the stone. Oh, yes. The ancient stone. One of the six. It's the only thing strong enough to contain the all-powerful soul of Magus. Oh, 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 okay, uh, so we just gotta get him uh, closer and then throw a magic rock at him? Exactly. Time. Wine. Vexing specs. Woohoo! What are you all up to? Mantis, how do we lure in the big bad? It's time to kneel before the new idea. By doing what you do best, Guardians. <laughs> Nah, not being friendly. I think she means aggravating. If anyone can piss off a god... It is us. <laughs> Do it! Kneel and revere your god. For who better to oversee? <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! You're applauding him. I'm clapping ironically. Does he know it's ironic? <laughs> yes! Applaud your god. Nope. You grant nothing but lies and false promises. And you're the worst! Then why are you clapping? Marking you, idiot! What? Ah! I said kneel! Oh, Flark! Are you kidding me? Stand back! I got this! Nikki, yeah. no! Get out of there! Trust me! Yes, this is right! This is the way! Everyone to me! Now! You heard my lady! Go, go, go! go. Yeah. Everyone, stay close! How the Flark is being? 
are nothing compared to me. Shadow Batty, get ready to squash some bugs! Hold them down, crew! something to throw him off. Yes, infuriate him with your carelessly chosen words. Beleaguered brats, like little gnats, gnawing on nothing, because nothing. Cat, bat, muskrat, mat. You can rhyme. We get it. Seriously, how is it possible for you to have gotten even more obnoxious? Cat, bat, splatty, splat, splat. Laundromat. You begin to annoy me. Combat, format, diplomat! <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Ah! We don't make sense? Ever since we met you, you've been nothing but a giant pile of word vomit. And now you gotta rhyme everything too? Inconsequential ingrates! Okay, pretty sure we derailed him.
greatest talent. I have other talents. Sooner or later, everyone will fall before me. The entire galaxy will fall. Guys, the stone's being weird. Now is the time, Guardians! Reel them in, Quill. Only way to get a clear shot. Submit to me! I said submit! Time to get it through your oversized skull. We don't give in to anyone! I mean, seriously, have you met us? That's right! We're the Guardians of the Galaxy! We have business cards. And we'd rather die than submit to you! You dare defy a god? Have you no notion of my... Oh, shut up! What did you say? She said you're the worst! Your mockery mocks my very... Right, Mantis? The important thing is that he did it. You all did. This was not his sacrifice to make. Get paid? <laughs> Not yet, but. Does this mean it's over? Like over, over? The Magus is contained for now. The most insatiable entity in the galaxy is once again a prisoner of the Soul Stone. All that is left is determining what to do with it. Sell it. Destroy it. Those are both terrible ideas. <laughs> he says we should combine both ideas. Stone is neither bomb nor bauble, and not yours to bear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just tried to kill us and eat the galaxy. You cannot contain this calamitous force. I created it. I am its keeper. No one can keep that thing. Mantis, the chances of the galaxy being consumed again if we keep the stone? Very high. And if we give it to Goldilocks? Not as high. The child was correct. That perhaps the pull of its power would one day split my lone soul asunder. But I am not alone. Uh, just to be sure, the chances of the bad galaxy thing happening if we sell the stone? Astronomically high. The best way to make sure the Magus doesn't get out again 
is to make sure together. You know, the second you feel any indigestion, I shall call upon your crew. Motley though you may be, I fear we've fallen friends. And I accord my atonement for the trying to kill you and eat the galaxy. A momentary misstep. Yeah, well, sorry for... All the mean stuff we said about you. <laughs> if the mark of a man is to be bridled, none other than he himself must be mandated to toil as... Does he seriously always talk like this? I mean only to say... We're good. It's just that... I'm not the one you gotta convince. Oh, certainly not. Certainly, yes. Well? Oh. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm convinced.
It's fine. Really, I can sleep on the couch. The couch is filthy. I've seen the rodent relieve himself on it. She could sleep in Gamora's room. Since when? Oh, come on. You're a girl, she's a girl. You could play dolls together. There are so many things wrong with that. Well, she ain't getting my room. End of discussion. <sighs> so you just have to build another bedroom. And maybe a bathroom and convince everyone that adding another teammate is a good thing. A 12-year-old teammate. One who may or may not need you to provide parental stuff. I mean, come on, man. You did just save the galaxy. Twice. <laughs> so, obviously, embracing this new role is definitely probably going to be just, uh... You can't look after a kid. You are a kid. You should arguably have somebody looking after you. Oh, crap. I mean, Nikki's great and all, but she's still gonna need guidance and emotional support and... Oh, vegetables. Where the flark are you gonna get vegetables? I guess... Gru could make vegetables. Yes! Yes, that seems like a reasonable thing to ask him. And if everyone's willing to make just a few reasonable sacrifices here and there, I mean, you know what they're like. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely, uh... Wow, uh... They have good qualities. I mean, Drax is fearless, and he's been a dad. Groot, he's, he's compassionate and protective. Rocket can teach her about crawling into things, and Gamora. <laughs> Gamora. She knows about honor and discipline and, and girl stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so even if you don't have what it takes by yourself, you're not by yourself. <laughs> and you know what? Nikki's a part of that now. She's one of the family. And family means sticking together no matter what. Even if you got to wing it every step of the way. <laughs> My man. What's happening? We appear to have lost power. Sounds like a Nova Core disabler. Uh, you guys paid your fine, right? Oh, fuck! Lark! Uh, I am Groot.
With all 